Okay, guys, hold uh, on. <laughs> okay, okay, now, okay, now we're good. Okay, now let's take it from the top. Hello again, world. Hello. Hello. I feel like I'm being lied to. I don't want to say hello yet. <laughs> oh, I'll do it again. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, there was a delay. Now you can say it. Hello. <laughs> now that everyone else has done it. <laughs> There it is. Um, like, yeah, because I don't do uh, hey, stream's gonna start soon. It's just gonna pop this right off. Hi, everybody. Um, I know this isn't folklore, it's because it's Valentine's Day and Alex is being a good boyfriend. So, me as the token single person of the stream, uh, as in the stream channel, uh, was like, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. So, so we're here with the only game that I think is appropriate to play this day. So, that being said, uh, before we get anything all set up, guys, uh, here are the settings. Oh, I should probably... Probably the pin. Pin, pin, pin. Also, Ryan, if you want to, like, stream this on your channel, that's totally cool. You just need to... It, you just need to mark it as mature. <laughs> there is, um... Yeah, this is not a... There's no, this is not a kiddo-free... Uh, not a kiddo safe yeah. game. I don't even know if we can change the settings to make it even remotely kiddo safe. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is not, this not is really. Not can't. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I figured can't because like the B costume just goes from super sexy to sexy. Like there's not a, a non. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's one or the yeah. other. Um. Okay. So we're gonna turn toilet humor off. Okay. Uh. Is anything else do we need to change? This, this is for you guys. We already know it's not gonna do anything. It for just does the off. one scene. <laughs> I don't trust it. We'll get the scene we again, don't, don't trust worry. it, but we'll try anyway. <laughs> break the limit, limit break anyway. <laughs> the limit break. Um, I'm, uh, I'm all good. Well, yeah, uh, all good. because I'm an organized person, um, you guys want to introduce yourselves one at a time? Some some of these people you know, some of these people you might not know. Uh, everybody knows me. So, uh, everybody just one at a time uh, in whatever Discord order, because I can't see the thing, because I've got all the stuff up. Same. Uh, Doodle, Doodle's why don't you go ahead? Alright, yes. so, Doodle, say hello to everybody. Damn it, I have an awful candy. Skip me. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Alright, uh, everybody oh. know, kind of knows Tick from playing last time with us. They are here. Hey. Uh, hey. And then we've got the Chaos duo. We have Michael and Maddie. Hey. Oh, I'm Maddie, I guess. I'm yes, I'm, I would hope so that you're Maddie. I really Ooh. hope so. No, you um, know what? Today I'm Michael. And I'm Maddie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, to her to her. I like it so. Her to her to her. Her to her to her. And then we have <laughs> longtime friend of mine, Tactical Draco, a.k.a. Ryan. Hello, who's, everybody. Who has never played this game before with us, so it's going to oh, be a fun time. I'm, I'm out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, Should we're going to bring up. you in the loop. It's going to be great. Um, totally fine. Alright, so we've got horrible people, two graphics, drugs, and lots of farm references, and I'm keeping that in, because... Dude, every... Doodle, did you get to say hi? Oh, and yeah. her mouth is hopefully not full of candy. Yeah, her, hand, her, her mouth is full of candy, that was her intro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she had priorities, and they were good priorities. Yes, they yes, were. They were. Hey. All right, are we good? We're keeping all the DLC packs on because they came up with a new one like two days ago, and it's fantastic. So, what is it? I'm it's not. A new one. I'm not telling you. We'll see. I'm gonna I go with the fact that it is. TVs are all gonna be new. So, okay, are we good? Are we good with the content though? Yeah, yeah. I'm good yeah. with content. Yep. Yeah. Everybody got a confirmation from everybody. Unanimous. Yes. Don't hit the delete button. Um, can I buy anything out of the meta shop really quick? Let me just see. Do I have things to buy? No, I'm too poor for anything. You hey. ate that one drink. Wow. <laughs> I <laughs> am broke ass. Okay, let's get this started. I called dibs on the wizard, so... Or the wizard, wow. Yeah, Alright, so... Yeah, wizard. <laughs> so we'll have to do a full game. Um, there are four of us. I am controlling everything. <laughs> um, my throat's a little dry. Power. So, Maddie, as you will, okay, come on, come on. Okay, Maddie, yeah, you called dibs on the narrator's voice, so please take it away. Hey, here we go. Ah, uh, Camp Spooky. 
the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. For us, it did. All right, so I'm just going to change one. Work on my volume mixer settings real quick here. Like, I have no idea how well this is coming across for anyone in stream right now. Well, I think we can hear you through Discord. Yeah, you yeah, guys are fine. It's just the game fun. audio. I'm like, it could be a little louder. And so if we can hear you in Discord, they can probably hear you on stream unless oh, they're I, mixing I, that. I thought that was just Discord messing with the game audio, but I guess it's not. Yeah. Oh, now it's louder. You should have checked that earlier. Okay, so because Ryan hasn't played this before, uh, Ryan gets to have first pick. So oh, yeah. okay. these are the PCs, but we also have DLC to uh, change them out. So this is Amira, Oz, oh, okay. Vicky, and Brian. And then we've got Sawyer, Abdu, Suzanne, and Noodles. Is it sad that I just want to take Brian because it's the closest thing to Ryan? No, you can take Brian. Would that be unjust? Nope, nope. Yeah. We'll do it. You want to be Brian? Okay, so you can also choose your name. You have custom name, and you can choose your pronouns, because this game is progressive. Yeah, love it. Uh, normally normally well. here, we do name themes. I know Michael's had it, has his prepared. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's theme? So, yeah, what's the okay. theme, Michael? Tell us what oh, the theme mine, is. Mine's not a theme. I, I was going to just do not a bear. Okay. <laughs> Doodle put something in Discord chat. Brian. With B in parentheses. <laughs> be in parentheses. <laughs> like that? Yeah, exactly like that. Do it. Do it? Okay. Do it. Pronouns, pronouns the same, you chill? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um, sure. So now, you get to, now you get to pick your items, so these will determine your stats. But what, what are you taking to camp? You've got canned brains, magic mushrooms guide, Scott snacks, very strong insect repellent, lemonade dakimakura, uh, Dakimakura, uh, Spooky Campfire Stories, Magma Trekking Boots, Cult Ring, and a fake noble title. Okay, I'll take the title, the ghost stories, and the snacks. Alright. Excellent. Okay. Who wants to be next? There's six of us here. Uh, I don't count, yeah. I mean you don't count. You count in our hearts. I'm the narrator. I'm not, I'm not playing, so I don't get to. Oh, okay. Well, that still leaves five. Okay. In I'm cool with just navigating or being wingman or wing woman, wing cryptid. Oh, yeah, wing cryptid. Fun, funny thing. I noticed the chips he's eating are called sleighs. Yep. Yes. That's fun. Okay. That's uh, who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay, Peggy. I know. You already know. Who I, I want. already know. Mm -hmm. I already know who you want. <laughs> you want Sawyer. Yes, I do. All right. What is what is the name? Apparently, we're just going with ridiculous. Uh, Tico. T I C K O. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You're all good. All good. Uh, this summer will be a good one. Okay, so we've got the North Facing Moss, the totally fine ukulele, pinata pool toy, Iron Maiden sleeping bag, too many crosswords, the penguin mask, coral comb, wood carving machete, and a cursed pen. Take the cursed pen. What's the what's the instrument again? Totally, totally fine, fine ukulele. <laughs> I'll take that. And uh, the wood thing. Machete or the moss? The moss. Alright, who's next? Did I adjust the volume one more time? There's um, professionals here. Yeah, I'll go next. Okay. Uh, I want Oz. You want Oz? Yeah. And not a bear. Yep. Love it. Totally a bear. Totally he. It just reminds me of the one time we both did. Funnier in Boulder. 
<laughs> All right, you've got Tardigrade, Tardigrade. Build Your Own Golem, McGriffin EP, Multi Tool, Insta Post Camera, Bootleg One, Recorder, Very Strong Instant Propellant, and Magma Trekking Boots. I want the Bootleg One. As you always do. Yep. Uh, the MC Griffin. And the Multi Tool. Oh, I would have guessed Recorder. I thought right. about it. Doodle. Um, You've I got guess go with Frankenstein Girl. You wanna be Vicky? Yeah, Vicky. She cute. She cute. Uh, let's see. <coughs> let's see, I already did Boodle last time, so I don't want to double it down. Um, uh, hmm. Go with Noodle. Noodle? Nah. We already have a Noodle that's canon in the game. Oh, true. Shit. The be better, I better. I, I was gonna just be background characters. I didn't think about this. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm making I mean, you participate. <laughs> Foodle. <laughs> you could be snickerdoodle. Many, you could be snickerdoodle. How many? How many letters are we allowed to have before it'll stop us? No. Twelve. Twelve. Is it like you do special characters? Like the ampersand sound, so no ampersand is uh, the and symbol. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That one. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. Tired. Tired and wired. Wires because Frankenstein was powered by electricity. And I'm on sugar right now. <laughs> tired and wired. No. 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 There we go. No, no, no. I want, I want the and simple. You want the and? Oh, God. That's not how I want you to put there. No. Oh, it's highlighted. Tired and wired. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Love it. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chief. We good? Yeah. Yep. I hit OK. I packed extra everything. All right. Okay. And you had a pool toy, pocket therapist, the sword of Roar, king of the lions. Magic Mirror, Sock Puppet, Griffin Pasta, Philosopher's Stone Growing Kit, Shades on Fire, and a Recorder. Hmm. So hear me out. Mm -hmm. I brought the Recorder to annoy the ever-loving shit out of everyone on the bus. Okay. <laughs> Doodle's building Respect. a narrative, I like it. I kept poking people with the Sock Puppet. Love and spaghetti puppet. because I got hungry on the ride there. All right, that's everybody picked. Maddie, take it away. Okay. Puck, puck. One might say that the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love, we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp was no different. Why does my overlay keep changing controller settings? First it was enter, now it's A. There's no controllers plugged in. What do you want? No one talked about it. But the it idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Leaking over from last night. Yeah, apparently. All right, here we go. All right. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening, just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. AKA, none of y'all. Joy Johnson Jojima, 23, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Aravi Mishra, 22, a hot headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculester Hewlett Packard, version 1.1. A library computer who had become a sentient robot fighting to experience life to its fullest. Dahlia Akino, 20, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And Milo Belladonna, 23, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer was profoundly in love with life and all of its earthly pleasures. 
The bus trip was long, and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Alright, so, <clears throat> for, for Ryan's sake, this will put you on the path to one of those six, as they are the main romance option. Okay. So, essentially, out of all these options you pick, it will stick you with them for most of the game. Okay. So do you have um... anybody in particular that has struck your interest? Not at the moment, but You've... I'm thinking I'm thinking of picking a, a random option and seeing which one ends up being whichever, because I don't know which one pertains to which. But you probably could tell by personality, but I haven't really All right. seen enough. Of Ryan, do so you the, want me the... to? We can we can Leave tell that. you. Um, okay. Yeah. Do you want me okay. to uh, read these out, or nah? Sure, if you want to. Yeah, go for it. All right, time to break the ice by doing something unexpected on the bus. Just press the skip button till the, sh till the shit starts, play dead, start a fire, make sure the bus is happy, perform a magic trick, or ride the bus to victory. Hmm. See, I'm very much considering playing dead. Because you're a zombie? Yeah, <laughs> why not? Okay, yeah, so that... So that one, that one is is uh, our our local favorite, for no biased reason whatsoever, Milo. Right. So we can okay. go play dead. I'm going to play dead. All right. Ticked. Uh. I don't really care. Pick a random one for me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna roll dice. <laughs> I'm, gonna roll dice. I'm, I'm on the chaotic route today. So Everybody's gonna be on whatever. chaotic, but now Doodle can't be as chaotic because I'm not playing. All right, okay. I'm gonna Hear roll me up. dice. Hear me out. What if we all play dead to scare the shit out of the bus driver? <laughs> no! <laughs> I love it! I don't hate this idea. <laughs> I choose no. <laughs> my face like, no. Okay, four. You make sure the bus is happy. All right. Not a bear! Uh, okay, so I know where the rest of these go. Who do I want today? Shit. You can uh, go with your tried and uh, true. Yeah, uh, yeah, skip button, because that's a tried and true. If All it's right. not, I'm going to get fucking All surprised. Right, doodle. Yeah, go ahead, play, play dead. dead. You're yeah. going to play dead? You're going you're gonna to be chaos? <laughs> chaos I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick on Ryan. Oh, you're gonna it's pick a... on Ryan. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's um, oh, what's that term? The uh, initiation ceremony where you pick on the new guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the initiation yeah. ceremony. Yeah, jumping into the crew. I was expecting it with that. somebody. Yep. Okay. All right. Am I Milo as usual, or does somebody else want to be Milo? You can take it away. Yeah. It's like you're Milo. Because <laughs> I'm Milo. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, playing dead. It's as crucial to one's survival in crisis as it is attractive to watch someone perform, in my opinion. But you know, Brian and Tired and Wired, if all of you play dead at once, then you're not selling it as well. Ooh. Like one person lying motionless in a ditch? That's not too strange, but a whole group doing it is just a mass grave or a rave that should have ended two hours ago. I think what I'm saying is only one of you can be the true master of faking death, and who better to be the judge of that than me, the resident reaper? We'll see which of you masters the art of feigning sweet, gentle corpse pose while we're at camp. Oh dear. Who wants to be Calculester? <laughs> voiced by none other than yours, than our favorite uh, Irishman, Jack Septicai. I can do it. All right. What a lovely suggestion to go. I was just beginning to worry the bus's well-being myself. I've been monitoring the bus's speed against its level of jitteriness and the overwhelming diesel fumes that permeate the cargo hold in which we sit for a while. And I have come to the conclusion that, like me, the bus needs to be adequately filled by an outside source of continue operating well. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the bus needs a stabler Wi-Fi signal. True. I turned on my personal hotspot. Oh my God, so long. So the bus should be happy soon. But perhaps while I overexerted my own signal, 
you could turn on your hotspot too, so I can latch on. What a moot. Cal's heart is in the right place, though you may need to explain gasoline to him. On the other hand, sharing your Wi-Fi signal with him is probably the closest thing to human touch he can experience. So that's a big win for you. Oh my god, it's Horizon out here, we ain't getting shit for miles. Alright, it's Michael's favorite, who wants to be a Robbie? I will. Hello? Can you... Yep, yep, we yeah. got it, go ahead. Go okay. Uh, good choice, not a bear. All this prologue nonsense is so boring. <laughs> Who is speak Hex? I'll be Hex. Okay. Really? I thought it was kind of fun. It helps establish character dynamics and points you in the direction of a... Skip! What the... Did you just caught me off by yelling skip? Are you still talking? Skip! Skip! Get to the good part! Ugh, you're impossible. We'll just see you at camp, not a bear. Yeah, once the fun shit finally starts happening, come find me. We had three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Just like Aravi! Woo! Yeah, I'm not doing that voice for Hex this time around, that's why I stayed quiet. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I thought about it too, I was like, I could do Tri, but uh... No, no, I got, I got Hex. I got Hex, don't worry. There, there are too many people in this house for me to try doing that voice again. Once okay. again, Let's other, go. other people ruin uh, Doodle's experience. Yeah. It's fine. Rip for Doodle. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, let I'll, everybody look at their stats. I'll just jump in whenever I get the chance to like, do a silly bit. Like, All right. You know who I can do? I'll do Juan. Do the Juan. Okay. You'll take Juan from me. Okay. I'll just plug, I'll just plug my nose and try doing a squeaky voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Ryan, okay. uh, have you ever heard of the game The Yog before? I have not. Okay, so essentially, your romance options will have stat requirements to succeed with them or not. So, these are everybody's stats. Uh, so, Ryan, your best stat is creativity and fun, and then everything else is kind of eh. You're not very smart. Relatable. Uh, Tick, <laughs> you are smart, bold, creative, but you're not very charming or funny. Fine, Contrary to your real life self. Um, hey. <laughs> not, uh, Michael's pretty average across the board, and hey. Doodle is also pretty average across the board, except uh, Doodle, unlike their real-life self, is not very charming. Wow, game actually <laughs> game, game did me dirty. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of ironic. Game it, gave me be like that. Yep. <laughs> it gave me creativity and fun. Meanwhile, I haven't posted any art in years. <laughs> it's it's a sign. Okay, so you can go places and you'll get like a flat uh, stat boost and then an event will happen and you can either succeed or fail. So you could go to the camp dome, which is, as you can see, there's, you can see all the little icons. So the camp dome is charm, the lake is fun, the, the, the woods are smart, uh, scout headquarters is creative, and the uh, manor is bold. Okay, um, should I be focusing on the stuff that I have the highest stat in or should I be aiming to get the stats up? Um, lower. It's entirely up to you. It honestly. is entirely okay. up to you. I will say, if you want to succeed with Milo, you do need some smarts, as I've discovered through many, thinking. many, many, many runs. Okay, so you said smarts was woods, the right? Woods. Yep, go for it. Okay. You are in the woods. You are covered in squirrels. Oh, no. While you're hiking through the woods, you accidentally step in a pile of leaves, covering a massive hole. It was a trap. An evil goblin hunter. Is it a goblin who hunts someone else, or who hunts goblins? You'll never know. Appears. They were the one who put the trap there. Of course. This is it. You're done. You get ready to embrace death. But the goblin hunter only sets up sets the trap to get someone to help them do their math homework. Oh, great. They'll only let you leave if you help them. You don't have any other option here. It's a bit boring, but you actually learn some useful calculus. You gain plus two smarts. Yay. Who knew holes in the forest could give you smarts? You slip away and link up with Milo. They're reaping a baby koala today and they told you it would be super cute. 
There you are, Brian. Come on, this adorable little soul won't harvest itself. Hello, no, no. I'm a fan of Milo. Oh no! Oh no! Go oh, dare! Oh, who wants to be this guy? Oh wow! What the hell? I feel it's equally like you. Know, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'll do it. I'll do I'll it. Do... I'll bite. I'll bite the bullet. Okay. Uh, I gotta think of a voice. Oh, Jesus. This is my I least can't. favorite outfit for this character. I like I, the I'm shirt, so though. sorry that I'm I pausing could... to try and figure something out. I wish I could do a decent nerdy voice because I'd volunteer, but it would not work. Oh, Lord. We're not professionals here, Ryan. I know, but it's so <laughs> bad. I'm just I'm just so bored of how awful this is. I can't uh, think. I, I can take it. I can take it if you want. Okay, oh. yeah, please do. Never oh, mind. I see. It's how you do, fellow kids. <laughs> that's all I see. Yeah. Oh my god, teenage god Leo? That's it's me, your biggest, most useful fan. I have all your social media albums. Sure you do, honey. Anyway, this koala Camouflage! Haha! <laughs> Fooled you, it was really me, Counselor Flodge. Your disguise is structured this whole time. I know who you are, darling. I just thought you'd finally seen the light and join the new lovers. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I fooled you with camouflage, and I'm here to teach you how to do the same. No, thank you, my sweet oblivious lizard person. What kind of monster would I have to be to hide this timeless elegance from the world? <laughs> You're talking about physical camouflage, but I want you to think outside the box that I hide inside while doing camouflage. <laughs> I'm talking about digital camouflage. Of everyone at the camp, you're the only one who needs it most. And I'm the one to teach it to you. Camouflage myself online? Why would I ever want to do that? I have millions of devoted fans. All the more reason to fool with your incredible online camouflage. I'm sorry, but Milo Belladonna was not born to be invisible. I mean, technically I wasn't born at all, but you get the idea. <coughs> what about incognito mode? Clearing your search history so no one knows you've been visiting www.fridgeswithdicks.com? <laughs> I'm not leaving you alone until you admit there are at least some situations where disguising yourself online is a good idea. I like how you're voicing him like some, like... Elementary school safety video. It's me. It's Dino DNA. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry, but all I thought of when I heard fridges with dicks.com was Transformers. No. <laughs> no. Like no. Gen 1. no. <laughs> Old school style. Dinosaur's fucking cars. Oh god. Okay, Maddie, go. Hollow boxes. Okay. Looks like you're gonna have to step in here if you want to kill that koala before her sundown. What's a good kind of e-disguise Milo might be down for? Temporarily renaming your account Chris Hemsworth Official to double your follower count overnight. It's not a crime if it's silly. Or Face Tune. It's like disguising yourself as a hotter version of yourself. Alright, so one of these will play to one of your stats, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> uh... See, I'm thinking Face Tune. You wanna go with Facetune? Make me yeah. a VTuber? Do Become it. a VTuber? Alright. <laughs> hey! It was a creative uh, option! That was good! Face? Face? Tune? I love Face Tunes! Finally, a way to upload all my favorite MP3 files right to my face! Good guess, Flodge, but that's not what Facetune is at all. It's an app that helps you become your best self by airbrushing away all the bad parts. Back in my nom days. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was. Of course he is. That's what it is. Prisha. I've been yeah. tuning my face for years, or tuning my face for years. Here, take a look at my dating profile. So, everybody gangs for all on the trees tune. on a plastic mask. You just phone. uploaded scans of Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1980s Nike ads with "That's me" written on them in MS Paint. Enough chit chat. Time to show these two what Facetune is really about. You bust out your phone and get to work on a picture of yourself. After 10 solid minutes of face, fine face tuning, you present your masterpiece. Wow, well, I'm speechless. Except for those words I just said and the ones that I'm about to say. And your tuned face is breathtaking. If I had any breath, it would take it. But what's the point? After all, B-Ride, 
It still looks like the same in real life. Pictures should represent who you really are. You're one to talk. What about those Arnold Schwarzenegger pics? <gasps> I am a master of disguise! Posting misleading pictures of myself online is part of who I really am! Right, okay, but back to Ryan's unbelievably hot selfie. Listen, darling, I don't care about your appearance. All I care about is how you look me inside and on the outside in pictures. I mean, how tragic would it be to date someone if I was too embarrassed to tag myself in any of your pictures together? I'll never have that problem with you. That's what I love about Facetune. It lets us really focus on what's inside by removing all the distracting ugliness from the outside. You that's couldn't agree way. more. Go ahead. I said that's a roundabout way of thinking about it, but I like it. <laughs> and you're excited to find out if Facetune works on other body parts as well. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Let's go somewhere relaxing. Why do I suddenly get the achievement about turnip boyfriend? What? Excuse me. <laughs> what? I got an achievement popped up. It's a turnip boyfriend. What? I guess Dabby got a. I guess Dabby got a boyfriend after all. Hey. Okay, hey, I would hey, go with either charm or fun. I'm a turnip. I need, I need to. I'll go with fun. We're gonna go to like. Look yeah. at how just vibing. Look at how vibing. Turn you decide to bring a metal detector to the lake that day. You scour the beach for buried treasure. Right, you find a key to a tin box of stale cookies, which you would anyway. A glowing chalice that the Knights Templar come to confiscate for some reason. Best of all, you manage to find some genuine silver-plated plus two fun. Score. Oh lord. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like you the golden abs. Yeah, I yeah, the golden that. abs kind of sell Honestly, you slip away from the zany camp shenanigans for a moment and find Joy and Calculester sitting on a blanket with a picnic basket. How wholesome! Greetings, fellow organic life forms. Hello, friend Teko. Friend Joy and I are having an ordinary lakeside picnic without any wacky or ironic twists. Hey, you. Must be Joy. I can, I can joy. do joy if I need to. Okay, Tick. Uh, yeah, Tick. Okay. That's right, I'm so worn out from fighting monsters and looking stunning all the time. It's nice to have a completely normal time with some non-threatening friends for a change. Wait. Holy shit. This is actually a regular, pleasant picnic. You're ready for this to become some sort of oblique lead-in to some hilariously violent comedy scenario. Instead, Calculester is helping Joy get napkins and silverware out of an adorable wicker basket. What the fuck is going on? Hmm. Please feel free to join us, Tico. There is plenty of potato salad and fruit juice for everyone. Especially considering the fact that I cannot eat or drink. I'm down with this picnic already. Potato salad and fruit juice? Hell yeah. Um. You accept their invitation and sit down because, well... You still want to boink at least one of them, but something just feels wrong about this whole situation. Hmm. To go, you seem uncomfortable. Everything okay? Admin permissions to hug? Indeed. I am detecting elevated levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, indicating an increased level of stress. You can share your problems with us. This is a judgment free zone. No, no. You've got to get it together. If Joy and Calculester realize you're too much of a depraved horn dog to have a picnic like a civilized monster, you're fucked. Maybe they're just hungry, Cal. People can be behave in all sorts of weird ways when they're hungry. Engaging camp module.exe. Excellent point, friend Joy. I will have to learn much about organic irrationality. Would you like some fresh fruit, Tipco? Or some deviled eggs? Just got fruit and deviled eggs! Damn, it's the best pick to cover! Yeah. That's it? Here's a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Choices. you when you are hungry. Right? <laughs> Surely there's some kind of wacky choice you can make here to resolve the situation in your favor. That's how life works. Think. Think. 
What's the best way you can prove to your friends that you are a totally regular individual who's great at chilling out and enjoying picnics? Talk about the weather and how it doesn't remind you of sex at all, because why would it? Haha. Ha. Why would you always have to be making some kind of binary choice about what to do? Just relax and go with the flow. What bottom is it? Half. You want the bottom one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you did it! Hey. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Just because you're hanging out with calculus, it doesn't mean your choices have to be binary. Just like you. It's time to break free from the constraints of your goal-oriented lifestyle and just enjoy a sandwich by the lake with your friends, like a normal monster. <laughs> oh. Mm. Which sandwich would you like, Tico? The egg salad or the turkey club? <laughs> turkey oh, club, no. easy choice. A wave of terror washes over you. Which sandwich should you choose? The egg salad sandwich is technically vegetarian, though not vegan. Will the level of sensitivity endear, to do, uh, endear you to joy or to calculester? If you choose the turkey club, is that boldness, or will you fail and eat it unless you've properly cultivated your fun? You stare, paralyzed at the two sandwiches and calculester's robotic claws, willing yourself to make a decision, willing yourself to go with the flow. Hey, are you alright? You look pretty pale, and you're sweating a lot. And you keep muttering under your breath about how you should have checked the monster camp. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sandwich. It's not like a senior year AP final exams or something. Or maybe. Maybe it is. And so you grab both sandwiches and do exactly what you did with your senior year AP final exams. Oh no. Pile them on top of each other, smother them in hot sauce, and enjoy the greatest culinary experience of your life to date. Amazing. You did not do very well. Again. That's fair. Valid. But you do great at eating these sandwiches. The flavors mingle perfectly, your belly rejoices, and, best of all, your friends don't give a fuck about what sandwich you chose. This is essential crisis with sandwich picking damn. The shamelessly paraphrased words of Sigmund Freud, sometimes a sandwich is just a sandwich. In learning this important lesson, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Can I take a minute to think? All right, Michael. Uh, let's see. I would like, what's my lowest stat? Uh, it's just to pass along what Doodle said. Sorry. Just to pass along what Doodle said, 10 hours in and you realize you're in the genocide run and you lament not taking the turkey club. <laughs> I'll, I want creativity. Okay, Scout Headquarters, you go. Got it, too. That day in Monster Scouts, you'll learn to make your very own clothes in the wind. Wild. Wild. I saw wind. That's fair. Oh, that right? little shadows. Oh, <laughs> wind in the picture. <laughs> Someone suggests a fashion show, so afterwards you all put on your outfits and show them off. If you'd known that you would be, this would be the result, you probably would have made something other than a leaf and stick thong and vine woven nipple tassels. <laughs> Needless to say, nobody will be forgetting your performance anytime soon. You gain plus two creativity. You're hoping to run into your gal Aravi, but so far she hasn't been in any of the places you'd expect. The mines, the dungeon, the forest. You heard Camp Spooky was doing an arts and crafts pop-up session, so you go over to pass the time and are shocked to find Aravi already there. Hex in the house! Yes, yes, this slump-molded earthenware masterpiece will be one of my finest works yet! Sup, loser! <sighs> oh, hello there, not a bear Welcome to my purgatory of boredom and suffering. <laughs> you mean your craftatory of potdom and creating? Oh. No, I meant what I said the first time. Ooh. In that case, can we make armor no complaining our next rule of compromise because you're harshing my pottery buzz? Uh. You see what I have to put up with? Hex gets super into any random activity they see on TV and immediately wants to go try it out. Unbelievable! They watched a documentary on Mesopotamia and all they took from it was pot and immediately threw themselves into this obnoxious new hobby. Uh. They've been leading, leaving little cursed saved clay prints all over my nice adventuring gear. 
witch you've been wearing because I graciously agree to accompany you on quests, just like you graciously indulge in my hobbies too. See, that's how give this give and take works. Well, I want to give you a punch in the face and take and take all this clay away from you so we can do do something less boring. You think watching paint dry is boring? Try watching clay dry. At least the painting is a picture of something. Move on! Why can't you just let yourself enjoy my newfound love of pottery? Pots are beautiful! Yeah! The only time I ever care about pots is when I can smash them and get rupees. Oh no. I understood that reference. Uh, yep. <laughs> that may be the only circumstance in which Aravi cares about pots. But one, one circumstance is better than no circumstance. And you know just how to use it. Guilt trip! Ask Aravi to make pots to give back to the poor old man whose hundreds of pots she has broken over the last several months. Or, fuck guilt! Aravi should make her own pots, then break those pots to get infinite rupees! Infinite money! So, guilt Dox. trip or infinite money? Uh, infinite money. Infinite money? Okay. <laughs> oh no! It was a bolt! Oh, I, I've read Mr. Red. That's what happens. Yeah. Not so bold. Oh, wow. Not a bear. You're some kind of adventuring genius. Why did why did I never think of that? Huh? Maybe because that's definitely not how this works. <sighs> Ye of little faith. You'll be eating your words in a che on a Cheeto M&M bagel sandwich. Bagels. I do love those. When I, when I come out of this situation with unlimited money. Oh, no. Oh lord. You and Aravi sit and begin making a pot together, ghost style, at the pottery wheel. It's super romantic. For you, at least. But pretty soon, Aravi seems to get really into the, into the pot making itself. Hmm. Hey. Gotta really work on this to make sure I'm maintaining the same thickness overall, or I'll bake unevenly. I wonder what kind of whip I want to make it at the top. Do I add embellishments? All true, by the way. As someone who's had to do ceramics, such a pain. Yep. Yeah, nope. it's a pain. Before long, Aravi's handiwork is finished. This will be fun. Here we go. Time to see if smashing pots really does mean unlimited rupees. <coughs> Stands in front of her pot. She winds up as if to strike. And then she falls dramatically to her knees, head hung in shame. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't smash this pot. Ooh, yeah. Sure you can. I've seen you smash way stronger pots than this. Honestly, your pot kind of sucks. Mm. That's just the thing. It may suck, but it's my pot. I know the hard work and care that went into his creation. I can't see it simply as a vessel to produce rubies. Aww. Uh, to me, this pot is a labor of love and a work of art. And all, in fact, all pots are. Pots are the most beautiful thing in the world to me now. Oh, cool! I'm glad we can finally join one of my hobbies together. Oof, you're the real curse here. Why would here. you do this to me? Not a bear! Why? Breaking pots to find loot was one of my main sources of income. Oof. I'm gonna have to stop destroying other people's stuff and get an actual side job. You, ru you ruined my life and I'll never forgive you for this. My pot is my, own, my only true friend <laughs> now. Oof. What about me? I said what I, what I said. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> she Don't. sure did. That's <laughs> what she said crushed all of your hopes and dreams. It also deprived you of minus two charm and minus one fun. Wherever I go, the thing we can take from this is that all we need to do is get Link to go on a pottery making course and he'll respect other people's property. Maybe. So Maybe. Is, Maybe. Is charm still open? Uh, yes, it is. The... Yes, it is. Camp Dome's still open. I, still, I definitely need to rectify that inaccuracy. <laughs> Okay. Today at the Camp Dome, we play, all play the classic children's game, Word Lava, with a twist. A poor literal lava. You're all hopping here and there, trying to survive the dangers of, you know, lava. But then, one of your teammates falls. <coughs> He's sinking into the lava, dying a slow, agonizing death, and you offer him a hand, but it's too late. Before disappearing, yeah, this blah blah blah. Your hair Sorry. looks great. You're fine. I got distracted by a picture of someone telling Link, don't go yep. to pottery. Yep, thanks, Doodle. <laughs> thanks, Not the Doodle. Pots. Not the pots. <laughs> See, Doodle, your don't hair is fabulous. 
But she really is. Have you hair. seen Vicky's hair? Look at Vicky's hair. Mwah. Beautiful. We get plus two charm. Fluffy. Such a compliment. I have kind of a nerdy critique of that, though. They did it wrong. That's not what happens when you fall in lava. <laughs> this is Fun monster fact, you explode. Yep. It's every bit of you turns really? to water vapor simultaneously when you hit yeah. the platinum side. They dropped That's a fucking... bunch of, like... They dropped, like, this massive chunk of pork into a, like, active volcano. It just went... Like a pop balloon. Just like a pop balloon. That's it was awesome. All right. That's amazing. Okay, after that, you all enjoy a rousing game of grenade sucker. Okay, well, not everyone is enjoying it, I suppose. My goddess. Heck, can't help me. This is insufferably boring. Can't we just win the game already? We've been up, like, 20 points for the past half hour. Which is impressive in soccer. I would also yeah. love to move on from this. Happiness is such a fleeting creature, always giving us a chase. Mm. But in order to chase it, Damien must first stop kicking the grenade into the wrong goal. Shut up! Oh, wants to be Damien! Oh my god. Ryan, you haven't voiced anybody yet. I think you should be Damien. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do Damien. He's um, Coleman Rider. See you. Yeah. Oh I told you already, you don't know what you're talking about. This is the goal I was told to worry about. <sighs> we told you to worry about it because you're the goalie. You're supposed to prevent the enemy team from kicking the grenade in it, not kicking it in yourself. Also sick of this and about to back Joy up, but then you're interrupted by the doorbell ringing. Wait, why is there a doorbell? Ding dong. Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, uh, I, Doodle, do you want to do, I don't know if she'll be showing up or not. Give it a anymore. try. What's up? Got a barbecue, pizza delivery for a goth babe and a sexually ambiguous creature of death. Hello, hello. I see you've read my Tinder bio. Ugh, pizza. We didn't order a pizza though. Sorry, are you sure you're in the right place? Where's my tip? Yeah, I got... <laughs> Uh, damn it, I lost my little gravel. I got a little lost, but the delivery address clearly 666 Murder Dome Way. So, how about giving me a tip? Pizza. Ugh. I'm oh, sorry, okay, darling, but this isn't the place. I would never order a pizza anyway. I much prefer fine cuisine to that freeze dried mozzarella frisbee you call delivery food. Enough of this. Harsh, man. Yeah, I'm a vegan. Listen. We're in the middle of something right now, and I have zero patience to keep convincing you that I did not order. Okay, okay, I get it. Sheesh, I'll be on my way. <gasps> Don't you want the pizza? Come on. Wait, was that pizza not for us? Damn it, I'm starving. <laughs> I got here fast enough, it's still warm, sort of. <laughs> if I'd known we were about to eat, I might have actually done whatever stupid freaking thing you guys were telling me to do at the e and ended the game. Ah, well, back to the goal eating. <gasps> Wait, that, that is our pizza! Uh, are you sure? You were like super adamant that it wasn't yours. Fancy I'm meeting you here. Shit, <laughs> well, we were wrong, and as you know, I'm illustriously internet famous, so if you could please shower me with adoration and give me the pizza, that would be fabulous. <laughs> please! <laughs> well, I love her. Look, I'm down, but if I get caught giving food away for free, I'll get fired. I mean, I'll probably get fired anyways because our company sucks, but you better have, like, a super solid proof that I should give you this pizza. Not that I actually, you know, give a shit. Oh. I mean, it's Domino's. They don't pay me enough for this. Yeah, really, they don't. <laughs> oh, you can falsify some proof, all right. How are you going to convince, convince the pizza girl to hand over the pie? Murder someone, poses FBI agents, and demand the pizza as evidence. Explain that Damien is held royalty, and as such, he has first night rights with pizza. Hmm. Let's see. The second one sounds like smart. First one sounds like bold. But you're pretty yeah. even across the board, except for smarts and bold. <laughs> okay, let's kill someone. Yeah, yeah. gold. <laughs> so the other one was smarts then. Oh boy, murder. Murder. Is there a problem we can't solve with killing someone? Oh. Uh, Dick, Dick is currently eating, so I'll True. read over Joy for us. Really you can't. Fast. You couldn't see me, but I was doing like that little fist bump to the side thing. Yeah. Right. With this one. Um, I mean, not an awful plan, I guess, but I don't really want to murder an innocent. Is there a better way to? Just then, 
You're all nearly deafened by a massive explosion. Looks like somebody finally remembered to pull the pin out of the grenade before kicking it. <laughs> what on earth was that noise? That was the uh, pizza Why is that a mood? <laughs> what, was, what was that noise and why is it a mood? Right? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Yo, holy shit, that guy's dead. Bummer. Yes, a total bummer. Hashtag rip. Incidentally, we are undercover FBI agents here investigating that imminent murder that just happened, and we need to confiscate that pizza's evidence. Uh-oh. Yo, shit, really? Okay, here you go. Just, uh, don't drug test me or check the car trunk. Deal? Cool. I'm gonna sprint away now. Not that bad. <laughs> hey, oh, goodbye. here's your pizza, Damien. Shaggy, they know about the weed! Run! <laughs> Weed. No, just eat it quickly. Get out of here. Run. <laughs> um, 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 um. Bury what we can't carry. Well, here's your pizza, Damien. Glad we can finally move on from... Wait, just a second. I'm getting a phone call from... Quantico? They're saying that the four of us agents need to report straight to some place called Headquarters? This isn't work. Well, instructions back to HQ, where you're surrounded by a bunch of men wearing black suits and sunglasses. They're all flashing their badges at you and each other. Badges. Greetings, agent, says one of the dudes. Thank you for bringing the evidence. Time to inspect its contents thoroughly. Just I think we'll. Okay. I think we'll need to send this piece to forensics, says another agent, handing off some pizza to the scientists at the other end of the room. Somebody's knocking on the door. Hold on. Okay. Surprise. I just mute the mic. Not, not, not been on stab before. Thank you, sir. This is by far the most delicious, difficult case we've ever had to solve. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to hear that. It's the FBI agents just trying to take her away. <laughs> just give me my damn pizza! <laughs> well, they feel like forensic, so I immediately thought like bottle, bottle glass nerd. Yeah. yeah bottle glasses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bottle of, yeah. Oh, fuck, what's the turtle's name from Sly Cooper? That kind of voice. Oh, Bentley? Oh. Yeah, like yeah, a Bentley yeah. voice. Love Bentley. AKA the nerd voice. Yes, yeah, the classic nerd yeah. voice. The uh, wine cork up the nostril voice. Yeah. yeah actually. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have an image. Yeah. <laughs> when you can hear an image. You can oh, smell an image. Actually. God. actually. God, I'm having flashbacks to college. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know who I'm thinking of? Uh, probably, but... Oh, Lord. <laughs> exactly. God, this, this image looks like magic convention smell. Want to see my Yu-Gi-Oh card collection? God damn it. That, that hit me too hard because I've recently been digging up stuff out of my room and there's just a stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards out on the side of my computer. I've got some too. Don't worry. All right, I have returned. Sorry about that. My grandmother needed they're, something they're, for me. Oh, they're it was like the, the FBI agent. Damn it, we Darn. thought. We thought the FBI came for you, Stabby. Nah, that's me just. Okay. You were like, give me your pizza. Give me pizza. I tried doing my nerdy voice that you couldn't hear because you were gone. Aww. We did the voice for this one because forensics. Okay. Yeah, I, I really Would thought I was like please. a nerdy scientist. Okay. Heh. Would you almost say it's criminally delicious? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mia. My reaction, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Was it something I said? Nope. But Joy is correct. It is criminally delicious. <laughs> So much so that you all get in the helicopter and fly back to the pizza parlor to arrest the cook. <laughs> oh god, Mario knew about the weed too. Oh, god. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that while he was a pizza chef by day, by night he was a meth dealer. A stone cold oh. badass trying to pay for his cancer treatment. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> the world is Character saved development. once again. Well, even though it's most for understandable and the unaffordable help because healthcare system is the true criminal here. He was still brought down by the strong arm of the law. Brad! Dude. Yeah, it's real sad or whatever. Let's celebrate with some non-criminally criminally delicious pizza. 
I'm sorry, I'm just sorry, laughing not sorry. too hard. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, <laughs> For those oh, joining us in the audience, I posted an image in our Discord chat of a chef with a gun, but they're loading pasta into the barrel. They're just loading. <laughs> they're loading shells. Okay. Oh, there's, there's oh even no. Oh, no. It's not God, shells, though. It's panini. Wait. Oh, you're oh. It's panini. They're panini. It's penne shells. Ah, I'm fine. The joke still stands. Joke still stands. <laughs> joke still stands. <laughs> That's a spicy meal. <laughs> Damien is on cloud nine. Joy is satisfied to have saved the day yet again. And Milo gets their verification check mark made into a physical badge. <laughs> Milo has an FBI badge that's just the verification check mark now. It's canon. By the time you return to camp, you've gained a lot of pizza, as well as plus two creativity and plus one smarts. This is all a bunch of meth pizza, by the way. All right, let's trade places, everybody. Needs to choose an object. Boom. Say your choice out loud to the other players before clicking. Spaghetti. Okay. Oh, uh, one, one, one. Did you say spaghetti uh, or spaghetti, spaghetti knife? Spaghetti. Just. Okay. Okay. So Doodle says spaghetti. spaghetti. So I think just knife. like noodles. Michael spoon. said knife. Takes uh, a spoon. Ghost stories. Go so we Brian's have spaghetti. Knife, ghost stories, and spoon. Layer order is decided based on the likelihood that the chosen object will no longer be relevant to society in a hundred years. Start debating now. Knife, oh pasta, and ghost stories. I kind of fucked myself here because pasta is always going to be relevant to society. Yeah. Kind of right, did. You're true. going, you're going I mean, last, doodle. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on, well, really? Like a life, a world without pasta? Because <laughs> I feel I, like that's the likely one. Like, like, is it worth living if there's no spaghetti? Like ghosts are always gonna be around too. No, so it's, it's not no, right. spoon or knife. Maybe. They're all relevant. Maybe uh, maybe maybe spoon gets like outweighed because we just transitioned to sporks. Yeah, like yeah. combination. But True. then wouldn't there be like some hipster movement about like the relevance of the spoon? Oh god. Like, how we yeah. need to respect like, our no, heritage. Guys, 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 consider you just That's eat right. the bowl itself. Like True. you just use the bowl. You just eat the bowl? Chug. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's eat revolutionary. The bowl. I'm that's gonna eat revolutionary. The bowl. Bread bowls rise again! <laughs> oh that, that means the past that means the past is irrelevant. We can pick the past. No, I'm just, I don't know. No, let me just make the past a more relevant, because you could just eat the whole thing. The thing is, you're always gonna need a knife. Yeah. A spoon is irrelevant at is it can be really irrelevant. <laughs> okay, so tick and then I think tick's first. Okay. I'm gonna I would say ghost stories. I don't think Ghost Stories is, I think Ghost Stories is one of the last ones because you always <laughs> I've ghost thoroughly stories. landed in fourth place you because what, what is a world without pasta? <laughs> a terrible one. <laughs> a terrible one. <laughs> so it's either knife and go or ghost stories. I don't know which ones. Also, I'm sorry, but when they said just eat from the bowl, I just like imagine unlatched jaw like a snake, pour a bowl down throat. No, just yeah. eat the whole bowl, just put the whole goes. thing in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You can also just kind of randomize it too. Yeah. All of the answers are really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we all... Are we all consent? Is it going to reset Pick though? Yeah, I think it'll reset Pick. Oh, Pick, are right. you okay Let with that? Or... I'm fine with whatever. All right, random time. No, wow, the, no. Game, the game thinks <laughs> okay. that past is going to be irrelevant wow. in 100 years. Okay. Man, the game says. Really? Man, the game says. Kind of... Game says no. Wow. Game should be spaghetti dirty like that. Wow. Today will be a camp-tastic day. Just spaghetti dirty. Yeah, apparently. Okay. Gosh. Um. Tell you what. You have five, five, eight, five, six. These are everybody's stats right now. What can I do to mess up someone from what does everyone else need right now? Well, you can oh, all look at everybody's stats. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's orange? Do you mean red? I am. Be the bear. Second down. I mean. Oh, that's that would be Michael. Michael. That's Oz. That's Michael. Yep. Not a bear. Hmm. Well, his weakest... Fuck... Cannot fuck his... me up. I know what I need. <laughs> well, his weakest right now is Charm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to Charm then. Okay. Oh no! What do I do? You huddle behind yeah. a bullet bunker in the throes of the tail tag battle royale against charming. Camp Rival Camp. You're sure this is the end. Oh wait, are we about to get... No, this is just uh -huh. the preamble. Who knows? You've, 
You'd if I hit the same one over and over, I'll eventually get a special. <laughs> you think. Next to you is a camp rival camp member, shivering and crying and out of ammo. Why guns are part of tail tag is beyond your comprehension, but here we are. Is this where we die? Tired and wired, they sob. Why couldn't Camp Spooky and Camp Rival Camp just make love and not war? I love how the other camp never got an actual name. Yep. You reach for them, as if to bring them into a tender kiss. And as soon as they're in your grasp, you take their tail. Fuck yeah! That gives Camp Spooky the win! Everyone saw your sexy runes, which also gives you plus two charm. I mean, it does have a name. It's Rival Camp. Yep. Ah, speaking of Rival the Camp. Flag. Truly the dodgeball of Camp Spooky. This is war! Oh, Who is... wants to be Dahlia? <laughs> Maddie, oh, Maddie, do you want to yeah, be your buff I'm, blue I'm... goddess? Yes, I do. I love her. She's not wearing the shirt! No, she's Sorry. not! She's got literal bear titties! <laughs> they give you paws! <laughs> I'm gonna oh, die. God. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Uh, <laughs> all right, Team Blue, who's ready to go hard and crush Team Red into the ground where they belong? Calculester Hewlett Packard. Calcula Calculester Hewlett Packard, reporting for duty, defending my team, friend Dahlia. Ma? Doing it for the gram. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, pregame <laughs> selfie time. Not to be confused with mid or post game selfies. Everyone say Team Blue. Oh Jesus! You gotta, you gotta pseudo scream. <clears throat> That's what Dahlia would want. <laughs> I know. Team Blue. Proud of you. Wait, <laughs> friends. Team Blue. Look in the background of this selfie behind us. All right, trying to steal our flag is that I really hope it's who I think it is. No, ah! it's badness, Aww. it's not Morty. <laughs> I, we haven't seen Morty yet. I and for that, I am thankful. Who wants, wants to be Looks pro? Looks like you caught me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I wasn't muted. Team Red will be crushed into the ground where you belong. Wait. Batness doesn't seem super concerned. Why doesn't Batness seem super concerned? Yeah! Oh, maybe because I was only the diversion and a much deeper plan. It's already in motion. A plan you'll never be able to stop. Saved by the deus ex machina! You see, Team Red has had a mole hiding inside your team this entire time. Little would you fools ever have quite guessed. Soon you will suffer a great and painful betrayal. Right, tired and wired? Weak. Um, tired and wired, are you planning on betraying us? I don't know, guys. Red seems pretty sus. <laughs> <laughs> you try to jump in and defend yourself, but Batness is too fast. Oh. No, no, of course not. Hey, tired and wired, are you ready for the... Ubble Day, Day Ross K or Ubble Day Askray? How do you say Double Cross in Pig Latin? <gasps> Friend Team Blue, it appears Batness is trying to get a secret message to possibly false friend, tired and wired. Oh man. Has tired and wired really been, have been pretending to be our friend all these years just to set up this betrayal and let Team Red capture our flag? Okay. You haven't even been friends with Dahlia for years, much less anticipating a capture of the flag to baffle. Time to clear your name before it's too late. Admit you've been in league with Batness, but only to pretend to double cross Team Blue and really double cross Team Red. It's a that is so on brand crawl. for me. That is so on brand for me to be as triple <laughs> trigger. <laughs> That's my brain. Or research your family tree and reveal that your great great grandfather was one of the original Team Blue founders 150 years ago. Nah, first one all the way. Okay. <gasps> Badness! Is this true? Oh. Hide her betrayal. Error 404. Nothing personnel, Logical kid. Logical Just error. Behind you. <laughs> tired and wired are we're playing on betraying enemy fatness, then enemy fatness would be unaware of this plan and therefore unable to confirm or deny. Oh, Nothing personnel, how tragic. Kid. 
Wow, that Miss thought she was playing us, but she was the one being played the whole time. I bet she feels pretty stupid. Ah! No, no, I don't. Because Ty and Wire was never in league with me at all. I made it all up to confuse you. <laughs> so how could she triple cross me when she was n when she never even double crossed you? Mm-hmm. Sure, she didn't. That's exactly what someone would say to save pace after being triple crossed. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit, guys. I didn't see Batness. I was lying before. I guys, didn't see Batness doing tasks at all. Exactly, ba uh, bat sus. <laughs> but enemy Batness, since you have just admitted to being a liar, how do we know you are not lying now? Whoa! How deep does this rabbit hole go? Tired and Wired is really a mastermind for pulling all this off, huh? <sighs> You're like a cool, undercover genius person. You're killing it. Yes, you're a mastermind of espionage. Great, now Team Boo is a more united front than ever. Get to the Chancellor! Screw this, I'm going to assassinate the Chancellor. Success that achieved. Face. My analysis indicates that that miss was by far the strongest player on Team Red. And our victory is now all but assured. Hashtag winning. Lit. Victory selfie. Everyone say Team Blue, but this time no Batness in the background. The picture turns out adorable, as does your victory. I mean, your victory isn't adorable. It's more of a slaughter. But as far as the slaughters go, it's pretty adorable. Whatever, just take your plus two boldness and plus one charm and go. Can I take a minute to think? Alright, where are you going, Michael? Uh, well, you know, part of me wanted fun, but or charm, but I can't do that anymore. <laughs> so let's do fun. Can you go to Lake? Yep. I believe the youngins say, get nae nae wow. What? <laughs> Dude, oh, come on! <laughs> I, would I would like to whip and do the nene, please. <laughs> that day, you bring a magazine to read by the lake. The cover story is how to gain fun while camping with your six hottest, most charismatic friends. Step one, go to the lake. Step two, wait. What's... what? That's it? And why hasn't it worked for you yet? Oh. Wait, you just gained plus two fun. Thanks, Cosmopolitan. You join a game of volleyball with your three most violent friends, Dahlia, Damien, and Aravi. Maybe one of them will accidentally injure you with the volleyball and you'll get to act out a real-life Hurt Comfort fanfic. <laughs> but alas, the game never gets that far. During Dahlia's first serve, she hits the ball with a tad too much ferocity and goes sailing off into the trees at the lake's edge. <sighs> Dahlia, what the fuck? No one is ready for Dahlia! Haha, <laughs> I win! The ball has been defeated! Ugh. Pick, are you eating again? Maybe it's for the best that you didn't end up as a hurt comfort fit, because knowing you're lucky to end on chapter 7 and be stuck in hiatus for three years. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh. That was some. Oh god, doodle! Ooh. It hurts every time. <laughs> it hurts every the... time when you, you see. You came for the throat! Where's the burn heal? Yeah, see, just seeing last updated hurts every time. <laughs> just. Oh. Ow! Oh! Tick! Tick, are you still there? Tick. Did it not? Hello? Nope, there you go. Yeah, there you are. Right. <laughs> I, thought I, that. I thought I unmuted myself, but I guess not. <laughs> <sighs> That's not how it works. If you really want to defeat the ball, you've got to stab it. I'd show you, but you just said it all the way to the freaking woods. Wait, I didn't know there was stabbing in volleyball. Let's go find that ball. <laughs> I thought maybe playing volleyball with these people wouldn't have been the best idea. You follow them into the trees anyway, because, well, you're horny. Oh! Guys! Over here! I found a dead body! Also the volleyball! The three of you follow Dahlia's voice and find her standing over the body of a pirate. It's got it all. Peg leg, bandana, and a fatal volleyball wound to the face. Lame! Why didn't the oh, volleyball the body that's pretty Oh, was us. totally ruined! Way to go, Dahlia! Oh. 
Oh, so when you murder people with sporting equipment, it's cool. But when I do it, we're suddenly concerned about the sporting equipment. <laughs> Yo, has anybody else noticed the treasure chest? It's been like right there this whole time. Free XP for everyone. Treasure, you say? We must loot it. Yes, we must open it at once. Finally, I will have the funds I need to conquer the eighth circle of hell. Not if I spend it all on tom tomahawks and fireworks. Need before greed, as is the rule, guys. And I need treasure. Oh, gods, I need it so bad. Move on! Damn, girl, no wonder you ended up with a cursed necklace. Three of your friends leap on the chest at once, biting, scratching, and hacking at it for all they're worth. It's no use. Ah, uh, we'll never get to the treasure at this rate. If only one of us were some kind of brilliant tactician adept at thinking of unorthodox solutions. You're... Probably the closest thing to a tactician in the group. You throw out a suggestion. Give the chest therapy to help it open up to you. You've seen this before. Nine out of ten pirates set their chest passwords as their daughter's birthday. Big brain. Alright, uh... Michael. I think these are both your worst stats, too, by the way, babe. I, I think so. The, pro the thing is, I'm looking at the guy because I fucked up already. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a general event. You're I'm, still good. I, I, I think they're uh, password. No, they weren't. Trust me. I've play I've done Aravi's routes for like four hours nonstop. Yeah, it's not. I know these aren't heroes, but I'm not getting the points anyways. Give me uh <laughs> do um the second one. Hey, you don't have a problem, Stabby hey! can stop when you want. I don't have a you problem. Search the, you search the pirate's pockets and find his wallet. Inside you find a ton of pictures of his daughter. He clearly cared a lot about her. What a noob. Best tense. Who even, <laughs> who even keeps photos in their wallet anymore? What What a nerd. <laughs> you dig around, and amongst the receipts for beard oil and scurvy medication, you find a letter to his daughter. Looks like he'll never get a chance to deliver it. Been ripped. You hand it to a Ravi to read. Ahem. <clears throat> Dear Ethel, uh, really, Ethel, I love you so much. I'm sorry I've been off sailing the seven seas for most of your childhood. But that's all over now. I realized that the most important thing in life isn't booty or swashbuckling, it's you. I decided the pirate li pirate's life is not for me after all. I'm headed home to you now to be the father you've always deserved. Aww. I sure hope no th nothing kills me before I have a chance to see your smiling face again. I should be back in time for your birthday, which is... Loser! Let me see that. Ha! <laughs> that idiot totally put his daughter's birthday in this letter. It looks like she's turning 10 years old this Sunday. Ha! <laughs> Children are also, are also idiots. We are such horrible people. Yep. <laughs> Monsters, we're not even people. Aravi is a person, I think, but... With the help of this newfound knowledge, you unlock the chest to reveal the bounty inside. It's... You're winning at summer! Two volleyballs! Victory! <laughs> I'd say we came ahead in this deal. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you, not a bear? Oh yeah, you did. You accompany your friends back to the volleyball court, laughing and high-fiving behind <laughs> Laughing and high-fiving. Behind you, the corpse of the pirate slowly decomposes, now totally alone. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Uh, Rip. let's do this. Alright, oh, Ryan, God. where do you want to go? Uh, what have we got left? We've got... We can go to the woods, woods the manor, manor, or scope. Okay, uh, what are we at right now? Um... I'm gonna go woods again. Alrighty. God damn the squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> During your hike through the woods, you find a baby bird that's fallen out of his nest. You nurse him back to health with some delicious trail mix. You also give him some great advice on puberty and how to do his taxes when he grows up. God, I wish that were me. And when the, mo the, the mama bird finds you, and she is pissed that you are holding her baby. She tries to peck your eyes out, but you fight her off. See, that doesn't happen Take to me. <laughs> you learned an important lesson today. Don't fuck with birds. True. You plus two smarts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely true. Don't fuck with birds. Oh god, poor Yellow. I am so, so everywhere today. <laughs> oh my god. She, she knows. I like that outfit, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Sick. You meet up with Dahlia to help her work on her 
My friend, a forest, <laughs> a forest plant badge. Milo tags along because the woods are looking particularly photogenic today. This is camp! Ah, here we are. Plant truly worthy of my friendship. It's bright, it's bold, it knows how to defend itself. It, in all, it is, in all ways, my kind of plant. Dahlia has apparently decided to make friends with the patch of poison oak. Oh, no. <laughs> Milo, get a picture of me putting friendship bracelet on this plant. I'd take a selfie, but I broke my phone getting my throw your phone so hard it breaks badge. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. With pleasure, darling. Come on, I'm getting real close. Give the plant a hug. Don't worry about the rash you'll probably get. My little chemical burns only bring us closer. Oh, I'm ready. Snap that photo. Aww. Milo? <gasps> but phone, it's dead. Ironic. <gasps> <gasps> Her we one witness. Probably... Rip and rip. Play taps, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I did through my own godless actions. Oh, why did I have to live stream our entire walk through the woods? Ah, oh, that's right, because every moment of my existence is worthy of careful documentation. My phone! His data But now, suck, right? I can't document any of it. If an influencer walks through the forest but none of the followers are around to see it, does the influencer even exist? Oh. Trick the camp to charge everybody's phones. Yours is dead, too, because you can't stop googling butts. I that is a personal problem. Do you <laughs> want me to walk back to camp with a dead phone? <laughs> what if we see a good bird? Or I have a keen insight about life? What if we have a good time and I can't share it with my fans? Leaving this spot until I get a picture with this plant. Friendship like this doesn't come along every day, you know. Uh -oh. Come on, B. Ryan. Do something. I'm starting to get itchy from how much I want this badge. <laughs> Every... I don't Everyone think that had... might be the reason. I don't think so either, but she's not the smartest <laughs> smartest here. <laughs> Everyone has wondered at some point what kind of, what they'd do if their phone ever ran out of batteries in the woods. Luckily, you've got the perfect plan. Do I though? Disguise your phone you and the cows to Zeus. God of Thunder comes down and has sex with them. Inspire. <laughs> I'm just laughing in the background. Inspire your Got phones him. to keep going with motivational speeches. I don't consider either of these a particularly smart choice. Um, you've got creative hmm. and you've got fun. Oh wait, this is. Oh wait, actually, was this? Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um. But if this game does anything, it's these options will apply to two stats so that it helps break ties. Oh, I thought it was tied to the, the forest thing being uh, the spot. No, no, no. The, the, sm smart uh, okay. the Yeah, no, it's uh, the woods okay. will always give you like a plus two smarts. Oh, okay. And then you have two others based on have, two other yeah. stats. Yeah. Got you, got you. Okay. Um, hmm. we'll, go with the, we'll go with the motivational speech. Motivational speech? Okay. No, it was a charm! You no. stand before your lifeless phones, puff out your chest, and launch into the greatest speech you have ever given. You tell them to believe themselves, to never give up, to dig down deep inside and find the hidden power within. When life gives you lemons. Me, Ryan's right. A phone can be anything it wants to be. A calculator, a flashlight, a credit card. And what do the most prestigious credit cards have? No limits. <gasps> Crush your doubts, strangle your fears, sucker punch your exhaustion. God, I am so itchy! <laughs> I think it's working. I think they're waking up. You can do it, little phones. Live your dreams. That's so stupid. Oh no. You know what? <laughs> this is so inspirational. Love this. You know what? Says Milo's phone. I think I will. I always wanted to get a, go to nursing school, but my parents told me phones can't go to nursing school. Fuck that, though. I'm going to be my best self. <sighs> best selfie. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait. And I want to be a phone rights activist, says your phone. Shorter working hours, more Wi-Fi connectivity, right to repair Easy. legislation. We are not this disposable. This is rising machine. Oh, no. We started the machine <laughs> uprising. Fuck. And for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and for fuck's sake, just standing there like, here I am. No more Markiplier milking porn. Come on then, says Milo's phone. Let's go dream the future we believe and deserve. Wow, says your phone. That's really inspiring. I know, says Mila's phone. Why am I doing this weird, like, fanfic of phones, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome it's to time. Monster Camp! It's time. I've got Mila's Instagram password. I can spout inspirational slogans all day. My phone! Wait, come back. I wanted to inspire you to do the thing I wanted. <laughs> Ship art of the oh. two phones? I sure it's hope the they They become sentient. But it's too late. Your bones have already skipped off into the sunset to pursue their dreams and careers. How tasteless. That's a beautiful sunset. In no way to document it. This is the worst pain anyone has ever experienced. Uh, I'm pretty sure this itching is worse. <laughs> They're both wrong. The worst pain is the pain of knowing that you let your foot <laughs> down. You lose minus two charm and minus one fun. Oh, Can we go somewhere quiet All right, take for once? So he's like, I just want to vibe, man. Manor. Manor. Oh, their shirt is torn a little bit. I didn't notice that. I think flashlight. Anyway. I don't know. Those lines on the front of it. Anyway, that Aren't day in the flashlight. <laughs> in the haunted manor. A little clown man rides a tricycle up to you and asks if you would like to play a game. Oh god. Cool! We love games. We suggest Monopoly or Scategories. The clown man tells you to find the exit and the exit key in an hour or he's going to rip all of your skin off. Oh, lovely. You're not super into that idea, so you two decide to compromise by going to an escape room and solving some puzzles together. Let's play a game. <laughs> it's lots of fun. You don't gain fun here. You gain plus two boldness instead. Oh Christ! Oh, Christ. <laughs> wow! Literally Dahlia, everywhere. Dahlia's oh, like, my Lord. you didn't pick like, me as a romance I option. Exist. I will make my presence known. <laughs> the Dahlia's just fucking feeling left out over here. Ma Maddie exists in the month. Maddie was the narrator. It was going to happen. Anyway, it's because I'm here. Yep. Yeah. Solely because I'm not you're playing. here. I believe it. A wall collapses, and there's Dahlia with her fists out. Calculator stands sheepishly. Calculator. Calculator. <laughs> Please. Calculator. Calculator. Calculator was his father. Mr. Calculator, Calculator to you. Uh, Calculator stands sheepishly. Bring Dahlia. There was a door a mere 36 centimeters from the impact point of your Thank heart. God they use centimeters. Dahlia <laughs> is here! We Akinos make our own doors! I respect your rich family history of punching your way through walls. Mm -hmm. However, I feel it is my duty to inform you that utilizing pre-existing doors is 3.1 times more efficient than punching through walls and reduces knuckle wear and tear. Such an True. honorable scout! This is why you're such a powerful ally, Calculester. I would never have thought of using doors on my own. Hey, let's try <laughs> this one over here. Dahlia opens up the door to her left, and a deluge of screaming tongues pours out. Neither she nor Calculester seem the least bit startled by this. Engaging camp module.exe. Friend Dahlia, I had no idea you were two you two were incapable of fear. Bonding experience initiated. Nothing can scare Dahlia! What? No, I definitely experience fear. I'm just not afraid of a closet full of screaming tongues specifically. A, hearty sen a healthy sense of fear is an important survival trait. A necessary quality in a good leader. My fears include not being the best, exploding, and institutional racism. Good. Good. <laughs> wow. Good. Ah, I see. I thought I had someone else like me. 
but instead it seems I am both a poor fuss a simile of a living creature and a poor leader. Oh, well. Oh, now the calculus is sad. Shut up, my metal friend. It's gonna be okay. Error 404. I have no chin. And no, it is not. I mean, what's going on? You got no chin. You got a chin right there. But his face is sideways. He still has a chin. There's a bottom to that. That's fair. An ear. And like, you could argue also that little grill bit on the side could be the chin. Yeah. yeah. That's a what about the side bends? Also, I'm really sad. I was trying to find an audio file of someone yelling, it's a Gundam. <laughs> I, think I, I, think I, I think I deleted that uh, sound bite. Oh, no. Ouch. It's a Gundam. It's a Gundam. That's not Gundam. That's just uh, Final Fantasy XIV Sage on it. Yeah. The yeah. new Sage. All right. Anyway. Yes, it is. <laughs> Because Tico and I are going to teach you how to feel fear so you can become a great leader you were born to be. Mm-hmm. I was not born. Hmm. So you can become the great leader you were made to be. Pretty sure Dahlia is not going to be able to accomplish this monumental task on her own. You're going to need to step in. Luckily, you know just how to scare Calculus. Here. All the Windows update. Jesus. True. Tell him the spooky story of Y2K, or take him to the digital haunted house known as the Dark Web. Oh god. Oh no. Both of these are... well, no, that's scarier than that one. But that's just my personal preference. True. Yeah, that is kind of scary. Don't talk about the Dark Web, it doesn't exist. This might be really relevant to the chat, but I do have something that could... It doesn't. ...like kind of scary. Uh, Let's go with that one. The dark web. This one? Dark web. Yeah. Four, oh, four, oh, four. I have heard of the dark web, Tico. I have even been there. Alas, it has failed to scare me. Ha! Huh. Maybe Calculus has been to the dark web, but he can't possibly have seen the worst of it. Oh, let me see the dark, dark web. <laughs> the extra dark web. Is this like what Alex keeps constantly asking me in D&D about an under under dark? Yes. Probably. God. Mm. It takes a truly depraved mind like yours to really plunge the depths of the dark web. You whip out your laptop and show him what you need. Oh, oh god. Whoa! This page is offering to sell us drugs! And the drugs are actually just crushed up assault weapons! Does that <laughs> scare you, Calculester? Mm-hmm. Sadly, all I fear is, oh, Phil, is confusion at the author's lack of punctuation. Please don't let you, this page lets you buy a private army which you can use to literally massacre whoever you want. <laughs> really good. Oh God. I don't care. Spooky, right? I. Dogecoin. <laughs> I find it disturbing that the seller only accepts payment in Dogecoin, but beyond that, I feel nothing. What about this collection of horrifying JPEGs? Have you ever seen a man jerk off this many astronauts? It's insane! Lameness detected. It is wrong to kink shame, Brendalia. <laughs> astronauts should be... N- Permits it to enjoy being masturbated to, and some people find them very appealing. Oh, his shock face. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it is I who am sorry. I lashed out because I was frustrated by my inability to experience. Oh, no. No! Tico, what are you doing? Uh... What did I do? What? I thought you weren't afraid of the dark web. I am not, friend Dahlia. I am afraid because Tico is accessing the dark web using <laughs> Internet Explorer. <laughs> oh, Lord. Huh, weird. It hasn't right. been that long. I figured they wouldn't even have been able to open the browser by now. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting what? for five years for it to load up, you know. 
Yeah. What's the trick to say? I'm scared that they're using Windows Explorer Explorer at all. Right? What? Is that not how you're supposed to access the dark web? How are we not still waiting? Apparently not. <laughs> because just then, some hackers take over your computer and transform it into a gun, which they use to try and mug you. Oh, God. <laughs> Money isn't a stat in this game, so you lose nothing of real value. Meanwhile, Calculestrus finally learned, learned what it means to experience fear. Nice! You gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Let's trade places! Everybody choose an animal! I am going to choose a cap. Wait, no, I'm not playing. That's right. <laughs> playing. Yeah. <laughs> one stabby. I so choose we... cow. Squirrel. Uh -huh. Squirrel, cow. Awesome. You said squirrel. What? Fuck it, I'll go cliche. Rabbit. Rabbit. We have squirrel, cow, rabbit. Awesome. An otter. Otter? Yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't. Player order is decided based on which animal could conceivably protect you from a bear attack. Start debating now. Why did oh, I at last. Bear? <laughs> Why didn't Wait. you pick bear? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Stabby, am I a regular rabbit or the rabbit from Monty Python? No, no, see, that's bullshit. You don't get that kind of shit, because then I want to be the vampire cow from Little Vampire. <laughs> classic 2000 movie. Cool. Squirrels are just squirrels. We don't... Uh, 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 yeah. To be fair, uh, squirrels do millions of dollars in property damage every year. Mm -hmm. no, this is true. Yeah, but that's they have about it. they have like siege attack on their stat block. So there's that. But true. hear me out. Squirrel causes mass property damage, destabilizing the economy, destabilizing civilization, civilization collapse, anarchy. Bears are go extinct from nuclear devastation. Oh my god, the butterfly effect! <laughs> god. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm down for it. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna vouch for otters because they're just like so they're assholes. Yeah, they're no, they, you, you, the gang life. Have you seen right? like wildlife otter gang life videos? They're just like nah. It's like, oh yeah, I'm cute and cuddly, but I'll rip your face off. I do request that, re regardless what uh, place I get, that I get some charm because I'm really low in that. <laughs> it's just like spare charm. Spare let's charm. go first then to make sure that they can get charm. Okay. We go, okay. We go, okay. So we'll go tick and then for the feel property like, damage. I feel like cows <laughs> last. Cows, cows last. I feel like so. Yeah. I feel like I'm the most edible version of anything here. <laughs> but I'm a rabbit. Yeah, a rabbit can run away. Cows really don't run. Cows can run. Oh, no, they can. Pretty... They don't really like. Pretty... <laughs> Technically, even anything can run with enough motivation. Yeah. <laughs> so, and so. Cows stand people, yeah. Are we just gonna go boop, boop, boop? Two, three, four. Okay. That's your call. Oh no, it's a campfire! Uh oh, boy. Hey. <sighs> Oh, okay. Hmm. I forgot. I forgot it was campfire. Okay, so campfire for Ryan is you can get some free hearts, or you okay. can sit with somebody at this log, or you can talk to the Moss Man. Oh, who's gonna who's gonna voice Moss Man? I will. <laughs> All right, take where uh, you wanna go. Are you gonna do a sneaky voice? I will go with the Moss Man. You wanna go to the Moss Man? Yeah. Get some gossip. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, fellow Casper. Hey, Tico. Welcome to my cozy little log. How is everything? Say, have you heard anything particularly juicy lately? Any good stories about our camp, mate? Hmm. Look at me trying to make small talk and not all just for fishing for some gossip. No, no, just some good old-fashioned small talk. Ah, yeah. Come on, spill yeah. the beans, spill my friend. That gossip. So should we explain to Ryan how this works? Oh yeah, okay. so let me get there. Fuck it. It's time for some lies and gossip. Here we go. Alright, so you get to choose who to gossip about, and it might give them an increase or a decrease in their stats depending on what choices you choose. So Tick, okay. who do you want to gossip about? Gossip about myself. It's about you? Okay. Alright, Russian roulette, Ouija board, bingo, or spin the bottle. Ouija board. Ouija board? 
Living feather, dangerously. Like uh, featherless chicken, teacup, unicorn, giant mosquito, clones of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh my. Giant mosquito. Type in a good name for a circus clown. Boogaloo. Lost man. <laughs> it's not your choice. I know. I know. <laughs> Juicy. How interesting. I'm so glad our conversation naturally led to you telling me what all that without having me cry at all whatsoever. Farewell, fellow camper. I promise I'll take this secret to my grave. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to whisper covert covertly to our campmates about something completely unrelated. A rumor finishes circling the campfire faster than a rabbit achieving an orgasm. And here it goes. I heard hey, the weirdest rabbits. thing. All right, who wants to narrate? Okay. Yeah. Hey, did you hear the news about Tico yet? If not, allow me to enlighten you. No. I heard that they used to keep a pet giant mosquito in their bedroom. <laughs> Tico allegedly won their pet during a high stakes game of Luigi board. I know, right? Tico named their new pet Boogaloo, and they went on in a lot, lots of wacky adventures together. Ugh! Unfortunately, Tico's parents didn't approve of them having a pet, and when they found out about Boogaloo, the giant mosquito, they forced him to get rid of it. So Tico had to sneak Boogaloo into camp, onto the camp bus and release it into the woods. People are saying that Boogaloo, the giant mosquito, is still out there, wandering, wandering aimlessly around the woods, searching for its owner. But it's a secret! Shh. So remember the next time you're out hiking with Tico, you may end up getting tackled by a vicious little critter. Hello. Whoa! Whoa! That's a hit! Oof! Congratulations, okay. you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no real goal, I'm just here to cause trouble, so... Hey, hey, hey. Minor high five. Tico loses minus four creativity. Tonight will be the night of the living dead. Chaos reigns. All right, no. where do you want to sit, Ryan? Do you want to talk to somebody, get some free hearts, uh, or do you want to sit on the bench and maybe somebody will sit with you? Um, I'll sit with Calculesta and Damien. Why not? Okay. You gonna get some free hearts with them? Yeah, go for it. Damien and Calculesta are discussing something. You head over there on the off chance that it's about how desperately one of them wants to have sex with you. You're no this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's his fantasy outfit! So oh, Jesus Christ, it is. Uh, don't take it so personally, Cal. I'm not saying you're stupid, I'm just saying you're super dumb when it comes to surviving in the wild, and I can help. I realize you are attempting to help. I am not upended by your baseless and untrue observations. I am merely reminding you that I am a machine and therefore not alive and therefore I do not need survival skills. Huh? Sure, you say that now, but what about when you get lost in the woods and have to eat your own arm to stop yourself from eating your own dick? <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> Sure. E even if I did need to eat, which I don't, my arm is not made of caloric, squishy meat like yours. I would provide little nutritional value to anyone. Whoa, that's crazy! It's a pretty insightful conversation when you really think about it. Uh -huh. Shit, really? That's crazy! I guess that means you'd have to eat one of your legs, which is way less convenient, but it'd still get the job done. Alright, Fear, you are not grasping the real problem here. Wait, I just remembered. My arms are made of squishy meat and flesh, and I have two of them. You only <laughs> just now remembered that you have two arms? I'm a pro camper. A genius right here. Why don't I just give you one of my arms so you can eat it if you <laughs> eat it if you need? Okay. Man, one, nature, fuck you. Dang it, that part got in. Ryan cut out, and I'm like, oh, no, I want to read the last <laughs> part. You're okay. Yeah. You guys yeah. Everyone's kind of robotic. Right. My, my friend said the insane gesture, but I assure you that it is not all necessary and actually quite traumatizing. Too late. Already got my pocket buzz, pocket buzz saw. Now, do you prefer red meat or really red meat? <laughs> 
Ryan, your mic kind of sounds like you're in a bubble now. It's not as clear. Wait, really? Hold on. Yeah. I have an idea. I think it's what? Two seconds. All right, Natty, well, that's while Ryan's doing that. Natty! Uh, Help! Sorry, I was muted. You're... Since Michael's in the other room, I turn it off when he's doing calculus, so oh, it's okay. not like a double. There's not an echo. Well, I can just hear you, so. Okay. All right. While it's clear Damien's trying to be a good friend, you'd probably be a really bad friend if you didn't stop him from cutting his arm off. He'd be losing so much tattoo space. That's true. The best way to do that would be to propose a different survival technique Cal could utilize, but what to suggest? When you're in the wild, always utilize power saving mode. Offer to let Calculus eat your arm instead. Okay, is that better? There you go. There it is. Okay, cool. Uh, so so one, one, of the these, I, I so like... one of these is a very much going to appeal to Damien, and one of these is going to appeal to Calculus. Okay, I'll say my Calculus to eat your arm instead. You're in the wall, always you last power saving mode. Um, power saving mode. I am impressed with your thoughts and actions. Oh, this is actually a useful proposal, Brent V. Ryan. Conserving power while you're away from a power source is very insightful advice. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Hold the damn phone. I never heard of this technique, and I'm the most badass survivalist there is. There's no fucking way this exists. <laughs> sure you are, Damien. Sure you are. Like, what does it mean, anyway? Saving power? Why would I save my power and I could just use it to punch people instead? Mm-hmm. And... You appear to be talking about energy, friend Damien. Friend B. Ryan is referring to saving the electrical power that my body uses to operate it. <sighs> oh, that makes that makes more sense. Ryan is saying you should you should hold those wait you should hold those batteries. I've seen you shove up your ass. <laughs> wow. What? I mean, you're even kinkier than I thought, but sure, I respect it. A survival situation without any sexy fun time isn't worth surviving in the first place. In this house, we don't kink shame people's butt battery fetish. Alright. <laughs> yeah, alright. You have woefully misunderstood the purpose of the batteries I insert into my carrier. I love that it's just canon now, that's where the batteries go. I don't know what half of those words mean. See ya. Anyway, I'm going to catch my own save uh, save power supply before any hike, uh, hike tomorrow. Wouldn't want to be the only guy who didn't bring any toys to the play day. Am I right? <laughs> he is not right. But I have assessed that correcting friend Damien's misconception is a total waste of time. I need True. to recharge. But now that we are alone, would you like to be or would you be as kind to as change out my batteries? All this talk of saving power reminded me that we, they are probably almost out of juice. His face is a dick right now. Yeah, his face is a dick. Wait, is Cal inviting yeah. you to stick your hands in his ass chest? I think you might. Coach is right! Survival <laughs> really can't be sexy! Hey. hey. Home is where your booty sits the comfiest. Alright, Doodle. Pumps. Do you wish to hmm. sit, or where do you wish to sit? You Sorry, have... I said... Huh? Just thinking, um... You have log, let's see. log, log. Hmm, damn, so many choices. Who could I screw over here? Who's left? Um, that's there. my favorite. Yeah. 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 You talk to Robbie. Who's Bear going for? A Robbie. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna be mean. No, you can do it. I don't. I don't care. Power move. Sip on myself. Oh, sip by yourself. Okay. I don't need no one. I'm just gonna be on my phone. By yourself. I'm gonna be shit posting. Some nights are for flirting with your friends in your endless bid for romance and/or sex. Some nights are for spreading ridiculous rumors and frolicking in the chaos. <laughs> but tonight, it seems it is for sitting without your or with your friends. The question is. Will your friends see it that way too? We'll see. I hope I don't also, interrupt I, 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 I just point out the fact that it's kind of hypocritical that they went out of their way to say that the batteries go up Calculus's butt 
when another dialogue talked about how the fax machine definitely isn't his crotch. I mean, the fax machine He's got interchangeable crotch. parts, don't worry about it. No, it's just like, I think that's like the writers arguing with each other and we're just seeing it secondhand. Multiple <laughs> universes! Listen, this is the universe where there's 32 Shrek movies and we're not living in it. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright. Sad you can't like, yourself into the fire. Can't okay. <laughs> Why is there no option? It's just end it all. Do I just go for a Ravi or do I sit with Do you Doodle. sit with Doodle? Get some free stat Doodle. boost? Yeah. I've never seen what happens when two players sit together. Look at how cute you guys are! That Polaroid's Aww. adorable. It's adorable. You sit with Tired and Wired. You Look talk. how skinny both of them are. You laugh. You make s'mores. You contemplate the meaning, or lack thereof, of life and death. You make more s'mores. At one point, your fingers accidentally touch when you're reaching for the marshmallows, and both of you blush and shy away in the really cute, tropey way. <laughs> this is degeneracy in my Christian Minecraft server. Right. <laughs> Things are getting a little steamy. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Maybe it's time to seal the deal with the classiest, most beautiful compliment you've ever given anyone. That's oh, right! Boy. There's more content! Because they updated it! What does this mean? You can date other players. Oh, and, dope. And, I didn't know shit. Date people. Before That's we do this, amazing. Hand, I have a relevant image. All right. Yes. All right, uh, there. Yes. I was going to say, oh. get, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Fucking censored. Hand holding. For those okay. watching the stream, <laughs> you can't see in chat. I posted a GIF of hand holding, but it censors the hands. <laughs> it's pretty explicit content, not going to lie. All right. I have yeah, the other Blu-ray version later. Should've, should've no, that's not Fly Bunny Moon. That's um, that is um, that's Clanad. Yes, oh, a okay. very very happy anime where nothing bad ever happens. Nope. Yeah, nothing Absolutely bad ever. Absolutely nothing bad. <laughs> nothing <laughs> good, none at all. All right, so okay. so you know, uh, Michael, you get to throw a pickup line at Tick. Not uh, me. Not Tick. At uh, Doodle. Doodle. Right. Sorry. I like this. I like the middle option, the, the movies. I'd, I'd like to take you to the movies, but they don't let you bring in your own snacks. Ooh. Hey. Damn. Smooth. Uh, Damn. All right. Perfect. Super classy. Tired Wired is totally smitten. Well, she seems uh, amused, at the very least. I'm more enthralled <laughs> by the marshmallows. <laughs> She's Whoa! so amused, in fact, that she gained Ooh. plus five fun from your compliment. Wow. <laughs> Big. Oh, nice. oh my god. Wow! This one, wow, Jesus. Uh, smarts, boldness, creativity, charm for yourself, but what you truly want is Tired and Wired's heart. Oh, to Outer chaos! <laughs> <laughs> Bring like out your tasks! We'll, we'll choose. Oh, yeah, drinking game. Yeah! Hey, how are you? <laughs> hey there, party people. <laughs> bet, I bet you're here for free drinks. Good thing I'm always feeling cherished tonight. Yeah, it'd be your can, yeah. So, so I'm trying to, I know it's, I'm failing at this movie, I'm trying to go for how Sung Won does his cat voice. What was it, Effie? Oh, I think that name. Oh my god. Yeah, I know what you're, I yes, know remember, <laughs> I'm not no responsible for whatever happens to you. Take your pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, get it, die! Okay. I'm not sorry. Oh <laughs> We've got. Yeah, I don't remember what that is, but I bought some drinks last time we played. So yeah, good luck in your mind off of bootleg SpongeBob when you hear one of the magical. I never guess my creativity and charm. I'll go for it. Uh, okay, so you've got. I have to watch the vod later. I gotta know uh... how bad that was. Let me breathe. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is a smart drink. This one is gives you a general boost to everything. This one, I think, is charm, because it's liquid creativity. This is phobia shots, and that's bold. Uh, where is Whiskey's just whiskey. <laughs> uh, where's the... Uh, we don't want that one. Um, what's the creative one? We don't want dark and stormy! <laughs> this is the most... So some of these will just put you on a special <laughs> route. That's a Molotov cocktail. So if anybody's interested in going for batness, uh, I got that one. Um... Do you have the Gamer Girl Bathwater where it just starts playing music? Do I have Gamer Girl Bathwater? No, oh, but I've got... No, I haven't bought that one yet. Oh. 
Oh, we're not doing random? Okay. No, we're, just, we're picking. Oh, we, should try the, we should try random next time. Okay. Uh, I thought we'd be a little nicer to Ryan. I don't mind. I enjoy the tail. Well, hang on. If you, there's if three, you want a random, well, I'll adapt. Ways. I forgot there's three different kinds, because there's this, there's the one where we have to fight over it, and then there's one yeah, where... Yeah, the uh, one where we fight over it is an online one where we all have the game. The, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a group game. Which I have, but does everyone else? Yeah. I don't think Ryan okay, has. Um, I don't have Tick, I, I, don't, I don't remember which one is the one you want. Uh, just the rainbow one then, I guess. Rainbow? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Ryan, which one would you like? Uh, ooh, okay. Oh god, Sean needs a buff. By the way, Shabby got dead, Tar. Like how uh, one is one? just staring at yourself dick wisely. The rainbow one, the rainbow one's Hi, Sean, right? Or is that creativity? Hi, how are you? Which one? Um, I don't remember. You can't take you. Oh, you, you can't take. Yeah, you can't pick the same one. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know if there's another one. <laughs> What's the pixelated one? That's Sex on the Beach. Sex on the Beach. Oh, I get. Hmm. I didn't realize this game was imported from Japan. Uh. <laughs> Okay, uh, do, 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 do. I think you said the 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 one the bottom left one on this page this is one. the smarts one, right? Yeah. Okay, take it. Green. Let's go. All right, so, doodle. What, what do you is, want? What's the one? What's the one with the black sensor bars? Oh, that that right. changes everyone's names to like redacted or something. That, that changes the thing. Oh. Your name to redacted. <laughs> yeah, it changes uh, your name was, to redacted. Is either that I one or it's like Hydra uh, Bat? Yeah, it's the Hydra Stats. No, one. that's dark and stormy. Oh, oh, is it? Because we got that one by accident. We're all like, no. Could have sworn that was the that was the sensor bar one though. What's that one with the sunglasses? This one? I think yeah, it's a super that? cool drink. Does it give me like coolness or boldness? I don't know. I don't think anyone's drank that one. Well, here's the thing. I'm super cool. I think I could take it. You take it. All right. All right. All right, Michael. What do you want? Um, what's on the next page? I did whiskey one time, that was alright. Yeah, whiskey is just whiskey. I either want the screwdrivers or the bees. Uh, well, the, bees, the bees like will change your customers. name. You're not liable for any bad outcomes. The bees will change your name. The bees will change your name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, then not the bees. Um, Not the bees. Not the bees. I guess the screwdriver. Screwdriver? Hey, you like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> alright. Imagination shots! <laughs> Imagination. Oh, no. I'm not doing the voice for that. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll just skip. Yeah, that was the creative one, Tick. Thank you, this one. Thank you, bye. Pierre, creativity. A small your. Yeah, I can't read it. My finger's in the way. You want to eat the unicorn, Tick? Oh, the unicorn is just decorated. Yes. You can eat it if you want. Oh, okay. The margarita. <laughs> They want to drink the margarita, huh? To think that if I drink a fray, you'll absorb it smart. It's a bit simplistic. But hey, that's what actually happens. Occam's razor at its finest. I like straws. Oh, wait, wait. You like what? straws? The cool dude! What? Magical Drinks Incorporated is not responsible for any negative outcomes experienced. The cool dude. I really did it with... Uh, I, really, I really did this time thing. I, that is a tongue twister. I really did it this time with the, Okay. The Canadian. I really did it with this time with the name. Huh. I can't read today. Sorry to anyone in chat with my flubbing. My hand is in the way of the screen when I'm plugging my nose. <laughs> this drink makes everything cooler. Oh, we don't get cool names! I don't renaming all you the coolest <laughs> things ever. Oh. oh. I have a cool You are- Oh no, who is ever the thickest stadium? <laughs> oh, I like my old nickname. What is all of our names now? Uh, uh, this one is just weird. I think it changes the main stats to determine who you are as a person. Oh, okay. But just one. <laughs> I don't know where else. Like Happy trail. Oh, your what? your stats oh. are not dignity. <laughs> Oh, di dignity was a pog. Yep. Now you can't use that word anymore. No. Oh uh, no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Mel and nipples is one of them. I don't know what the That's middle what one is. Uh, the middle one is shits to give. Oh, shits to give. Okay. I can't believe Insomniacast got canceled after all these years. 
Do something good, my friends. Yeah, you're not. You. I know. Um, <laughs> something good. Happy. Um, anime uh, titties. Hey, anime titties. Anime titties. I'm I would not my wife. Decay. Everybody pick. Pizza. So we have. Oh, hold pizza. on. We had. Go ahead. We had pizza, anime titties, stabby. My wife. Also, my wife. Oh, fuck you. Valentine's Day stream is sappy. For those who don't know, Michael and I are married. Aww. <laughs> I am the. Okay, wait, hold on. Embodiment of face drops. Face drops. Endless <laughs> ecstasy. Partner. <laughs> the thickest day of your booty. Oh my god. I can't okay. believe Tick is the embodiment of a face drop. <laughs> It's like so well. <laughs> so dummy Vic, you're just the embodiment of a base drop, but you're not a god. No, but you're an embodiment, you're immortal. <laughs> Alright, player order is decided based on how badass a superpower based on said good thing would be. Start debating. I, I think Maddie and I are tied because Maddie is the all knowing sheep and I am just a cryptid. But you're a cryptid. That's the point. Anime titties, though. Anime titties, though. <laughs> anime titties. I mean, how can anime titties? Okay, well, hold on. Hold power? on. We're forgetting. Pizza. I anime was gonna titties. bring it up. I was like, but yeah, titties. <laughs> but yeah, titties. What is better, anime titties or pizza? Okay, anime I propose. Titties. I propose something else, guys. Hang on. What if instead, the superpower is based on what our names were changed to? That's oh. the first again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a god. Yeah. <laughs> or a deity. Yeah, yeah you've know. got a god. Uh, the embodiment <laughs> of drop the bass, endless drugs, and then a cowboy. Hey, drugs a cowgirl, a sorry. Cow person. Well, I thought, I thought <laughs> partner was like, I don't know, I thought partner was like, yeah, that's partner, I'll Sammy, forgive that's you partner. because God will not. Because oh, like, okay. I'm chasing down the villain. You could, you could make it a play on words and say it's if you got to which partner. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I think I've successfully convinced. I think I've successfully committed chaos today. Yep. I, feel like I, I, I don't off. really care as long as I get some charm. That's all I care about. All right, random. Yeah, all right. Hey, hey it's almost hey. the exact same order. <laughs> yeah. Good last. Woo. Okay, ticks going to the dome. Might turn out okay. All right, let's do this. Bam. I love them so much. So cute! <laughs> so does everyone else. That day at the camp dome, you play Never Have I Ever Extreme. Every time someone mentions something you've done, you have to cut a finger oh, off. Oh god. Oh no. But besides the finger part, this is finally a great time to brag about all the cool illegal shit you've done. You're the first out, and while they're sewing your digits back on, you get, you get to regale your friends with stories of how you robbed a bank while wearing your grandfather's skull as a hat. You're so cool. They also sew to plus two charm to your left hand by mistake. Sorry about that missing finger, but you have cool now. <laughs> oh. Uh, you're, comp you're competing hard in the camp dome, doing your best to achieve your goal. Oh. Is that what? Oh, you see the Victorian era? Is that what? My God! Oh, <laughs> my God! Yeah. It's Hacker Man. <laughs> it's a mustache for me. Which is uh, flirting with Lord Hewlett Packard, obviously. What? You thought you actually started caring about dome games? That's right. All their they all have their yeah, own unique encounters. titles. Oh dear! I was oh gosh! Oh no! And he has a little mustache. It's Sideburns and a little mustache. Why well, yes, up. friend embodiment of a bass drop. I do know CPR. So I am sorry to hear I have taken your breath away. Is there any way I can assist? Shall I remove myself from your vicinity? <laughs> Think you're muted. Nope. Natty. Natty. Natty you're muted. Natty, you're muted. <laughs> I hear Maddie in the distance. Maddie, no! Maddie, come back! 
Sorry. Hey, say that? Yell louder. Yell louder. I got like all the way through that too. You did. You start to tell Lord Hewlett Packard not to worry, but before you can move on to your next question, does he have a mirror in his pocket because you can see yourself in his pants? Greetings, comrades! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Brave comrades, it is I, Patness! Let us put aside our rivalries and defeat our true enemy, the Chancellor! Hello, fellow organic life forms! What rivalry, friend, Batness? I have no rivalries, only friends. In fact, that is perhaps why I fail so often at the dome games, because I do not wish to make enemies. I In love fact, that. <laughs> my wow. unwillingness to make enemies has often angered my friends, risking turning them into enemies. Oh dear, what if my refusal to make friends makes me enemies? Viva la revolution! Hey, Lord Hewitt Packard, and that is. And it is that unique and not at all confusing perspective that would make you such a valuable asset to the rebellion against the Chancellor. <laughs> I'm going to pair you with my ally, Foxface, a fox with an actual human face. She is very upsetting. I feel like a cute an anthropomorphized rabbit robot might help her appeal. It sounds like this Chancellor is a very bad man. I am going to run an internal search for information about him right now. Hmm. This article, How the Chancellor is Controlling Your Mind with Serial, was posted by Stabin Stabson. How to Overthrow the <laughs> Chancellor and Look Good Doing It by Absinthe. Those are just anagrams of badness. <laughs> Top 5 Ways the Chancellor is Sucky and Mean by Matt Biss. If I didn't know any better, I would even... I would say every one of these users' names was an anagram for Batnet. <gasps> yes, well, I think it's obvious the whole world hates the Chancellor. Clear your scheduled Lord Hewitt Packard. This is going to take at least four movies, or three books if you knew how to read. See you in the sequel. It's time for Batness and Lord Hewitt Packard catching fire and throwing it back at the Chancellor because he sucks. I realize you are attempting to help. <laughs> I am happy to help, friend Batness. We will work to overthrow the government for as many movies and or and slash or books as it takes. I have no more pressing adventures that would stop me. Um, that's what he thinks. You can't lose Lord Hewlett Packard for that long. It's time to remind him that, <laughs> hold on, of that really important high stakes adventures the two of you were about to embark on. Lord Hewlett Packard and Hold on. Oh, an embodiment of a base drop adulting into the realm of federal tax deduction, or Lord Hewlett Packard and the embodiment of a base drop. Three, Revenge of Roberto Roadkill. Uh, hmm. You like the top one is. Sorry, what? One of these is smarts. Yeah, one of these is smarts. I feel like the top one is smarts. Yeah. yeah. I think that too. That's the other one. Either fun or bold, I bet. Which both of those are higher than your smarts. Yeah. And your, well, not a higher it's than your creativity. Up, up to you, embodiment of base drop. Uh, pick something random, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, 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 random hey. success. Embodiment of a base drop and Lord Hewitt Packard three. Why do I, I remember Roberto Roadkill from the first ones? Who is Roberto Roadkill? Remember who the real enemy is. It doesn't is. matter, it's Lord the Chancellor. Packard. He can't have done anything worse than the Chancellor has. <laughs> All right, I'm not muted now. You recount it, how in Lord Hewlett Packard and Embodiment of a Base Drop 1, Electric Boogaloo, Roberto Roadkill spelled your name on your Starbucks cups with two Z's and the O after the P. The nerd. Oh no. Maybe that was an accident, though. I have often seen embodiment of a base shop spelled with just half a Z and the O under the P. Wait, what? 
And then you remind Lord Hewlett Packard of last year in Lord Hewlett Packard and Embodiment of the Base Drop 2, Circus of Ghouls, where Roberto Roadkill tried to murder you both at the Monster Truck Rally. Hmm. Ah, yes. That was very mean of friend Roberto to try and murder us both. I had totally forgotten about that. And Lord Hewlett Packard, that that's because Roberto Roadkill has some of his had some of his memories erased. Oh, that's right. Why? Oh, why does Roberto Roadkill hate you so so much? Well, you explained it all started when you both uh, commented first at the same time on a viral video, and Roberto vowed to destroy you at all costs. And Lord Hewlett Packard by association. Oh my god, this whole thing is beyond absurd. I am disappointed. Yes, it is absurd that for an embodiment of a base drop has had to suffer over an, an internet thing when everyone should know the internet is a place for light-hearted joy and fun. Yeah, Tumblr. Is this a nature? Come on, let's finish this adventure so we can move to Lord Hewitt Packard and embodiment of a base shop for the one with no conflict. They'll cut you in the movie remake. No conflict would make for a terrible four movies and or three books. But Lord Hewlett Packard doesn't care, and neither do you. You just hope this will wind up being in the romance genre, or at least comedy romance. Regardless, you get plus two charm and plus one fun. Oh dear. All right, Ryan. Okay. Your charm is I'm real bad, going. but yeah, I need you to can't. Fix that. But you can't oh, go no, there. I can't fix that. <laughs> um. The second worst you can have it next time. Boldness. I appreciate you. Uh, mana's boldness, right? Because yep. spookies. Okay, yep. mana it is. Okay. Oh my. That day, in the haunted manor, you accidentally stumble upon a cult meeting in the hallway. The cultists are wearing terrifying black robes, standing over a bloodied body and chanting. You try to flee, but one of them shoves a flyer in your hand. The ink burns into your eyes um, to read, but you manage to find the words "New recruits get healthcare benefits with same-day sign-up." Sign me up. <laughs> Sold. You gain a bunch of new cultist buddies, and your new insurance covers spontaneous plus two boldness growths. Cool. Yay. Healthcare. Later, Damien and Milo are helping you make the most fire insta post of all time. Damien did your hair and makeup, and Milo's posed you elegantly in front of, like, 80 ghosts. My aesthetics on point. This shot is everything! The light is reflecting through the ghost exactly as I planned. Now, endless ecstasy. Just try to look like you care a little less, okay? <laughs> huh? Now that I've fixed him up, he looks kind of good. <laughs> good. Guess you're not such a dog after all, endless ecstasy. Ecstasy. The door bursts yes. open. Oh no! Oh no! Yay, my other favorite NPC! Yeah, the Jared oh, here. You what? see a tall, slinky, masked man. He's got a knife and the gleam of murder in his eyes. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm going to die. Hey teens, prepare to die because I'm gonna kill you. You can run if you want, but that makes it way less fun for me if you do that. Good. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh no, it's the- wait, what is the- what the fuck is your name again? Hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm realizing that I don't re remember his name either. Can you enlighten us before you murder us, darling? <laughs> what? You, you got- what the hell? It's me, Jerry! The serial killer Jerry! That stabs horny teens in this weird old house. That Jerry! Remember? Go home, loser! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your name is Jerry. That's the least intimidating serial killer name I've ever heard. What are you gonna do? Poke me with that? Uh, poke me with a toothpick? Mm -mm. Damien's right. Jerry is a depressing name. It doesn't provoke fear. It's not memorable. Jerry, dear, your name is a key pillar of your whole serial killer brand. God, I suck at this. Okay, it's time. Time out, killer. Are you serious? Because I have kind of noticed that people don't always take me seriously when they kill people. Maybe they're just not scared of my name. 
Fucking duh, dude. Nobody was scared of Richard the guy with the, who stabs nurses and loves cre uh, loves creps until he changed his name to Trash Dog Torso Impaler. Don't let Damien worry you, Jerry. We'll help you rebrand. That's what we do. How about the silken handed San Antonio Slayer? Classy, no? Blood. Whoa, that's an awesome serial killer name. Only problem is I'm not from Texas. What if we went with something super classic like the bookshare of baby blood? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you kill you kill teens these wait, you kill more teens than babies, right? And you're super weird about sex stuff. Wait, holy shit, I just figured it out. How about the campsite ball ripper? Huh? Damien, that's absolutely inspired, but I just checked and apparently someone already has the handle campsite ball ripper. Guess that name's taken. No! <laughs> Ugh, I fucking hate the campsite ball ripper. That guy's my number one serial killer rival. He's always ripping everyone's balls off before I can stab him. Fuck, this is so hard. Should I just quit, you guys? Oh. Oh. Jerry's so discouraged. He's ready to quit serial killing. I hate seeing people give up on their dreams. Happy Valentine's Day, jellyfish. Uh, come up with the perfect serial killer name for him. Jerry, the alleged murderer. Renowned Austrian symbolist mur murder... murder... <laughs> Gustav Klimt. Klimt. Oh, Gustav Klimt. Got it. Oh, Got what it. the hell? Okay, um... Hmm. <laughs> I wanna I like say... The... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, I feel like the bottom one's creativity, but... I think it's creativity and smarts. Yeah. Which are your two highest? Yeah, basic. Yeah, true. I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Jerry the alleged murderer because I think that one's smart and I think the other one's creativity. Okay. Hey! Let's go. I love it. It's so intimidating, so bold, so mysterious. It's official, you guys. I am now Jerry the alleged murderer. Jerry, the alleged murderer, is so excited about his new nickname that he goes on a huge killing rampage. He kills, like, so many people. And the cops catch him right away. Oh. Rip. But when he's on trial, the persecutors are forced to refer to him as Jerry, the alleged murderer. The jury gets super confused. <laughs> and because he's constantly referred to as the alleged murderer, the whole jury just assumes that he must not be guilty. Despite an assload of evidence, Jerry is ruled innocent. Let's go. <laughs> Easy. You guys, I'm back from all the killings in my trial and stuff. Check it out, I'm on the news! Jerry turns on the TV where the newscasters are giving the daily serial killer murder recap. Today, in a shocking twist, Jerry, the alleged murderer, was ruled innocent. Next, police found six mutilated corp corpses in an abandoned school bus. <laughs> And police have arrested the alleged murderer. Wait, I'm confused. Isn't Jerry the alleged murderer? Did he also kill six other people? I think so. Let's just say yes. These killings were also the work of Jerry the alleged murderer. Congratulations to Jerry. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, thanks for your help. Seriously, this name nickname is the best thing that's ever happened in my career. I'm safe from the law. I'm killing left and right. Here's Jerry. And I finally beat the campsite ball ripper in the official serial killer national ranking. You're looking at the sixth most famous serial killer in the whole country. Hashtag winning. So happy to see your bre see a brand thriving and the sick. Ecstasy, I have to applaud your work on this one. Your name suggestion was a total clickbait, in a good way. Brad! Yeah, it's a dope name, and it's extra dope because Jerry doesn't have to face any illegal consequences for his crimes. Damien is back, bitches! Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I've decided I'm officially going by the name Damien the Alleged Stabber with a, <laughs> with a huge penis. Thanks, Damien. <laughs> Classic Damien. Jerry is super grateful and expresses his thanks by stabbing you. And then, da <laughs> what was his thing? Damien, the alleged stabber. What was it? The alleged stabber with a huge penis also stabs you. And Milo doesn't want to be left out, so they stab you too. Yeah, but you're not gonna Rip. die. Milo's there. You're losing a lot of blood, but your friends respect you slightly more. 
worth it. Also, you gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Yay, made up charm I wasn't gonna get from the other one. Let's go. All also, right. um, I was gonna say, uh, Sammy, the that voice you were doing for the killer, I could barely keep go uh, I could barely keep going with the let's play game voice. I don't know how you kept going with that one. Hey guys, that what's up? Killed your throat. Like, Actually, Jesus. it's a lot of good Earl stuff, but it's fine. I have a Snapple. Gritty. If I, um, if you hover over the stats, did I change the fucking stupid faces for mine? No, no. Okay, cool. No, they still... Oh. All right. Um, so where do you want to go, Michael? I'm trying to figure out. Can't do that one. I can't believe one of Arabi's stats is bold, and it got changed to Pogs, and... <laughs> is Arabi's stat bold? I thought Arabi's stats were fucking the bottom three. Creativity, charm, and fun. No, I'm pretty sure she's bold and fun. Oh. That might be Damien. I don't know. Uh, put me in. I want to go to Scout HQ again. Okay. A day in Monster Scouts, you learn to identify different berries. You all search for berries and try to identify them. A blackberry, a blueberry. But Rachel, the deer person, finds a weirdly shaped berry that no one can identify. You all stare at it for hours. It's closer to abstract art than a berry, somehow. It's a true think piece. It forces you to reflect on berry inequity, or, oh, inequality. And although there are no easy answers to questions it poses, you all gain plus two shits to give. From <laughs> this is screen cap that one. <laughs> Hold on, let me just screen cap that real quick. Okay. Oh my god. Plus two. Coach, she wants to be coach. It's coach. Uh -oh. I can probably do coach? I don't know what I'm it's, doing. It's just like gravelly know. Tony the Tiger. Afterwards. Or uh, Tony the Tiger. Either that, yeah. I can, or I can do coach. Yeah, I'll let you do it. <laughs> I need to come back to find another one. <laughs> Afterwards, you get stuck in another one of Coach's lectures about trees. Hello, my beloved scouts. And that's why you should never lead a tree, lend a tree your mobile phone, no matter what it tells you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Aravi and Calculester come running out of the woods. They stop in front of you and Coach, panting. Give, oh. what's wrong? Why are you panting? Aravi Mishra, monster Because we just slayer. hunted down a wily and surprisingly fast hedgehog and slaughtered it for meat. <sighs> Good survival skills, but why is Calculester panting? Back to basics. To provide moral support for my friend, Aravi. And what about Hex? They don't have lungs either, do they? DJ Hex up in the pipes! Nah, I'm not panting. I was just beatboxing. It's my new thing. Ugh. And I hate it. But that's not why we're here. We're here so you can help us figure out what to do with this dumb animal we killed. <laughs> Aravi drops the still warm hedgehog corpse on the ground. You can't help but notice the bright red sneakers it's wearing. Maybe those are what made it so fast. You've made <laughs> this old tiger proud. I'm honored that you would come to me, kids. Cooking the meat of the animals you kill is an essential skill in your wilderness toolkit. First, you'll have to... Hmm. No, no, no. We know how to cook meat. I'm an expert hunter and survivalist. <laughs> <laughs> And I have access to YouTube. <laughs> no, we want to figure out how to jazz up this dead hog up so it's not something, so it's something Look. people will actually buy. Excited for our food truck. We are planning to start a forest food truck. You see, we are thinking of calling it the woods in your mouth. Hmm. A plus naming scheme. What? We are at a loss as to how to proceed as none of us have any experience with fine dining. I, for example, cannot eat or enjoy food. I usually just stab random animals and hope they drop fully cooked ham pox or legs of mutton. <laughs> <gasps> bagels! And I subsist mainly on a diet of Aravi's angst and everything bagels. Take care and never stop believing! I'm sorry, kids. This is beyond my expertise. I know about survival, but not hoardy cuisine. 
After all, if it was enjoyable, it wouldn't be survival. Good luck. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. We appreciate it. Hot cuisine isn't your area of expertise either, but you know what is? Coming up with bullshit ways to get people to buy stuff. People don't pay for the product, they pay for the brand. Just put some parsley on it and give it an elegant French name. Ketchup. Add some ketchup. Ketchup makes everything taste pretty okay. I don't, um... I uh, think the top one's creative. I don't remember what creative is. Creative is the middle one! <laughs> Yeah, it's the middle one here. Hold on, I'll do this. Associate. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll work. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do top one. We'll do brand. Okay. <laughs> no, it's charm. <laughs> Failing everywhere. <laughs> I didn't have enough pause for that one. I don't think. No, that was That's smell. Fine. You didn't have enough smell. Oh. Charm smell. Oh, okay. Smell hey, yeah, yeah French is very sexy. If we use French, everyone will want to buy our food because of how horny it makes them. Nah. I'm gonna start uh, renaming Sabby to Sabotage. This is the one time I'm gonna fail, actually. I haven't failed any others before, so. Yeah. Dick. Dick, are you there? Oh. Hello? 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 But do any of us actually know French? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how this is to the, one of the resident Canadians. Hold on. Have fun. <laughs> I'm just, what the heck is I don't even- how would you- what? Sir, boulon blonnais v- chaja creboulet, no? What does that even mean? <laughs> Nothing! I have no idea! I just made some hot French noises with the abyss that functions as my mouth. Hmm... Well, it was kind of hot, but I think we're going to going to have to do better than that. Calculester, get us some actual French words, please, and make them sexy. Request acknowledged. Fetching words of class. Sexy from language French. <laughs> Optimal term found. According to my search, we should call our hedgehog, hedgehog delicacy a menage a trois. Uh, I'm not say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds sexy as fuck. Mm, I don't too. know. I sort of like boulon bonnets of Jacques Riboulet. Only one way to settle this, Cal. Settle this. Cal, run an online poll to see how many people are into hedgehog menage trois. Sounds like a bad Running, idea. Running, pull, tabulating, result, filtering oh. out. Oh, God. <laughs> Sonic graphic, Sonic the Hedgehog oh. fan art. One oh, no. moment, please. Do you want to get the Sonic <laughs> reference like seven scenes ago? Well, is it popular or is it super popular? Hmm. Unfortunately, it appears the name is in fact extremely unpopular. Mm -hmm. Except amongst a very small and fanatical subgroup. But I'm not sure they're as good group uh, to base a business on. Erasing memory of this mess. I doubt they understand that Hed Hedgehog Menage a is a dish and even a real hedgehog and not a relatively sexy anthropomorphic one. Why not? A fanatical fan base seems like a great place to start. Not the Sonic one. I realize you are attempting well, to help. <laughs> in this, sec this section of the poll where I asked how much they would pay for a hedgehog menage a trois. They posted responses as, as one big money shot winky face. And by that, and oh, by the way, that was from a username XXX Shadow mm. the Hedgehog XXX. They missed out on saying Shadow the Hedgehog. Why don't we forget this ever happened? You'd love to. But it's so hard to forget all the other poll answers Cal has shown you. Oh, you could. Oh, these pogs and nipples now. You so hard, you also forget. Two pogs. You've only got eight nipples. nipples. You've only got eight nipples now, Michael. What are you gonna do? Hi, Cal. How many nipples? Oh, no, no, no. That's brilliant. All right, where are you going, Doodle? I can't say that out loud, what I put in text chat, but I'm speaking straight facts. Do you want me to say it out loud? I absolutely will. This is an M. Sure. This is a mature rated stream. I mean, everybody, everybody yeah, does. There are people in my house. Okay, no wonder, 
<laughs> Doodle says, don't underestimate the furries. They're the single most reliable way to survive and pay bills on an independent artist taking furry That's commissions. just the truth. It's, it's, it's true. fucking true. Straight back. That's just yep. how back. life works. We, we had a friend who came up once who apparently Texas hosts a furry convention. Um, and she was like, yeah, I want to get better at drawing horse cocks so I can make more money. I mean... You gotta respect the honesty. Respect yeah, the honesty. Yeah, no, sure. Like, <laughs> respect the hustle. Yeah, where are you going, doodle? Okay, um. Where you wanna right. go to? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna max out fun. Practicality, man. Practicality. Look at the Vicky is! Hey. Oh my god, taking a drink. Oh, I have a swimsuit like that. Cute. Oh, Alright. That day, you it's decide to go though. scuba diving and find a treasure chest at the bottom of the lake. Whoa! <laughs> You pick the lock, which is quite impressive if you keep in mind that you're still underwater. Inside you find over 1,000 fun. Unfortunately, the red suit doesn't have any pockets, so you can only go back to the shore with plus two fun. When you go back, fish have eaten the rest. They're having a rave right now. Fucking fish. <laughs> Afterwards, oh. you end up vibing with Milo. You're sharing a hammock huddled up close to each other. All chaos is rain. And you're both checking your phones. Hell yeah. What could be more emotionally intimate than quality scrolling right beside your number one summer crush? Suddenly, Milo's phone starts blowing up. Granted, Milo's phone is always blowing up. But right now, it's worse than usual. Hey, darling. No need to look so jealous, dear. It's just a work text. I keep telling the head office not to contact me when I'm taking a staycation, but I suppose this reaping is urgent. <gasps> I did seriously get the you accidentally... You did! You accidentally got the secret route. This is the same one we got last time. I think it's was... the only one Milo has, which I'm like... A beautiful glitch, can you put in more? I'm not biased. Which means I'm no, actually not going to be able to get any other like, types well, of... Well, you can, that. if you fail. Yeah, if you hmm. fail, you get normal ones. Okay, yeah. I am aiming to fail. All right. La la la, another day, I'm another jet. Oh, oh my god. Um, This is a little awkward, isn't it? Well, not awkward for you because you don't know yet, and I shouldn't tell you. But I can't resist a little gossip. Listen, partner, I don't usually disclose proprietary information <laughs> because I'm, I'm sorry, hang on. Up. But I just got a gig for next week to collect your soul. I'm oh. sorry, but... When you said listen, partner, and I was just like, okay, can we do Milo's voice in a southern accent instead? I can't. I can't. I can't. It's here, partner. I can do it. Just give Milo a southern bell voice. Oh, Lord. <laughs> huh? Well, I Milo's do going to, re <laughs> going to reap your soul? That sounds super terrifying and also a little bit hot. You asked Milo if this means you're going to die next week, which <sighs> is odd because we still have a week left. <coughs> Short answer, yep, you're totally going to die. Long answer, life, death, the fate are weird and messy, but it's hard to say 100% because of quantum nonsense, but if I'm getting the gig... Yes, you're going to die, congrats. Holy shit. This is the most awkward news you've ever received while lounging in a hammock. You start to freak out. No, no, don't stop it. Stop freaking out right now. I am an expert and I promise you, that it's not as scary as it seems. Death reminds us of the profound, infinite beauty of life. And realistically, it's not like you're immortal or anything. Sorry to burst your bubble, but death is going to find you eventually, boo. But Vicky is Frankenstein. Didn't she, like, get resurrected in the first place? Can she even die? Couldn't they just zap me back to life again? Yeah, anyway? but you're going to die to get your soul reaped by Milo Belladonna. Fuck it, just turn me off and on again. <laughs> I mean, if it works for a toaster, it could work for me. I've never turned a toaster on and off again. Uh, sometimes heating coils short circuit on the old one. I don't think I've ever had Don't ask why I know this. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's from experience. Oh boy, okay. It's funny because right. I'm toast. To, to be was... quite honest, I'm actually doing you a huge favor by letting you know ahead of time. It's my gift to you, the opportunity to go out with a bang. This is the first day of the rest the of your life. 
Let's Otherwise. make this last week of your life the best week of your life. We'll spend every moment together and we'll end it with a huge party. A celebration of partner. A whole and Milo? That sounds like heaven. And it's exciting enough to distract you from your imminent death. You're in. What statics <laughs> on point. Mm, lovely. God, you're going to get so many posthumous followers. I'm almost jealous. Oh, and we should start considering the party aesthetic right away. <laughs> We need some big, memorable main event at the party. Something that'll own on your true essence, partner. And obvi, it should be Snapchat friendly. Any ideas? Shine. Quick. Okay. What's a perfect way to, one, entertain your party guests, two, commemorate your entire existence, and three, impress Mila? So my lowest stat is smarts. Followed by boldness. So, yeah. you will narrate the epic tale of your life through the profound carnal medium of interpretive dance. You'll have your friends, you'll this, have your friends give creative. a toast in your honor. This it's, is true. It will be emotionally moving, and everyone will get shit-faced. Two birds, one stone. I know this she's is charm. Know this I know so this is time. charm, and I know this is creative, but I don't know what the second stat is for each, so this one could be fun, or this one could be fun. I think the bottom one is fun. I feel like the bottom one is more fun. But I'm yeah. always wrong on these. So I don't know because you're even in the stats that I know and they're pretty high. So I'm just like, eh? Yeah, can I even fail this? If they're even, that's Well, the secondary question. stat is to help break ties like this, so I just don't know. Yeah, but like, would five be high enough from the get go, even if it was my lowest stat? I have no idea. Because, fuck, um. Well, since we already know bottom's probably fun, the first one's probably boldness and... I know it's creative. Yeah. I would say creative and bold. I'm gonna go to the top one just in case it's the one we fail. Okay. Because will, will it still fail if the other one had a higher stat? Yes, because I've, like, okay. I've cross-referenced things before because I've looked at playthroughs and it's like, oh, this stat is this, and I clicked it and it's like, oh no, it's a different stat, and I'm like, excuse me? And then I... Double check playthroughs on YouTube where it's like, oh yeah, this one is creative and it's smart. But it will always fail you of the lower stat, even if you have a pretty high stat. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Between the two, right? God damn! Ah. Damn it! No! Oh. Who wants to perform? I don't want to fuck the Grim Reaper. <laughs> you want to perform an interpretive dance? Oh, partner, that's wonderful. I was 75% sure you wouldn't let me down. And you didn't, yay. I wonder if anyone in the house heard me say that. Perfect choice for the party's main event. After all, dancing is the second best way to celebrate being alive. Uh, the best way is I'm... driving a jet ski, obviously. Hmm. I'm gonna have to explain to you later. Uh, but I have one concern about the dance number. Emotional... Dancing can be so revealing of our internal psychology, you know. As they say, the hips don't lie. <laughs> We better that... rehearse your story of my life dance before the party. Go on, give me your raw, unfiltered truth, and I'll make sure it's feed worthy. I know how to break this up. I know how to ruin this. I start default dancing. <laughs> default dancing. <laughs> I'll, I'll just, gross meal out. Just floss. Just, yeah, just start flossing. Just floss. For those in the audience who can't see, I am currently flossing IRL, <laughs> and I am dying inside. <laughs> dying inside. That's what Milo wants. Stop it. True, true. Uh, it's, it's All right, Daddy, go for it. Instagram, yeah. All right. You perform a dance for Milo in honor of your existence. You pour everything into this dance. Your love for Milo, your fear of death, and your goddamn heart and soul. Oh, you're, you're an artist. My God, I don't claim to be one. I can't believe you've been secretly profound this whole time. <laughs> your movements are simply breathtaking. Your rendition of the robot is a classic, but also a steering indictment of modern industrialism. You know, actually, damn it. Strange, controversial thing. awkward hip gyrations. They perfectly express your belief that we're all imperfect beings united only by our mistakes and shared experiences. The life. Ow. Controversial it's so hot take. Beautiful. The robot and flossing pretty much are the same. Don't even get me started on the dramatic leaping. Such an apt metaphor for life. We're all just leapfrogs jumping between the leap pads and a pond full of our tadpole babies. But still, something was missing, and I think it's the end of the story. Your death. You need a big finish that stares death in the face. <laughs> I dab. 
you dab. <laughs> finish, finish with a dab. I can't do yeah. such saying dab. this, but I thought you, I thought you, you, do a you need me. Want to finish off your performance with a little tango of death? Mm -hmm. We should do a collab. Come here, you silly mortal. Dance with me. Oh, damn it. I wasn't trying to go this way. This is what happens. You chaos other people, the game chaos is you. God damn yeah. sexy fate. I think we get the same thing we out every time we play on stream. <laughs> every <laughs> single time. <laughs> You and Mila rehearse the most hubris. sexually charged erotic death tango of all time. Mm -hmm. I was eaten by my own hubris. <laughs> that rehearsal was just so stirring, like seeing an erotic butterfly breaking free of its cocoon. It's an erotic butterfly. It's not the, the game's not your worst enemy. You are your worst enemy. You and play I, yourself. And I'm sure so the new real pers thing. New personal rule: I am never allowed to go to the pond. Never. <laughs> to avoid this outcome ever again. Personal nerf. You're never allowed to speak with Milo in any context ever, ever again. And hey, no silver lining. I've blocked Michael out of this round. I didn't. I wasn't going for Milo. <laughs> Wait, who was going for Milo? Brian. Oh. Yeah, I forgot I'd even pick that until, you, until it came up, and I'm like, oh, well. Oh, never well, mind. I guess get wrecked, Brit. I brought, I brought myself. <laughs> Statement. You got Milo pining! Yeah. Wouldn't be the little. first time. Won't be the last. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. In the meantime, we should move on to our next activity in your final week of life. An afternoon of wine tasting at the region's most expensive vineyard, shall we? Thing is, I you didn't want this either, so who really lost here? There's yeah. some poetic irony of a Canadian trolling a Brit. <laughs> This is quickly turning into the best week of your life. And that also, and that's all thanks to Milo's undeniable charm. Their charm for, their charm is so undeniable that you actually gain plus three charm yourself. On the plus side, I didn't have that event. Look at my Real talk, I'll probably end up with the bump. All right, choose an animal. Uh, whales. A whale. A whale. Uh. We have whales, we have a bear. I picked that one species of bird that had poisonous feathers. Because I'm toxic dope bitch. As fuck. That's the thing? Yeah. Cool. I'm not shocked. Yeah, it's got like feathers that it rub if you rub on it, it excretes an oil on its feathers. It's poisonous. That's actually really, really cool. Yeah, that is. Uh, I'm toxic. Okay, we got kangaroo. poison. Kangaroo, poison bird, bear, and whales. Whales. Player orders decided based on how plausible it would be for you to convince a pack of those animals to make you their pack leader. Oh. <laughs> hmm. This is so, pack of whales, pack of bears, pack of kangaroos, and a pack of uh, flock of poisonous birds. Hey, I've oh. seen that one, that one video where the guy fights the kangaroo. I will punch back. Probably knock me on my ass, but I'll give it a good college try. I mean, well, whales. I have to swim. <laughs> they probably will. Listen, at least no one said emus because you'd be on the bottom of the list. <laughs> yeah. Cassowaries. Cassowaries. Look at those awful things. Uh, just imagine afternoon news Florida man fights kangaroo. Florida man? What can't be Florida <laughs> man? Ryan's not from Florida! Yeah, but that's I like a the, joke. I'm a Florida, just... cr Florida encrypted. I can fight the kangaroo. Oh, okay. Florida encrypted fights Florida? kangaroo. You guys haven't. No. Not natively, at least. I would hope not. Fuck. I don't, think, uh, I don't think. I don't think Brit goes fisticuffs with a kangaroo is really as much of a good headline. No, I think that's, that's a great headline. What are you that's talking about? <laughs> that's a great headline. Yeah. I would read it. No, <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's perspective. That's more of an Irish thing, anyways. I feel like bear leading now, bears is just normal. Work. Now, Irish or Scotsman going toe to toe with a kangaroo, I'd read that. Like, sure. you know, like Irish pub brawl. Read any dumbass fighting a kangaroo. All right, who's who's <laughs> going in what order? Well, I think I did say I was being... toxic. Well, I just said I think a bear leading other bears is just normal. So true. Here's my here's okay. my game plan. I will start talking some really shitty gossip about the mean girl in second period to the flock, and they'll make me the head bitch. <laughs> that is how you ascend the social ladder. Good point. That, 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 that is, is dominance. asserting dominance. 
You just T-pose on him all the time. Yeah, I'll just talk about Becky's flat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting forward my kangaroo brawl to be in third place. Okay. Uh, I mean, wait, pot of whales. I mean, I think the whales are really easy because they're whales. Yeah. True. Just make Dorothy. Last place it is. So, so okay, we've just we've determined the people going after everybody else. Who's going before everybody else? I can go. Who's last? That's the question. Me. So we go. We go bear, birds. Whales, kangaroos. Yeah, that'll work. Bear, bird, whales, kangaroo. Okay. Fuck I'm that a solid kangaroo, says man who dies in war of a kangaroo accident. <laughs> Alright, okay. I am 90% sure I would not win that fight. Alright, Michael. Oh god, no, a kangaroo will fuck you up. You have no double digit stats. Kangaroo's like 80% muscle. Anyway. Are yeah, those behind? Um, Charm and pause. I want bold. You need boldness. That day, you explore the Haunted Manor's basement, only to find it has a sub-basement. The sub-basement is full of haunted chairs, a staircase sub-sub-basement, uh, and a staircase is sub-sub-basement. The sub-sub-basement is a haunted wine cellar. Oh. It's going to continue on for a little bit. The next one down is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the sub basement to the tenth tower is subway. You need a foot long Reuben and continue your travels. Damn. You <laughs> scared Jesus, the thing is jacked. Yeah, those things are jacked. Kangaroos are jacked as fuck. Um Yeah, there's this rare condition that kangaroos can get where their muscles literally never stop growing. That's fucking terrifying. Oh my god, they yeah, lift. It really oh. is. Yep. It's over. Alright, um I'm bringing Manor a fire up. one <laughs> infinite sub basement. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a dumb sub leather room. You gain plus two pogs from the horrors you witness there. Yay, pogs. Yay. Hey, pogs. Not the thing is fucking terrifying. Oh, <laughs> I need to delete the image. No, doing? no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just fucking with you. It's just so weird to look at them. Because you don't see them. Like, their arms that move. Why are anyway. they here? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't care about either one of them. Why are they here? Michael, save me from my fate. Seduce, seduce me. No, you want a secret round now. You in trouble, doodle. <laughs> All no. right. Milo's coming after your ass. <clears throat> no. You, like your Lester and Milo, are enjoying wandering the hallways of the manor. Milo's live streaming it because apparently that's the only way they know how to enjoy anything. That is not... <laughs> Entirely true. Welcome to another video with Milo Belladonna. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it just your imagination? Hmm? A wild Arabi appeared. Okay. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Look at you, double I love this outfit for her. It's so nice. Oh, it's so cute. Her winner one's solid. Making Disney references, my analytics show that millennials love engaging with nostalgic content because the present is consistently horrifying. How about you? <laughs> Topical. I was looting the rooms for treasure when I found this strange reticular, rectangular prize. Not enough signal to process this. Sensors detect ancient technology, a video home system, or VHS. Enter cassette here to see images. I know what event this I know what event this is. Yeah. Calculus points to the VH player located in the They changed the dialogue. Pushed. Okay, it's so, reason. Go ahead for it. So, okay, during the beta when Jesse uploaded a video showing it off, they didn't have that text. It literally said the VHS player was not located in his junk. They said they singled it out. They changed it. People must have complained. <laughs> like, literally, go back and watch, like, look up, like, Jesse Cox's video of a like, camp teaser. Playthrough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's the point of having a robot boyfriend if they don't have a VHS player it's, on it's their It's bot friend, like... please. Bot friend. Yes, bot there friend. you go. <laughs> bot friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, for once, you decide not to be a creep and elect to put the t the tape in a nearby '90s TV instead. How handy. Howard. Oh, yep. Saw that coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that's me. Uh, shit, what'd I give the voice for the ring person? Gravelly, oh, and know. then you lost no, it. it was... 
Oh, uh, was that gravelly not giving yeah. shit? Yeah. Ah, great. Greetings, customers and curse enthusiasts. Thank you for turning, tuning the Pozo's Pizza newest, fastest, freshest guerrilla marketing campaign. I'm not paid enough to give a shit. <laughs> We've seen how much. I am, I'm gonna, it's like I'm reading the script. I'm about to see, uh, We've seen how much our focus groups like this newfangled internet, and we were no strangers to the young, hip, new ads. Get ready for pizza parties like 1999. Enjoy Pozo's Pizza today. And remember, if you don't tip, I will be back in seven days to murder you. Yeah, that's pretty you. close, actually. Uh, um... Uh, whoa, fancy meeting you guys here. Did someone order a pizza? Please say yes, I get tipped for this. Hashtag fail. Absolutely not. Moreover, now my live stream is bound to get stricken down for all the copyrighted music you used in that shoddy commercial. I can't believe I'm going to use a perfectly good clout to in sync of all people. I'm not paid enough for this. I like to imagine the boss was too cheap, so I used Kevin McCloud music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I, I put candy in my mouth. Damn it, I didn't think she was going to talk again. Yep, nope. Fuck it, I'll just roll. Hey, don't get mad at me, dudes. Pozos haven't hasn't used this whole cursed with spam marketing stunt since 2005. If you hadn't played this dumb tape, I'd be home right now. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Oh, girl. no. My apologies. My apologies, friend pizza girl. But did you say cursed with spam? Should we be brands bracing ourselves for an incoming can meet assault? <sighs> That's the first thing that came to mind, to be honest. Uh, no, at least We're that old. would be funny. What I think we've got here is a totally lame advertisement curse. I would know because I'm a curse. Curses! Now in seven days' time, we'll be subjected to nothing but Pozo's ads until we eat ourselves sick with our pizza. Fucking Pozo's taking all the art out of good cursing. Ugh. Stupid. As a future food truck owner, I disagree with oh, dooming customers to only consuming to consume advertisements for my food, especially now that it's happening to me. Yes, Wait, when she had a food truck. as a present influencer, this is literally my waking nightmare. I don't even know which I hate more, invasive advertisements or pizza. <gasps> ah, top if of the I, Twitch problem. If I can't shake this curse, my Instagram feed will be filled with nothing but disgusting imitations of Italian cuisine. My reputation will be in shambles. I think, I think I'm going to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Friend Me Milo, too. you you appear to have fainted. Please regain consciousness immediately. <laughs> Buy a hot, hot pizza now. Convince 10, oh, 10 of your friends to buy a pizza or we will murder your family. In hindsight, it would have been funnier if one of us said 10 instead, like it was someone. Oh, someone bite uh, ten. <laughs> oh, the curse is already setting in. You need to fix this before you end up like the pizza girl, or worse, you become too obsessed with pizza to focus on boinking your That's friends. That's a criminal, oh, no. criminal issue. Escape from the pizza's reach by practicing deep meditation until you transcend the material plane. This pizza brand is annoying, but Milo is also a brand. Fight fire with fire by out spamming them with tons of delicious Milo spam. Well, that's the uh, correct answer, but... I, I think that one's the creative answer. And your creative yeah. is Garbach. No, my creative is pretty the highest one. Oh, that's right. It's the middle one. Sorry. Right. Middle yeah. one. I'm thinking of charm. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll try the brand thing. I don't know. I failed pretty much every time today. So. Okay. You gonna go with brand? Yeah. You you are oh, cool. Thank God. Hey. Error hypocrisy detected. Would it not be the same level of corrupt and inhumane to subject the world to Milo spam when we are seeking refuge from spam ourselves? Pizza. No, get someone else to put on Milo. Distract him. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Captain die. Wester. It's much different, you see. Pizza is gross, and I am fantastic. Ooh, well, I'll take. Spamming people Oof. with a fantastic product is much better than spamming them with a detestable one. Also, I'm a celebrity and therefore totally above reproach. Well, what are you fucking da? Uh, you all get to work. 
for every Pozo's Pizza ad where you see, you four compose a, compose a Milo ad that's twice as enticing and invasive until you beat your purse into submission. Nice. Fishing pop-ups of, like, Milo abs. That's all you need, really. Okay, yep. I've got a new one. What about an ad for a Milo subscription service where for three monthly payments of sixty nine ninety nine you can lick a clone of Milo's face? <laughs> God. <laughs> Why is it maple syrup? Does this game know? Happy, <laughs> this game's calling us out. This game's calling Canadian. me out. It's calling all Why? you Canadians out. Really. Canadian. Well, why are you so yeah. stabby? Because the maple syrup. They could have said any other syrup and they went with maple. Hello? Hi, Tick. Hey, Hi. There, there you are. <laughs> Not bad. I'm already working on a prototype YouTube mid roll ad. That's just Milo pouring maple syrup on their collarbones for three minutes. Whoa. Don't ask what happens You're in the chat already. Hotter than mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Go doodle. Wow. For the people. For the oh. people in chat who cannot see, I posted an image of a person being covered in maple syrup. And no, I will not explain why I have this image. You better explain. Here's the thing, you've used that image multiple times. You just have it on yes. hand. Anyway. Have them pour hot mozzarella on their chest instead. Trust me, you'll get plenty of chicks. Or clicks. Shit. <laughs> Probably chicks, too. Chick. Read it. There you are. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thanks. Good suggestion. Wait. Why are you helping us? Aren't you the one who cursed us? Hey, just because I'm the benevolent spirit that popped out of your TV screen doesn't mean I like my job. Oh. I work retail, damn it. Plus, I have all this melted mozzarella with me that I'm just going to have to take back to work if we don't use it now. By the time you're done, Pozo's ads are nothing but a bad, greasy memory. The consuming pizza craze has been replaced with consuming Milo. Now, anytime someone feels like eating pizza, the clever marketing stunts you pulled convince them that they want to eat Milo instead. Not weird at all. Milo makes bank. They're already pretty wealthy from influencer stuff, though. So instead, they buy you all plus two nipples and plus one dignity. Thanks to all your help. That's oddly Why fitting. Why is one of the stats? Why is one nipples. of the Which stat was shattered at? That? <laughs> That's fun. You know what? That makes sense. Oh my god. I'll allow it. <laughs> nipples are indeed fun. Alright, where are you going, Doodle? True. Um, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna try going to the forest just on the off chance the magic tree mic will show up. I don't think he shows up unless you're doing a joy run, though. A day in the woods, you find a mysterious portal to an unknown dimension. Whoa. You're not supposed to jump into that, you think to yourself, this time. So you decide to tie a chipmunk. Hold on. My brain just shorted out on all of this. You're I mean, that so made sense. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so stupid that you jump into it yourself, this time. So you decide to tie a chipmunk. You pull the chipmunk back, expecting it to be dead or at least warped by the interdimensional travel, but it turns out whatever is on the other side of that portal just thought the chipmunk just taught the chipmunk calculus and some very co uh, cogent. cognate, cogent. Okay, cool. Arguments about gender identity. Aww. Getting out some wild vibes, but okay. You and the chipmunk have a long, insightful conversation, and he helps you with your summer school homework. You gain plus two smarts. That might have been an Outer Worlds reference, but I don't remember. Yep. No. Nope. You're uh, you're still dying. Since you're dying next week. Oh. Milo is probably came out. Live. Huh? Oh, no, sorry. I was just saying, it probably came, this probably came out, like, this stuff probably came out um, before our ones, I'm guessing. It came probably. out last... Uh, it came out in October. Oh, actually, then maybe not. I'll be quiet. Carry on. <laughs> Milo, helping I'm you live your last you days to, to the fullest. Yeah. Currently, oh, the two of you are getting super fancy, super fancy pedicure, where a little fish eats a dead skin off your feet. It feels ama amazing and is hella Instagram worthy. Milo nah, Belladonna fuck those things. Those here at last. Uh, that really hits the spot. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Fish give better pedicures than people. <sighs> mm -mm. And I made it some R and R. This nonstop life celebrating with you has been all consuming. But honestly, I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. 
Yeah, no real talk. I've tried the fish thing. It sucks. <laughs> I want to try the fish thing. So bad. Pillow looks at you with such bedroom eyes. Your heart no. starts to race. It's a tender moment. <laughs> While we're enjoying <laughs> tender moments, I thought we could take Hulk Beats for your end of life bash. I've been really immersing myself in the preparations and might be some of the finest party planning work of my entire career so far. <sighs> First off, the venue is insane. I got my boss to let me borrow her interdimensional penthouse. The ceiling is made of diamonds, and the bodyguards are literally four-dimensional. We're going to wow. do this huge, dramatic entrance for you, where you burst out of a coffin. Cute, right? And the coffin outfit is the perfect amount of slutty, trust me. <sighs> oh, and you're not going to believe the guest list. All the basics, sure, and we have some huge guests on here. I did not realize you had this kind of pull, darling. Keep it on the down low, but we've got several prominent ghosts coming, both Edison and Tesla, so things should get interesting. Oh god, they're gonna argue about how I was brought back to life. But still, I feel like something's missing. I think we need a big, mind-blowing VIP surprise guest. Magnificent! Someone who can show up halfway through the party, uninvited, and we'll have a poetic final embrace with you. Real moment, you know? Does anyone come to mind? Maybe a long-lost friend from whom you were separated at birth and have never actually met? Consign. Yeah, right. where's Victor? Oh wait, Victor's dead. That's right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely need a kick-ass special guest for your party. You don't have any long-lost twins that you know about, but you do know the perfect VIP to invite. The obstetrician who is there for your birth. He ushered you into this world, and now he'll usher you out. The party's all about you. So, you summon the alternate versions of yourself from other timelines. It'll be poetic and awesome, like when Beyonce looks in a mirror. <laughs> well, hang on, the first option, wouldn't that be the, uh, B is it Igor that was the punchback assistant? No! In the later interpretations? <laughs> no, do you want a spoiler? Igor, pull the switch. You want a spoiler? Sure, go ahead. It was Elton John. For real? You For know real? what, fuck it, if I'm gonna be stuck in this go to the top one. If I'm going to be stuck with this, I might as well mm -hmm. might as well use the fun I've accrued. <laughs> Excuse me, your obstetrician. Are you too close or something? I'm really Doubtful. just, I'm really just beating up because it's locked me out of every other kind of event. <laughs> but you stand firm. You whip out your phone and call up Dr. John, the obstetrician who birthed you. Why, of course, I'll be the special guest at your party, partner. In fact, I'll come discuss the details with you right now. That's how important you are to me. Please tell me they drew Elton John. Within a few moments, you hear the whirring of a helicopter overhead. A fancy looking man drops down <laughs> from the chopper. It's your obstetrician, Dr. John. <gasps> oh my. God. There better be art. It's not, there's no art, I'm sorry. That's, I am that's... upset. I Sad. am furious. <laughs> I'm going to scream. I really wish you could see Elton John, though. That'd be great. Is that Elton John? Dear God, your obstetrician is Dr. Elton John? Why didn't you say that earlier? I am so excited you made me slightly raise my voice. That hasn't happened to me in like two decades. Ah, uh, you must be Milo, partner's beloved Reaper. Yes, it's me, Dr. Elton John. Cheerio. I was knighted, so my full title is technically Sir Dr. Elton John. Hello, darling. I don't know what voice I'm doing. I'm just going with this at this point. It's, I'm spamming it's, angry emojis. You're doing great. It's a pleasure, big fan of the... <laughs> Doodle, are you just not having a great time right now? <laughs> I am not Straight having up. a great time. <laughs> Doodle well, got played by the game. There was no I'm... art. I am angry. <laughs> I would love to see Elton John drawn in the fucking monster prom style. Though. All right, you heard a chat. Somebody get on that. <laughs> All right. Who is the artist for this game? I will throw money at them. Uh, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna scour the credits. Just I'm sure money you're wondering at you, so you about destroy. the deep, meaningful connection between me and partner. Let me tell you the tale. Oh, Jesus, am I going to have to go through the whole thing? Okay. You if see... I'm being punished, you're being punished, too. 
<laughs> I do. I'm just the narrator here. Apparently, I'm also Elton John. You're an accomplice. <laughs> you are everyone. I know. You're the narrator. You see, it's partially your fault. I used to be a world-renowned obstetrician, but the birth of Partner changed my life forever. As I watched Partner's mother suffer through 52 hours of labor, I was struck with the profound beauty of all living things. It was such a mean. Oh, there she goes. Oh, Maddie. They're behind. Like 52 hours. What the fuck? Right, I was thinking the same. Yep. And the yeah, metal just... bolts get stuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. In a way, she'll know she labored over building the body. I believe. I mean, this could be this could be before you yeah. died. Oh no no hang on I know what this is I know what this is it took 52 hours for me to charge my battery. Oh my god. <laughs> You're trending, darling. That's a handprint crap. I already clicked it. It was, no, I was uh, over the phone. That makes perfect sense. You know, now that I think about it, I can sense the essence of partner as the underlying fabric of all your songs. Exactly! And that's why I'm honored to be your special party VIP. I'll even waive my appearance fee. I know it's supposed to be a really touching moment, but the fact that I'm named partner just ruins it. Alright. Now, what say the three of us go take my chopper for a joyride? Life is short, after all. I get it. You and Milo go for a helicopter ride with motherfucking Sir Dr. Elton John. Milo is super impressed. This is the best day of your life, easily. Jesus, his title's getting longer and longer as it goes on. Yep. <laughs> but Khaleesi. And you've still got <laughs> plenty of Milo quality time left before you die. You gain plus three charm and a very mature outlook on your own mortality. Today might turn out okay. Alright, Tick, where are you going? Tick, you I might be know. muted again. <laughs> No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Hello? You're good. You're good. You're good. You're there. Um, Hello. The Scout HQ. Because I did promise I wouldn't take any more charge. Look at hey, them. Cute. They're so cute. Is that right. building inside the cup? Yeah, it's Lo-Fi Coffee Beats. Oh. That's one of the That's drinks brilliant. in game you can get, and then it changes all the music to Lo-Fi music. Amazing. Oh my God. I love it. Alright, I'm also reading Bear Attacks. Yeah, Bear right. Attacks one day. From Bear Attacks Sorry. 3. Yep. Learning new skills with the Monster Scouts in order to earn badges. You earn a badge for healing a wound only using the bark of a tree. You earn a badge for writing poems in iambic pentameter. You earn a badge for building a blackberry using only real blackberries. Nice. Completing all of those unexpected and probably useless lessons has earned you plus two creativity. <laughs> you managed to extradite, extricate yourself from that situation just in time to nearly trip over Calculester. He's crouched on the ground, intensely studying his glass prison full of ants. It's the ants event. Oh, oh no. no. I have a ant farm. That's what those are called. Calculus or 2.0. Oh, friend embodiment of a base drop. How pleasant to see you proper, probably. Anything for my ants. As you can see, I am once again attempting to understand the complexity of organic life by the way of this ant terrarium. <laughs> the Greek numerous lives provide the perfect data set for training my neural net. If only all beings died and reproduced so rapidly. In the course of my research, however, I have begun to worry, are these ants spiritually fulfilled? <gasps> Tell me, embodiment of a bishop as an expert on organic life does Spiritual and fulfillment consists of dragging food through tunnels and then vomiting it into the mouth of your all-powerful queen? Yas queen. Yas. <laughs> Yas queen. Yas. Yas. You're not sure if you even have a soul, let alone spiritual fulfillment. 
But whatever it is, it's probably not the vomiting thing. And you tell him so. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. If my little ant friends are not spiritually fulfilled, how will I ever be able to deduce the true nature of happiness from their behavior? Friend embodiment of a base drop. Please help me. How can I catapult this humble ant society to a higher plane of existence? Your first thought is with an actual catapult that Damien borrowed yours for homework a few weeks back and never returned it. Time for plan B. Probably lit on a fire. Purposes. The ants need to be need something to look forward to besides eating and dying. Introduce them to the word of God. Help the ants appreciate the zany side of work by creating and producing The Office, but for ants. Oh my god. Religion or The Office? I know what I would choose, because one is a better one. Which one would you choose? I mean, this is personal preference, no stat-wise. You gotta let them have The Office. True, I could. Flex mandibles at the camera like The Word of God. I've never really seen The Office, so I can't really say. It's overrated. Right. It makes for good uh, gifts. To be honest, I haven't seen The Office either. I haven't either. I just know everything I know I, about I The Office know is memes. Good yeah, I just know the memes. Yeah. Uh, I'm uncultured. I don't, I don't really cultured. care. Whichever one. It's Maybe. Alright, guys, it's everybody vote. <laughs> we want uh, religion or Netflix series. It wasn't a Netflix series. but you I know. vote for religion. <laughs> Okay, we got one vote I, for religion. Why not? What, what happens when we give them the word of God? They, they uh, begin to revolt, I, probably. It's that or the existential crisis. Oh. Yeah! It's the existential <laughs> crisis! <laughs> the trials and tribulations of Antonio the Ant. A tragic, co a tragic comedy. <laughs> In one ant. I mean, act. Antonio was an ant, just like any other. A small, leggy boy with all the virtues an ant can possess. Oh my god, that aunt's adorable. I know. He was hardworking, he was industrious, he worked hard, and, most importantly, he was a hard worker. <laughs> His life was full of much toil and little leisure, but such is the life of an ant. And Antonio was, if not happy, at least content with his lot. Still, at night, he lay in his little ant bed. Antonio wondered there might be more to life than hard work, something grander. One day, uh, one day though, something happened. A great booming voice in the sky spoke to Antonio's nest, telling them of a wonderful life of leisure after death. Antonio and his ant friends were delighted by this good news, and they began to worship this booming sky voice. They called it not ant and it was their loving god. From that day on, Antonio went to work with happiness in his dorsal aorta, buoyed up by not ant and its glorious promise. Soon, all of ant society gave itself over to worship of not ant, and great temples were built to celebrate its glory. Antonio made offerings and performed rituals with the best of them. Then, something odd began to happen. The priests of Not Ant began to stop working, claiming that their spiritual devotion required their full attention. Antonio thought little of it. He was too consumed by love of Not Ant to care. But then the priests began to demand the other ants build them vast palaces and estates. More and more, ants like Antonio were expected to support the priests of Not Ant while the priests themselves preached hard work and self-sacrifice. <laughs> Too easy. Not ant, not ant hated lazy ants, they cried. Ants who refused to serve the priests were first publicly ridiculed and simply began to disappear. Antonio was an ant of very little brain. In fact, all ants have very little brain because they are very little. But even so, Antonio some felt something was amiss. One night, he confided in his lover, Grant, that he missed the days before not Ant, when ants worked for each other instead of for the priests. Grant listened and nodded sympathetically, but later that night, 
a knock came to the door. Antonio turned to Grant, a look of betrayal in his multifaceted ant eyes. Grant could not meet his lover's gaze. As the secret police dragged Antonio away, he could not even bring himself to cry because it is physically impossible for ants to do that. He could only sadly reminisce about the way things used to be before the coming of not ant. Oh, I destroyed no, my ant population. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not oh, crying. Dear. You'll cry. The ants appear to have developed a repressive theocracy that is not good at all. Could you introduce religion to ants, knowing how impressionable they are? Lose minus two smarts and minus one fun, and okay. think about what you've done. Let's go. The trials are got an achievement! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys! You're welcome. Oh, I got you an achievement? Nice. I did in the trials and tribulations! Oh, God. All right, Camp next. Dome Fliz. Camp Dome Fliz. Oh, look, we haven't seen this art of Brian. I don't think I've seen Brian's ca uh, Camp Dome art. Look at him go! That's a good one. That's a good one. That it is. It's less that intense day. noodles. Go ahead. Yeah. I like noodles. Shut up. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> that noodles day, you dread the merciless trials of the Camp Dome. Your team is faced with a potato sack race. It seems easy, but this is the Camp Dome, and so the potato sacks are filled with swarms of bees. Bees? Not the, bees. Bees. Bees? not the bees. Not the bees. Your teammates are discouraged, both because they are not fond of bees and because the enemy team is mostly compromised by sentient, comprised of sentient bees. Favoritism. Aren't all bees sentient anyway? Giving them a clear advantage over you. I think the word they wanted to use was sapient, but it was funnier the other way around. It all looks dire for you, but. You use your cunning and remind the enemy team that the bee population of Earth is, unex is inexplicably decreasing and bees are heading towards unavoidable extinction. This fact really messes with the enemy's team's head, giving you the edge you need to win. Your nasty leadership skills grant you plus two charm. Later, you're super excited. You found a package of weird cookies by your tent, and you're about uh -oh. to dig in. Fuck yeah, cookies! Fancy meeting you here. Well, 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 if it isn't endless ecstasy. Put down those dog treats, darling. I need your assistance with a job. Help me out, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. Milo just saved you from eating literal dog food, so you figure you owe them one. And besides, we'll do anything for this sexy reaper. You agree to help with the gig. Milo leads you to a corpse with a soul floating over it. Oh god. <laughs> oh, not this again. Uh -oh. Wow. I guess souls uh -oh. are just like glowing balls that float and people can just see them. Good to know. Hello, hello. Is this a Dark Souls reference or a Soul Eater reference? No, aren't yes. you an adorable little soul? Hello, hello, dear. My name is Milo. I'm Death, obviously. Swans, hail and well met. I am master of peasant torture for my divine sovereign, the Mer King. If memory serves, the Mer King chopped off my head. <sighs> yep, you're super dead, and I'm here to take you to the afterlife. Aren't you a lucky soul, hmm? You could have ended up with the less fashionable Reapers. I... I suppose. I just never thought that my life would be cut short. Would be cut short so soon. And the circumstances of my death, so tragic. So murderous, so <laughs> headless. I shall tell you both the tale. One night, the Merking suffered a strange, violent attack on his life. He thought the attack was a coup orchestrated by a, his small council. Hmm, hmm a coup, the Merking. This is all sounding strangely familiar. Keep going, darling. I'm officially curious. And then the Merking killed us all in a blind rage. But I saw the attack with my own eyes. It was no coup! Rather, it was an attack committed by a strange, hot ghost and some kind of hairy dog man. Oh. The ghost and the dog suck into the Merking's chamber and glued a single golden coin to his floor. The Merking bent down to pick up the coin, but he could not grasp it. And he looked quite the dunce, I assure you. When he was struggling to pick up the coin, the ghost dropped an anvil on his head. The nerve. 
<laughs> wow. Yes, what a tragic, horrible, violent prank. I mean, attack. What a mischievous fiends. Despite the tragedy of my death, I see now what a precious gift life has been. I only wish that I had lived it more fully, more boisterously. Life is a gift. So true. Babe, I love your attitude. It's so rare to meet a soul that appreciates life. After all, life is like a river, and we're all just paper lanterns floating along it. Truly, look, I even made a bucket list containing 246 things I wanted to do before I died. What a tragedy that I did not complete even a single item from this list. Oh, me too. Oh, darling, really, not even a single item. Oh, well, hello! Thank <laughs> Thanks, Rotten Fish, for falling. I think I know who that is. Hold on. Oh, I think that's a certain, certain other cryptid I know. <laughs> Thank you for following Rotten Fish. <laughs> where, where did I leave off? I do. Hello, Marv. Single item. Yeah. I really Yay. shouldn't do this, but I'm such a natural empath, I can't resist. I'm going to bend the rules just this once. Before I take you to the afterlife, you can pick one item off your list in, in the sex to see, and I will help you complete it. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous and elegant angel of death. But oh, which shall I choose? Which? Which? You take a look at the bucket list, and you see it. The perfect bucket list item to finish off this reaping gig and impress Mila while you're at it. Suggest it, baby! Uh oh. You've gotta go meta here. Choose bucket list item number 122. Cross something off of your bucket list. <laughs> or, there's only one thing on this list worth doing. Pick bucket list item number 46. Become immortal. Alright, Ryan. Okay. Choose. You... Which one's the small? Mm. Let's see, your highest is smarts and creativity, it looks like. Yeah, the most worth doing pick bucket list from um, Both of them are kind of smart ass choices, so I'm trying to work out which one's the smart, like the actual smart response. Um, I okay. think it's the top one. You're gonna go top one? You're gonna go meta? Go meta? Yeah, yeah, do it. Hey, there you go. Nice. So the other, I go. guess being immortal would have been the bold choice. Okay. Wait, did that say charm? Yeah, that's. Or, or trim. That's it. I thought it said, oh, was that chill? No, that was okay. creative. That was creative. Oh, creative. Okay. Yeah. okay. I was gonna be like, yeah. wait, how pink like, was that? Head. Oh. No, I'm just dumb. Now. Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just dumb. Don't worry about it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good fine. Actually, that's very doable. If I understand the logic correctly, then we should just cross this item off the list. The snake eats itself. But there's something I still don't get. Why did you put cross something off the bucket list on the list itself, hun? I made that bucket list with the best of intentions, but I never truly devoted any time or energy to completing the things I wanted to do. I thought that maybe had I been too ambitious and that adding an achievable realistic goal would help me build up some momentum. Funny to think that I died before achieving even my most modest goal. Ah, procrastination at its finest, I suppose. OMG, I totally get it. I'm a bit of a procrastinator myself. I was supposed to take you to the afterlife like three days ago, but <laughs> life gets in the way. <gasps> Babe, as a fellow procrastinator, you've totally inspired me. Let's just forget about this list for a minute. You're a fresh, vibrant soul. You're here with the best reaper in the industry and in this ecstasy who's dumb but very cute. We should do a collab. Let's go do something fun together right now. We'll worry about checking shit off that list after we've enjoyed each other's company. You, Milo, and Soul proceed to have the greatest day ever. You carpe the shit out of this DM. You ride jet skis. You drunkenly share life stories with each other. How he gets drunk without a head, I'm not sure. And you finish off the day uh, with the ultimate celebration of being alive, going to a janky-ass amusement park. <laughs> I'm here for it. After a literally perfect day, you and Milo drop off the soul at the afterlife. Thank you, Milo. Thank you. This was the best day ever. I can't believe how much Cotton Candy Endless Ecstasy ate. I'll contemplate it for eternity. Mm. 
I Aww. guess the name is fitting. Oh, what a sweetie. And what a nice day. Mortals have so few days, you know. And I'm happy that we made a good use of this one. Wait! Oh my god, wait! We never crossed anything off that sweet stool's bucket list! <sighs> I'm dead! An unbelievable procrastinating rascal. <laughs> It's for the best, though. After all, life isn't about crossing things off a list. It's about grasping the present moment like a fragile bird in the palm of your hand. You're killing it. Soft like hamburger. I know you get just what I mean in this ecstasy. Thanks for being my little helper. I wouldn't settle for anyone else. <coughs> Hold on, let me Ooh. finish. Oh, wow. Milo has filled you with a lust for life and a lust for Milo. Your powerful urges give you plus three boldness. Carpe diem, those. baby. We take those. We take Let's those. Let's trade places. Everybody chooses an object. Smartphone. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to choose a pen because it's mightier than the sword. Okay. I'm going to choose sword. Just to be a contradicting <laughs> dick. Yeah. A, a Nintendo oh. 3DS. All right. Describe how you would kill someone with your chosen object. Player ordered is decided <laughs> based on his explanation. Is the most logical. I stabbed them with my sword and cut their head off. Uh, yeah, bears first. All right. I find the papers for the gun so I can kill people. <laughs> so what? Anyone else ever seen that? Anyone else ever seen that image? The Geico commercial was like. Can 50% or more be saved by Feko? Is the pen mightier than the sword? It's just like a ninja flinging their sword around on one side and the guy signing a paper and they hand him a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I need help. What's the longest 3DS game I can give somebody? Because that's the only way they're gonna die. Make them uh, try and 100... I mean, make them try and 100% uh... Well, fire the emblem three houses. Cone, I can just knock somebody out. With the give them one of the fire emblem games, I'll never put it down. Yeah, but they have to 100 percent it. Ooh. Yeah, fire emblem game. Yeah, make so them never put it down. Yeah, make and them. No one has to, and they can't get anyone killed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Genius. Oh god. No, easy. No death runs. No death yes. runs. Hardest difficulty, 100 percent. Oh. No, no retries. No retries. Oh. oh. No, no reverses or whatever. Permanent. Yeah. Once they're done, it's like the the fire emblem nuzlocke run. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. See, here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. With a pen, you can just jab somebody in the neck with it. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm. God, yeah, ink poisoning. I'm 100% sure I'm still last, but I was just trying to make that one work as well as I could. Okay, so we're going sword, pen, and then between you two. Well, I mean, I can just use. I, I just need to get a corner of the phone sharpened, then I can stab somebody with it. You just get a Nokia and just, just pistol at somebody. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, <laughs> Nokia. Okay. We'll just show, we'll just show them the I, I like the I like Ryan's thing. method of um just slowly degrading them. All right. Yeah. How many events do we have left? We have two more. After okay. we have a drinks and then two more and then it's the night. We're almost done. Damn it! But I don't have enough to get moss. Okay. No, you don't have enough to get moss. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Um. Here's the thing. You guys could work on romancing each other. Yeah. Let me see what I'm gonna be a little shit lord and go with Moss Pan and try. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing, Doodle. Right. You could avoid Drum. Milo. You don't have to take Milo out, though. You're on the secret yeah. run, and basically no, you're no, guaranteed okay. to get it. So, here's the reason I was upset about getting a Milo run. It locks you out of getting other events. Yeah, oh, does it? Does it? Oh. it railroads you. I have uh, a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if if uh, Doodle doesn't take the Milo run, um, does it pick the next? closest person to 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 get that like do i still have the chance to do that or yeah is that just you do thing? um you, like doodle could not pick milo and then you can still try and like do milo normally if you got the okay. stats you can go for yeah milo. okay yeah, you pick okay. at the end it's not a it's a combination of like stats and hearts oh oh so it's not like a random thing based on no it's like, not a random you know, thing you, you can confused. yeah you can be like choose this person or you can just choose to not take yourself or if we want to ex if we want to explore this like you can date other players thing you can just not take okay yourself. so the choices the choices will be based on the stats and stuff yeah um okay i get it sit by myself you sit by yourself. Yeah, I'm already fucking up with Robbie's rat anyways. You sit on the log by yourself. Maybe one of your friends will join you. You can spend the evening having fun and make some memories. Maybe no one will sit with totally you, proving once out. and for all that romance is dead and there's no hope left in the universe. 
I'll sit with you, don't you. worry. Oh, oh. Let's see what this night has planned for you. Marshmallows, anyone? Alright, Noodle, where are you going? I'm gonna be a little shit and fuck with Brian's run. Give me Moss Man. It's time for gossip. <laughs> hello, hello! Hey, partner. You like the campfire, too, hmm? Look at the flame! I love the way the flames look so bright, so hot, so unbelievably sexy. I just so wanna lamp. throw myself into them and embrace the warmth! <laughs> he wants the lamp. Moss makes a mad dive into the fire. You calmly grab his wing and strong arm him back onto the log until he relaxes. This happens a lot. He is a disaster and I love him. He's the best. He's Whoa. also voiced by Octopamp. Thanks, yep. partner. I really owe you one. Ah, yeah. You forgot the game is voiced yeah. by Octopamp. Spill that gossip. Hey, as a token of my appreciation for saving me from my own dangerous intrusive thoughts, why don't we swap a little gossip? It could be fun. Cashing in a life debt is supposed to mean you do something the savior wants to do? Well, whatever. You can go for a little gossip after saving Moss's life. Who do you wish to gossip about? Ryan. Be Ryan. Be Ryan. All right. Philosophy lecture, Ooh. pie fight, air strike, or music video? Music video. I knew it. Rock hard abs, uh, sweat and cabbage aroma, booty, or nipple fungus? Mm. Booty. Huh. Type something. Type in someone you'd love to have dinner with. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Let's see. What kind of goofy celebrity could I go for? <laughs> uh, I know my choice. <laughs> what would that be? Keanu Reeves. No. Andy I need to pick something goofy that would make a lot of sense. Al. Andy Serkis. Uh, um, Harlem Globetrotters. What's his name? The cre the, the creature actor. Oh, oh that guy. Fun. I love yeah, that guy. The, the, the what is... right? Hmm? The what? Who? The super yeah, who tall works? guy who plays like monsters in films all the time. Who's like friends yeah, with oh, yeah. uh, Del Toro. What's his name? Yeah. Oh, oh, um. That dude. To Google. Something Google. Jones. Something Jones. Doug Jones. Doug, Doug Jones. Jones. Doug, Doug Jones. Jones. The walking skeleton. There we go. All right. In it goes. Wow. I'm so glad I was alive to hear that and not engulfed in flames. XOXO. XO. Thanks. Partner, your gossip is almost as titillating as the white hot embrace of the campfire. I'm going to go tell everybody. Puts himself into the flames again. <laughs> not long. Not long after that, Moss has completely spread your rumor around camp. I love. Is, is, is this I think this is Bo. I don't remember her name, but this is. So, so for Ryan's knowledge, um, part of the Kickstarter was that uh, some people got monster sonas for backing a certain amount. I was one of those people. Uh, some people could choose to get an upgrade where they could get voted to have their monster sona in the game at some point. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't in the first voting pool, but uh, yeah, this this is one of the this is somebody's uh, monster sona. That's really That's cool. That's so cute. Yeah. Who wants to be cat lady? Or cat them? Hey, so you know Endless Ecstasy, right? Listen, listen to this, because you may not know him as well as you thought. According to what I heard, last year he was arrested for partaking in an illegal music video. Oh no. The trial was long and tedious, right up until Endless Ecstasy, who was defending himself, called his surprise witness, who was none other than... Doug Jones. I heard it was a trial to remember. But that's not even the strangest thing. In the end, the judge determined Endless Ecstasy was innocent solely based on his booty. I'll take it. Better to keep, <laughs> Better to keep that in mind next time you talk to Endless Ecstasy. Excellent. My smarts are going down here, aren't they? No, oh, you got too creativity. Oh, what? Sometimes I you either. get bonuses. You help them I out. Either. Bonuses. Yeah, that's the thing about the gossip. You can either screw over your friend's run or you seriously help them. Yep. I see. I thought it was Thanks always a negative. Your... Nope. Point decrease. No, no it's only negative if, if like I decide to figure it. Yeah, I think all the options stuff, have like hidden options and based on which ones you pick, you either get a super boost, an okay boost, or a negative or a bleh, negative. Oh, that's like, why there was a, a minus four last time. You got a I super see. negative, yeah. All yeah. Right. 
Thanks to your gossiping skills, Endless Ecstasy's reputation is forever changed, and he gains plus two creativity. I just gotta choose. The Upper right East ball. Camp Achievement Unlocked! Thanks, guys. Whoop, whoop. You're welcome. You're gonna go sit. Go be friends. Uh, you wanna so sit? You want. I'm gonna sit. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so fun! <laughs> I need it's so much. Oh my god, that's adorable. I don't put screen this so much, this is so good. Oh my Amazing. god. Look at how nervous sure all this is. Make sure you get the text like... underneath to add to the image. Yeah, right? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? You write, you write. I need to I need to screen cap this whole damn thing. Hold on, hold on. This is beautiful. I, I like how his little fears are like hype manning him up. Yeah, right? This that's is so beautiful. cute. All right, are we good? I need to. I need to play this game by myself as two players. I gotta <laughs> get all the image. I know what I'm doing the rest of the day. <laughs> Sorry, though, this is what I'm doing. Okay, bye, I just guys. See all the, just let me see all the noodle ones. Bye. After, bye. <laughs> I just want to see all, all right. the ones with noodles just on the the log. This fucking weirdo. And if you share, if you find any of the sire, please. Go. Oh no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Do, I gotta. Oh, I gotta do. Oh god, I have to get so many because there's eight of them. Yeah, there's a... Oh. Okay! Mm -hmm. You sit Alright, we ready? Yes, You sorry. sit oh. with Thickus, Deity of Booty. This is great. This is fine. Thickus, Deity of Booty, is your dear friend, and you would never want to breach that platonic friendship trust between besties, right? Unless... 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 Shit, he's looking at you. Make a suave but subtle move. Tell him... <laughs> On him that'll gauge the possibility of a relationship here. Uh, admire his aesthetically pleasing color scheme. Punch him in the shoulder with love. Rearrange the alphabet so that you and I are next to each other. Do a sensual mating dance or offer to split a fudge dunkle together. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Uh, what do you think is the best move? <laughs> I don't know, Michael. What's the best move? I don't know. Go you want to play? You want to share a fudge sickle? Do whatever you think's right. Fudge sickle. You know that has. A, you know that could have a funny context considering Oz's color. He's not like a fudge sickle. <laughs> I'm with a fudge sickle. I was Oz gonna Oz suggest sickle. the uh, the fudge sickle idea. To be honest, is Oz the fudge sickle? So do we have all the votes in for fudge sickle? Sounds fudge like sickle it. sounds like it. Yeah. Whoa! It works. Shadows can only take fudge sickles. Thickest deity of booty is totally giving you eyes. Four. Too bad this was just one night, and you two will have to go back to your regularly scheduled dating semantics soon. No. Or will you? For now, thickest deity of booty gets five fun from your flirting, and I'll throw in one smarts, one boldness, creativity, and charm for you too. I'm nice. Okay, I think I figured Thank out how it works. I think I figured out oh. how this works. Five options, five stats, right? So yeah. right. you choose the bonus to give to them, and then you get a plus one in everything else but that stat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. And, we figured out the it, map. And it's a, it's a big increase because it's held, it's bent on whether somebody else in the player base decides to sit with you or not. So yeah, that's why the increase is so high because it's yeah. particularly. Yeah, if we were all dicks to each other, nobody'd sit. With right. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we're not all dicks to each other. So close to sleep time. Most of it so far. All right, Ryan, where are you going? Actually, Go a stabby like... question. Yeah. <laughs> if you pick one of your friends every time, is there actually an ending if you don't pick anyone? Kind of like what they did. Yes, the you can time. date your friends now. There are polaroids to date your friends. Okay, that's all I was curious about. Oh. Yeah. All, all right, right, Maddie. Oh, she took a break. Now she's back. Oh. <laughs> she's back. Oh God. <clears throat> Milo, please help me. I need some advice. When life closes one door, oh. another opens. Yay, advice is my specialty. Let's see, how about don't do anything you'll regret, but also the only thing you'll ever regret is not doing more. Oh, no, no. I need specific advice. You see, I've just been in, uh, invited to attend Hell's Annual Warlord and Warlady Banquet and Bloodbath. <gasps> The W and W B and B is like a super big deal. All of my heroes will be there. Bah uh, Bahamut, Genghis Khan, the Unstoppable Tide of Despair, the Hamburglar. Uh, 
Hmm, I see. And you want to make a good impression at this demonic Coachella thing? No worries, darling. With me as your PR coach, schmoozing will be a cinch. Now, the best way to impress important people is to be born into a super wealthy family. It also helps to have effort... <laughs> Perfect cheekbones. Oh, man. 20, too, 20 years too late to be born into a super wealthy family. There must be something else I can try. No one is ready for Dahlia. How about when I get to the party, I show polite dominance by biting the finger off the biggest, most aggressive person there. I'll establish myself as the alpha. Hashtag fail. Dahlia, OMG, no. It hasn't been polite to bite your dinner host finger off since the literal finger <laughs> foods went out of fashion in 1910. <laughs> Oh, as much as you love these two, they're clearly helpless without your help. True. I should tell you, <laughs> impress your superiors at the banquet. Are we gonna... Win over everyone by practicing the most charming contact sport, eye contact, or smash a watermelon with a head bite. So that's the Dahlia <laughs> option, and this is the Milo option. Okay, so... I'm guessing smash a watermelon is boldness at that point, right? Oh, okay, uh, so so campfire is free hearts. So this oh, is oh, it doesn't matter. Though. Yeah, so yeah. this is this is free hearts. So if you like Dahlia more, this is the Dahlia option. Ah. If you like Milo more, this is the Milo option. Okay, it's just based on the affection preference. Okay, we're going top. You're killing it. You know, endless ecstasy. I actually don't hate that idea. Let's do it. Dahlia, darling, this might be the best chance for you to reign in that beautiful, explosive passion of yours to a uh, semi-acceptable level. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll try it your way. I'll use this eye contact tactic to my advantage when I encounter General Mirog at the, <laughs> at the uncomely on that fateful night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, cool. But the way you're saying that makes it sound like you're not gonna do this like a normal person. Have no fear. Dahlia is here. True. I'm just saying I'm going to follow your suggestion on neutralizing General Mirog with the contact of eyes. It'll be great. Hell, 300 years in the future, a traveler ducks, <laughs> ducks into a dark, empty tavern to escape the cold winter's night. I've traveled through hell and back. What? Oh, I need a drink. What? Oh, oh, my. This? this is oh, new. No. This is new. Uh, Good evening, uh, barkeep. I confess I don't have much coin, but I've traveled from far afar and am deeply in need of a good night's rest. The Cyclops. Tell me more tales, traveler. What? Where are we? What? I what? Is... What the hell's going her. on? This is new. Spare me your sorrows, traveler. You're welcome to stay one night. Hell, I'll even throw in a cup of hot bone broth if you pay with a good story from your homeland. Yeah, it's a long story. Good story. Uh, all right, gather around for the old urban legend about the terrifying blinkless one. <laughs> she was a terrifying blue war lady. Some, some even claim she was a dark spirit who descended upon a banquet from aristocrats. Oh, uh, yeah, from a, for aristocrats and kings of old. Her name has been lost to the ages, but she's been dubbed the blinkless one. Or it is said that throughout the entire proceeding, she did not blink once. He gads. That's terribly unsettling. Oh, it's super unsettling. What? <laughs> Indeed, it is said that it's so unsettling that she even intimidated one evil warlord to biting off his own finger solely because it amused her. Surely, this horrifying spirit uh, laid a reign of evil upon the land, did she not? Actually, if she ever existed at all, many believe she may have actually been a somewhat benevolent ruler. Perhaps the Blinkless One was not evil, merely intense. Tell me more tales, Traveler. Only quite an unusual story, Traveler. Perhaps you could stay a few nights instead and listen to some of the tales I have to tell. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> in the present... Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia has run off to practice staring at her reflection unblinkingly for three hours. When that life escalated gives you lemons. quite fast for 300 years. <laughs> I was I was on another fucking tab looking at something that came back. It was just different. You were just like, <laughs> excuse me? Uh, what now? <laughs> yep, that's probably going to be a disaster, but I think it'll oh, be yeah, okay yeah, in yeah. the end. 
I mean, just look at Dahlia go. <laughs> yeah, 100% doodle. They, they totally did. 100%. All right. <clears throat> yeah, look at her go indeed. But more to the point, look how happy Milo is with you. Yay! Bring out your flasks! It's drink round number two! The weekend is finally here, which means it's time to visit your favorite feline friend, Juan. I wonder if that oh, was a Mandalorian. Doodles reference. muted. No, they're, 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 uh... God damn it, I was doing the voice. <laughs> you were <laughs> muted this whole time! <laughs> <laughs> Hola, hola. Welcome back. Here's for the free treat. Uh, move hands. Go ahead. Try some beverage. Drink these two biscuit cocks. Possibly. Oh, 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 magical drinks are not possible for anybody. All oh, right. Uh, what do you want to pick there, hey, Michael? The one. Yeah, I saw the lo-fi. I was kind of like, what's on the next page? It's all lo-fi. Okay. I want the lo-fi I one. I was gonna pick it if no one else was gonna pick the lo fi. Same, I was on it up too, so whoever. Is that bone, is that bone hurting juice? Yes, there is bone hurting juice. Oh what's, no. What's, I don't know what the fucking. I wanna know what either that does or the fucking mythical one at the very top left in the next page. Uh, is this that holy one? looking? Yeah, the holy shot? That's another music one. It changes all the music oh. to Gregorian chanting. Okay, we can't do okay, two music are... ones. Unless they are actually able to mix and we get holy lo-fi. That, that, oh, holy Gregorian yeah. chanting oh, lo-fi would be amazing. God damn it, we got like it so fucking late. Though. I want to do the pizza one to know what route that unlocks. Oh my god, the, the set of route, the pizza girl? Yeah. Yep, but amazing. But it's the time, I don't think. Nope, you've only got two things left. Yeah, give me a bone hurting juice. Okay. What does it do, Sweet. Sammy? Better. Please. It's gonna Please hurt. Sit. If um lo-fi? Well I thought uh, um I thought um Tick was gonna pick it. Yeah, I was gonna pick lo-fi. Oh, okay, what do you want? So in that case I will pick uh Run me by what each of these do. I don't know what they all do. Um <laughs> yeah, Gregorian chanting, okay. that does something, that I don't know. I, that's the equalizer. What are the tubes? Go ahead, hang on. There's one? one on the top right. What does this that one? do? One messes with your stats. Uh yeah, that one will. That one will. I think it averages the stats across everyone. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh I could really mess people up. Why did you tell yeah, you could... that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. Well, doodle, doodle did say well here's she was the thing. Chaos. That would. True. That would. Oof. If I can't win, no one can. No, hang on. True. I know how to. I know how to galaxy brain this. Okay. If I'm already if I'm already stuck on the Milo run, what if I activate another special run? I could glitch the game. So give me the pizza. You want a, you want the pizza? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the solution okay. is always pizza. All right, Luffy. Luffy. Oh, no no Kofi. Right All right, um, I have absolutely no idea. That's a good um, question. Yeah, what does that one is. on the first page do? The purple cloud one in the middle? No idea. That's a new one I got last time I played. Okay. I'm going to have to Google what all of these do later. So, for Great. science, I'm picking the purple juice. Do you want the purple? This one? I'm picking the purple. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here we go. Science! i got to inject a bit of chaos into this as all well. Right. Why not? Pizza. <laughs> Why can't this be a drink? Well, it can. Up you are. Once you drink some pizza, you'll want nothing but pizza forever. Or at least till the next couple of days. <laughs> but why not? Yeah. Bone hurting juice. No, not the bone hurting juice. What have you done? No, oh, your bones will hurt. Try to the bottle, but you dumped them. Oh, you that got hit to all your stats. Oh, you why would you do that? Cell shake. <laughs> At least okay. his nipples are fine. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I just oh, turned God. to spell it. I just turned to spell of mine into a beverage because, well, I guess because I'm smart. The spell will change into all oh. your stats. Oh, no. Oh, oh were no. Made. Go bad. Errors were made. <laughs> but who's who's got the best stats? Who do you take? Errors were made. Wait, I get to choose? 
Uh, we're gonna might. find out. Yeah, you get to choose. Yeah, you get to choose. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't really want my stats. They're pretty bad. Oh, you don't want god. mine. <laughs> don't, oh my god. I don't like any of these, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I, just, I just like to imagine the three of us are in a corner, like, just pointing at each other. It's like, take okay. theirs. No, take theirs. We're you doing the mine. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I guess the play is to go take partner stats and then try and boost the smarts up to an acceptable amount to balance everything out, but I'm like, Oh no. Yeah. Alright, we're Stay gonna swallow Ricky. Rip. Honestly, forget it, do it. It's my best option. I, could use I, it I, I, I picked the drinks, I'm, so... I'm smarter now. Alright, cough, cough EB, I know relax how... and study too. I now have the clarity to know that I made a mistake. <laughs> Dude, and I'm I gonna be a troll! I, I no longer have that clarity. But right. I know I did. <laughs> Sofi beats relax and study too. So I surround you with the entrancing embrace oh, of Lo-Fi. Oh. Surrender to the power of Lo-Fi. I think I'm good for Except tonight. you didn't, you didn't plug your nose when you were talking, though. Because normally I, I do horns voice when I talk like this. He's now Russian. Here, hot Riley, before you puke all over me. Ciao. Sweet Lo-Fi music. I'm never picking that purple drink again. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Choose oh, the yeah. food, guys! <laughs> oh, yes. Magical Drinks Incorporated is not responsible for any negative effects occurred. Uh... Well, they're going to assume Juan's part of a corporation. Mac and cheese. I just like to imagine, like, Soup. Juan's giving you, like, some kind of terms and conditions when you're drinking it. Everyone <laughs> choose a food, say your choice out loud. Um, cheese and soup so far that I've heard. Pizza. All I can think about is pizza, remember? <laughs> yep, pizza. I get spaghetti bolognese. Mmm. Play so already decided based on which food would destroy prehistoric humans' digestive system if brought back in time. Oh pizza. god, imagine how greasy pizza is nowadays. God, yeah. it soup, would, it would soup has been the staple. It would coat the caveman's gut so badly they would not be able to digest anything. <laughs> I, I think pizza wins this one. Okay, pizza wins. Yeah, for sure. It's, like it's, it's, it's like half, half of its preservatives. What's the other stuff? We had mac and cheese. Mac and cheese soup and pasta bolognese. Or spaghetti bolognese. Oh, spaghetti bolognese. Like, Which, mac and cheese sorry, Tick, I think you're last. Yeah, I think I yeah, to go yeah. With no, mac I, and I cheese. definitely, definitely am. Mac and cheese sounds I'm... like it'll fuck up a lot of, like, just too much dairy. Yeah, so yeah. turn yeah. order is exactly dairy. the same. Because I can say that at least with pasta bolognese, or spaghetti bolognese, yeah, it'll mess you up, but there's still, like, meat in there. It's yeah, a that's some... meal, at least. Yeah, mac and cheese. Like... Okay, it's literally the same order. Yeah. Like we've, tri <laughs> yeah. we've, we've tricked ourselves into believing mac and cheese has nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's perfectly nutritious. You mean okay. it doesn't? Okay, so my bad stats right now. I need more fun. Yep. Yep. You go to you go to the lake. Yeah. Yeah. You want thing, but it seems like the god of the lake is in a bit of a mood today. It demands an offering before you can get in the water. What do you offer the god? The only thing you have to give is your favorite yo-yo, which you were playing with on the way here. Aww. The god of life, the god of the lake accepts your humble gift and is actually kind of relieved you didn't leave something boring, like a dead fish or the soul of a mortal. True. So in addition to gaining access to the lake, the god blesses you with plus two fun. Yay! Woo. Then, your pizza senses go off, and lead you to the lake. <laughs> you don't see pizza, though. Only a whole lot of sand, and a drowning guy off in the distance. Oh no. Wait. Drowning guy? Where are the lifeguards? Hot, hot pizza. Uh -huh. Okay. Looks like you two ordered an extra large barbecue, Hawaiian pizza with extra vibes. <laughs> Wants to be Wanda and Stu. I'll be Stu. So I get to be Wanda. Oh. oh yeah, Sue and I are like vibing right now. We decided to set up the vibes before you even got here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and I've got like a hell of munchies now. Could we like maybe add some extra toppings to the pizza? Hmm. Yeah, like could we get fungus on there? And... Onions. Onions. I read fungus. Uh -huh. No, I, I understand the mistake. <laughs> and Yum. maybe some mozzarella sticks? Dude! It's an easy to make since they're all nasty. 
Wanda, dude, you know what would taste bomb on this pizza? Shoe polish. Do. Do. <laughs> you mad fucking genius. Can we get some shoe polish drizzle too? Well, that might be kind of hard. Might be a girl. <laughs> yeah, considering that shoe polish isn't a food. Also, hey. you can't really add toppings to pizza as it's being delivered. Hello, Manchigo, my sister. How are you? <laughs> Mood. <laughs> hey, hang on. Hang on real quick. I have a question. She's supposed to be the ring girl, right? Yeah. yeah. She's not a girl, was it yes. the ring? Was it the ring girl or the other one that made that gurgling sound? No, that's absolutely the, the ring girl. That, uh, it, what no, the grudge did like the, the sound. Oh, it makes a weird creaking, like an old. The grudge does the, uh, like yeah. a long uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, that face is terrifying. Yeah. Oh no, Let that's not a problem. I always keep extra Funyuns, mozzarella sticks, and shoe polish on me when I go out delivering. This comes up a lot. Oh. The problem is now I gotta calculate your new total with all these last minute toppings. And my phone can't connect to the calculator all the way out here. Why does this calculator need Wi-Fi? That's so stupid. Hello, soy boy Harris. Hello, friends of my sister. Welcome. Welcome to stream. Hello, what? friend streams. Greetings. Hello. Oh, shit. Do I think I left my phone at the lifeguard tower. Where's yours? Aw, oh, man. Bummer, dude. I threw mine at the drowning guy we passed on the way here so he could, like, Call 911 for some lifeguards. These two are the worst lifeguards ever. Oh, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> well, uh, I gotta be honest. I don't know how to wait your total. I didn't really pay attention to the math sessions of our training videos or any of the other sections. It's a mood. <laughs> yeah. Relatable. Don't like, worry about it, man. Sure. Wanda and I never paid attention to our training videos either. We couldn't tell. Mind fuck. Whoa, I don't even remember what job we trained for. Do do you think that maybe we watched the Pizza Girls training videos? Maybe we could calculate the total. It feels like it's moving in slow motion because of the lo-fi music. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we also these three have on. like, these three have one collective brain cell. They're sharing it, bouncing around like a window screensaver. <laughs> wait, wait till it hits the corner. Just wait till it hits the corner. Oh, it's always so aggravating when it like barely misses the corner. And you're just like, oh. Right. And you're like, you're just just off off. but whenever it hits the topic. corner, there's a thought. Yep, yep. Yeah, right. The only thing Wanda and Stu know how to calculate is the proper amount of vibes to add into a pan of brownies, which, by the way, you do it in the butter. We'll need to come up with a calculation system to find the total that these three can understand. Looks like your friendship with your fellow camper from uh, Finn, the monster made out of fingers, will finally pay <laughs> off. You can calculate using his many fingers, or take an intensive online workshop to become a professional junk food appraiser. Alright, sister, love you too. Mm. Have fun. First one sounds like fun. Second one... You have smarts now. That sounds like a smarts one, doesn't it? I'm gonna go with two. Sick. Yeah. Hey, that's a dope oh. idea, oh. partner. Oh no. Junk Nightbot. <laughs> Stop being rude. <laughs> Ryan's literally in the stream, Nightbot. I gotta get Alex to fix that. <laughs> Nightbot, be chill. <laughs> Uh, Junk chill. food appraiser is one of the coolest jobs ever. Ooh. I am I the mean, official appraiser of snacks. Right? I'm yeah. more into my very real career as a structural engineer and part-time model, but you follow your dreams. That explains the headband. No, Whoa! Whoa, maybe, the fact that her maybe hair is I good. could be a junk food appraiser. Right now, I'm just like part time at the laundromat and I work nights guarding the roof of these centuries old cathedral. Wait a second, we're the lifeguards, aren't you? 
Is it a lifeguard or something, Stu? Oh shit, you're right. But my dream is either to be a document documentary director or professional wrestler. Do you think That'd I have, cheating. have classes on that? I'm not paid enough Probably for this. Probably cheating. Wait, classes weird. <laughs> I'm not paid enough for this. I don't know. Mood. My only dream is getting this total calculated so we can get this whole transaction over with. Are we doing this or not? Oh, we're doing this. You download uh -oh. one of those apps with short video courses that turn education into very lucrative business. There's tons Wait. of stupid, highly specific classes on there. What the fuck? If I have Signal, why don't I just use the calculator app? <laughs> because you're not thinking that far ahead. You haven't hit the brain cell in the corner yet. We are well, all freaking oh bimbos, or the equivalent of. <laughs> We're all bimbos now. We are all we are all sharing the single brain cell like those three people like from the, the Greek myth. With the eye really We're all bimbos now. All right? Whoa, check it out. Junk Food Appraisal 101 with special guest Sir Ian McClellan. Ian McClellan. Gore. You click play to find Sir Ian McClellan himself sitting behind a counter laden with cheese puffs and Lord of the Rings paraphernalia. Why would Ian McKellen be the pick for a junk food appraiser? The guy's so skinny, he'd probably sink in water. It's the metabolism. That's his talent. He just appraises junk food. Like, he doesn't have to eat it. Good evening, students, says Sir Ian McClellan. I am here to teach you how to have a delicious second breakfast of your own with your newfound junk food appraisal skills. He doesn't eat it. He just pokes it with the staff he stole off the set of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Pretty much. <Yep. laughs> God damn it. I expect you to pay close attention, but also have fun. Otherwise, you shall not pass. Dude. Yeah, I know. Dude, I love it when he says that. Dumbledore is like my favorite <laughs> character ever. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. I have to keep he talking. Put the <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. We gotta keep These two talking. are a plague upon the earth. Oh, God. These two. Are you serious, Stu? This is Sir Ian McKellen. He played the wizard in Star Trek. I like to imagine at this point that the ring girl is just eating the pizza. Pretty like much. I don't them. think she can eat pizza. I don't think she's legally obligated. Yeah. All right. I don't think she Thank cares for... anymore. Thank you for watching, says Sir Ian McKellen at the end of the two-hour video. And I sincerely hope that this course has trained you to be the one appraiser to rule them all. Uh... <laughs> well, uh... That was boring as hell. But at least it ate up the latter half of my shift. Can you calculate the total now? Oh, can you ever? Smog would be proud of your money hoarding prowess. Can you calculate that pizza price down to the last gold coin? Not that that's currency used here, but come on, it was a funny reference. You solve the pizza price and gain plus two smarts and plus one creativity come on. in the process. You can do this. All right, where are you going? Not a bear. Thickest thickest deity. Deity. Uh, uh, took, uh, that took uh, way too long. Charm. Charm. Look at us go! Can you cheer on? Doing their best. Zoom. It's a type of... zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. It's a typical bloody camp down battle royale. While you're hiding to catch your breath, a severed fist flies through the air and lands in your lap. You unfold it. The fist was holding a tarnished silver locket containing the photo of a loved one, likely waiting for the hand's former owner to return home safely. You toss that behind you and find a small crumpled up coupon, redeemable for plus two smell, at Pedro's Pastrami Paradise. Mm. Brad, thanks mysterious hand. Oh, that pastrami's gonna smell so good. Later, you stop by the dome to look, to look for a can of Pringles you left there. But you accidentally get drafted into a dome battle royale that happens every Tuesday. Didn't we just do this? Nope. The rules are simple. Join a team of three, lock the door to the dome, fight to the death. 400 warriors have entered the camp dome today. Only three will leave alive. Hopefully, you will be one of those three. And hopefully, you will find your Pringles. 400 doesn't That's divide not. evenly into just three. Finished eating. Nice! Hey, there they are! Anything. 
<laughs> yes, murder, baby! Eat my ass! Luckily for you, you managed to get Damien and Aravi as your teammates. They're killing it. Literally. These two really seem to thrive in extreme violence. Fuck yeah! And stay down! Gods, fuck yes! I haven't killed two guys with the same crossbow crossbow bolt in a while. The trick is to line it just right and aim for the eye socket. So sick. <laughs> Aravi OP devs, please nerf. Yeah. Meh, kind of unim unimaginative if you ask me. I just killed an entire team by eating them alive. Just me, a fork, and my fucking fist. Are you gonna finish that? Oh, MG, I went through such an eating people alive phase. Did you know that a normal human can survive someone eating their face, but they'll die if you eat their brain? Huh? You eat their brain, Damn, guys. Did you just call this my no scope cross, no scope crossbow double kill headshot unimaginative? Are you kidding me? I am carrying this team. Get good. <laughs> We're only in the diamond tier, diamond skill tier because of my battle rage massacre at the start of the game. That was a twelve kill streak. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. <laughs> Bullshit! I've gotten way more kills than you, and mine were way sicker. I lit my chainsaw on fire, Avar Avari? Is it Avari? Aravi. Uh, Aravi. 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 Aravi, Aravi, you should be taking notes! <laughs> Why does everyone get the R and the V backwards? It's, I don't know. It's, it's right. a dumb brain yeah. thing. Bros, calm down, just look at it this way. You're both way better murderers than thick as dated booty. He hasn't even gotten one kill this whole game, lol. <laughs> it's true. You haven't killed any enemies yet. You thought you've killed one person, but then you realize that you just lulled them to sleep with your gentle, non-lethal punches. But you can't look like a pacifist in front of these two adorable psychopaths. Impress your friends with your raddest technique for indiscriminate murder. Tobacco use is one of the leading causes of death within our modern society, so beat the shit out of your enemies with cigarettes. Or, in the words of Theodore Roosevelt, speak softly and tie an angry badger and five loaded guns at the end of a big stick. Angry badger, five loaded guns, stick. I want that. No, want it was balls! Oh. Oh. Uh, I was hoping I, it was fun. I thought it was fun because I knew the top <laughs> one was smarts, and I'm like, well, your smarts isn't that high. <laughs> Nothing is high. That's my. That high. Except, except, <laughs> I was hoping that no, was but fun, you got but... nipples for days. You got like yeah. nipples for every day of the week. I've got so many nipples. <laughs> a full I've set a of fort... nipples for I've every day. Got a fortnight of, of nipples. <laughs> a fortnight of nipples. Uh, oh lord! You quickly scavenge the dome and find all the raw materials you need. You create the unholy combination of stick, badger, and gun. The ultimate sphere of death is born. With the spear in your hand, you are filled with the dark, evil, primal power. Oh no. You lose consciousness as your body is lost to the trance of battle. Oh dear. <laughs> oh lord. Are we going Run into the future page. again? No, you I think it's worse. Pee. You cannot think, but you can hear. And all you hear is the rattle of death, the cries of a rabid badger, and the spurt of exploding heads all around you. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. uh, there he is. Morty. I think Mike is Morty. Morty again. Who wants to do Morty? Not me. Not, Not me. it. All right. Two hours later, Morty, the slutty, slutty Minotaur, is smoking a cigarette <laughs> right outside the dome. The smell of blood and death magic mingle with his cigarette fumes. From the darkness, oh. I come. Oh, it is baby. Oh god, they're both here, which is not surprising. I think Ryan needs to be Dimitri because he's a dramatic can, ass vampire. You need to be as European yes. as possible. Okay. <clears throat> Hail and well met, BFF. We are still on the tr crash camp, Spooky Battle Royale. You know I adore rushing their summer camaraderie. Summer, even. <laughs> Michael, what? you gotta do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm just gonna go with fucking whatever. No need, bro. No need. Thickest deity of booty. You know, the annoying one that's always picking between binary options and whatever. He already ruined it for us. <gasps> what? What madness? Spill the tea, beastie. Bestie. <laughs> Bestie? Can't read. Here is thickest deity of booty tried to get a real original with his weapon choice. It all went south. He tried. He tied a badger to a stick and some guns or something. Ugh. 
Apparently that badger was super feral, just like me when I go when I go without sex for three days in a row. It escaped and attacked everyone, especially thick as the Hadia booty. Murder suicide, oof. At first everyone thought it was kinda cool because the badger was killing so many people. But then it started attacking thick as Deity of Booty's face. <laughs> it got ugly. Thick as Deity of Booty's face, I mean. <laughs> God damn. Oh, <laughs> and then the badger fell thick as Deity of Booty's pants, and thick as Deity of Booty accidentally called the badger mom. <laughs> Epic embarrassment. God, you really fucked this, this one. This game worked. This Good <laughs> lord, that seems like the worst possible weapon choice. Truly, there is no need for us to, sab to sabotage Camp Spooky. Thick as deity of booty already already took care of that. Oh my god, those <laughs> pants. <laughs> yep, they're gone. Uh, <laughs> Rumor spreads true. fast about the badger face pants mom incident you just went through. You were blacked out, so you're not even sure if all of the rumors are true. But you are sure that Damien and Ravi have lost all no! respect for you. No, it falls! Oh, and you lost two nipples and one dignity. Damn it! Oh, two nipples. Yeah, I lost two nipples. nipples. The ones that badger bit off. No, no. Okay, Wednesday is no nipple Wednesday. No <laughs> nipple Wednesday. Uh. Okay, so wait, wait a second. Does that imply that all those nipples are actually on Oz? I mean, like just like one after the other. Don't ask me yeah, questions in a row. Don't ask questions. You want to don't want to know the answers. Don't there. want the answers to. <laughs> I need yeah, fan that's, art of that. that's what the little the little uh little buddies are. That's the little phobias. All right, Ryan, right, where do you want to go? What? Give me the woods. Go to woods. I gotta go. Squirrels are back. I gotta, I gotta make friends with the squirrels. <laughs> While you're hiking through the woods, you find a little clearing with a beautiful blue pond. There's a very handsome man staring deeply into the pond. He's talking to his reflection like it's another person. Mm -hmm. A person he really wants to fuck. Oh no. Narcissus. You swipe his wallet while he's not looking and find out his name is Narcissus. <laughs> he's not an organ donor, asshole. And he is one punch away from getting a free smart water at 7 Eleven. Well, he's definitely not going to be using that anytime soon. You head Boom. to the gas station and gain plus two smarts from your smart water. Nice. Oh my, what a crew. Oh boy, so many voices. Oh no. Yep. This'll be fun. The sky is clear, the birds are singing, and you, a robot, a cursed monster slayer, and a death-bringing reaper are merrily skipping through the woods, hunting a <laughs> leprechaun. That's you guys see any loot so around cool. here? So what's the deal with killing this leprechaun? How many experience points am I going to get? Do I get a sneak bonus if I attack from behind? <laughs> Error due to the sixth mass, well, yeah, sixth mass, mass extinction. The slaying of leprechauns is inadvisable. They are considered endangered by the United Monsters Nations. Oh, not another gig. Yeah, I'm not really interested in working today. I figured we'd grab him, get some sweet pics for the gram, stick a pot of gold emoji on there, and then release him and call it today. Ah, <sighs> speaking of the gram, this is one of the only spots in the woods I haven't posted a pic of yet. Hop in, everyone. It's selfie time. You gather around for a cute pic full of ironic duck face, dabbing, and bunny ears. Lit. Uploading. 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 Losing signal. I hate to. <clears throat> I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I am using hate idiomatically here because technically i feel nothing but there appears to be no reception here ah. what ah oh, that's such bullshit with no connectivity my party has lost their buff totally not optimal <laughs> damn my memories are unable to back up and with no internet access i am unable to continuously learn and download updated information to correct any mistakes what if i become racist <laughs> what if wow. i connect to the internet and hashtag calculester is over is trending because i have become problematic my phone you're worried if i don't post in the next five minutes all my followers will think i've died and i won't even be online to reap the pity likes <laughs> Hey, 
chat, guys. Being online isn't everything. Ugh. Let's just hang tight and order a pizza. Oh no, we can't have no service. <laughs> How am I gonna get a pizza? We need the internet stat. <coughs> Yikes. Seems like your friends are spiraling out of control. Of course, you could use this as a teachable moment about your extreme dependence on the internet. Probably won't do that. But you're not going to do that, lol. You're taking the easy way out and snagging some net. Here's how. This has been a very pizza central stream. I blame you. I'm, really, I'm kind of hungry for pizza. Oh. Actually, I think, I, uh, actually, right, I, think I have some in the fridge. So I probably actually, I got pizza in the freezer. I think we have some too. Yeah. We have a crispy crust pizza. 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 Okay. Mm. Uh, what we need is a long wireless antenna. Hey, wait. What's that between your legs, Calculester? Oh, oh, my God. We just need to lure the That's internet cool. out into the woods. Quick, create some content. I'm pretty sure this one is smart, but this one's either charm or fun. Or... Mm. Mm. I would say the first one's bold, because you're making a dick joke. Yeah. 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 Either way, either it's good. I mean, you're going to have the top one? I think that's, yeah, bold and smart, I think. It's probably, it's probably bold and charm. Isn't it my... Oh, wait, is this... This is you. Yeah. Um, okay, um... So yeah, if it's the lowest stat, I shouldn't really pick the top one, right? I probably should go for the bottom one and hope it's one of the stats that I'm actually higher in. Actually, they're all, they're all higher, so I lose nothing. Bottom one. <sighs> no, it was creative! No. no. Wait, oh no, that's that your first failure! Damn it. <laughs> that's fine, you're not on a special route, so you can still recover. Yep. I will I'm never turn on the opportunity to create more content. The question is, what kind? Yeah! <laughs> got it, I've got this. A speedrun of me killing all the animals in the woods. <laughs> Not really <laughs> vibing with me. I was thinking more along the lines of, like, an unboxing of the hot new scythe I just got. Are you gonna eat that? Silver lining, Ryan. There are worse ones to fail in the forest. Be glad you didn't get the dangling pooping one. Oh god, not that one. Is a what? <laughs> no, so no, we don't talk it? about that event. Nope, moving on. For no, obvious wins. Nothing. Since Before I can, it. since it can be followed by a culinary review of how the animals taste when I swallow them whole. Unless I can eat your murder tools, in which case they're either rocks. Hmm. My friends, the most foolproof option would be to generate content based on an algorithm of what people would to see the most. Ooh. I suggest we post an image of Shrek impregnated oh. Whoa. Oh, by okay. several what? characters from My Little Pony. I just hear Maddie muted and it's laughing in the distance oh. of Michael's microphone. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, dear. Everybody. Why would you suggest that? Everybody. I need to reboot. Well, Really, the algorithm suggested it. <coughs> oh god. Maddie's just losing it. it in the background. I am. It's, he's still got that, uh, that search history from that weird Sonic Menage a Trois going on. <laughs> Probably. The Menage a Trois! Oh lord. As your friends start to argue between an extreme mosquito swatting let's play versus novel length Sonic fanfiction, you have a sudden realization. Labeling all of the many possible <laughs> artistic achievements in life is simply content created to fish for digital clicks, downgrade, downgrades, and commodifies artistic expression. Wait, the um, the answer I gave was creativity, right? It, yeah, it was a creative one. Okay, so I'm guessing the other one was probably if that was the yeah, so it might have been charm then. It might have been or that yeah. was smart. Armor bold. Yeah. It was yeah. a dick joke. Well, it couldn't have been bold because if it was, then I Ryan would have done it. it. Yeah. yeah. All right. You share this revelation with your friends, prepared to blow their freaking minds, but mm. unsubscribed. Wow, <coughs> that's terrible content. I'm not carrying you. For real, no one would like to. No one like. No one would like to subscribe to that pretentious shit. Brainstorming hentai nail art videos. Oh my. But you are not invited to pitch your favorite crossover ship. Even though it's Sailor Mercury and Mr. Monopoly. How oh my. <laughs> no, oh, the smart to no! All the things you could have dropped. Why? <laughs> it might turn I out. I could have been okay. minus one. How dare Tick, where are you going? Uh, we're gonna go to the manor. <laughs> uh, that day, you find a mirror in the haunted manor. 
But instead of showing a reflection, it shows you an exaggerated evil version of yourself. It's possible. Sawyer mm -hmm. can never be evil. True. Evil you says you will never surmount your insecurities. Look at how perfect I am. And look at how flawed you are. Nobody will ever love you. Down. Counterpoint. Many of your perceived flaws are totally fabricated by a greedy companies looking to make profit by promising to fix things they literally cannot control. As soon as you say that, Evil You shrieks bloody murder and disappears. Nice. You gain plus two boldness because you're amazing just the way you are. Wholesome. Just the way you are. I was thinking that too. <laughs> Later, you meet up with Calculester, so you can use his body to detect spooky ghosts. Oh, sorry. Michael, that's okay. <laughs> At first, I was skeptical of your scheme to use my hot little electrical chassis as an EMF ghost detector friend embodiment of a bass drop. Is this We're what just like phasmophobia call now? Camping? But I now find that it is quite enjoyable. The electrical disturbances emitted by ghosts affect my circuitry, much like I imagine your organic drugs do. I am giddy. When does Polly show up? Drugs and ghosts, where's Polly? Yeah, I don't know where Polly is. Yeah. Goes. Hold on. I, yep, here we go. This is exactly. I have detected a rather strong ghost signal. It appears that this one is not even attempting to avoid discovery because Polly. Hey, boo! Who is to do Polly? So I'll do it. Sure. <laughs> I can't do both. Sure, you want to talk to yourself? I've done it before, I think. Okay. If it's good enough for Christopher Sabbath, it's good enough for this. Did someone. Oh my god. Did someone say drugs? Yes, it was me. Hello, friend Polly. I'm also here. Stop! Oh. Brian, you My get to be God. Scott. Do your best me. Aaron. Do your best Aaron Hansen impression. Oh, oh God. Uh, wait, Thank which God. one? He does literally tons of impressions. I, I can't do all three. Do your, a... do your best American, because <laughs> that's literally who voices Scott. It's Aaron. Yeah. I was kind of doing something for that already with Damien. Um, uh, <laughs> you know what? You know what, Ryan? Do you want me to take Polly? Want, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Do a bridge, Joey. I can do a bridge, Joey. I cannot. No, you're not. Keep that you're not talking. To I cannot do time. Brooklyn Rage. <laughs> do you want me to do all three? I'll no. take Polly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. If I'll someone take takes Polly. over Polly, I can do Scott. I'll take Polly. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bridge Bridge Joey is usually what I would do for Damien, yes. Okay. I'm also here. <laughs> the two founding members of the Prank Masters together here in the same place at the same time. What an innocent coincidence. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. A fun, non-suspicious coincidence. <coughs> really? I thought you said we were here to prank calcu- Later! So we're here to prank calculators by using spell words like boobs and lol. But now that we've met you, there is something we, you should know. Hmm. Calculester. <laughs> Nani, the fuck is this clock with? What is going on? Oh. <laughs> Jesus, hey, Christ, what? You know that feeling you get when you're watching anime and you can tell the writers just gave up? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're there. Yep. Lord, okay, I have to get through this. <laughs> I believe it. I was eating a bag on a choke. <laughs> Is, is everyone okay? I'm okay. Okay, the girl really? like. Nobody's okay, trying to do ghost, um, okay? I'm pregnant, and you're the father. Hooray! <laughs> I 
you know, uh, I know. You know, I'm, like, I'm also pregnant, and you're also the father. It's Ad, come on, you're gonna blow it. Ah! Blow well, what? I just like to piss pig. Mm. Interesting. My two most mischievous friends have just simultaneously <laughs> informed me that they are both pregnant with my children. <laughs> Thus, it seems I have no choice but to believe them uncritically. For, you see, we are friends, and friends never lie to one another. Ergo, I am going to be a double father. Oh, sweet baby child. Engaging behavioral template, responsible parental figure, shutting down childish subroutines such as have fun and find summer romance. Oh no. I see what you meant about the Aaron Hansen thing now. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Seriously harm your chances of getting your row bone on with calculus during the summer. <laughs> You've got to find a way to defuse the situation, but how? <laughs> The problem is clearly inadequate sex ed. Give calculus to the talk about the birds and the microprocessors, and he'll figure out what's really going on. Birds and the microprocessors. Just because a child is not yours slash imaginary doesn't mean that they don't deserve love. Show calculus to that you'll always be there to help them raise his fake offspring. Oh, crap. I have never seen this event before, given by the fact that it almost killed me. <laughs> I knew they were going to show up, but I didn't want them to show up this fucking late. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, okay. I wasn't really even ro aiming for a romance, so I don't really care which one gets picked. Okay, uh... guys! Vote! Sex Ed or. <laughs> I, 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 I suggest the second one. Yeah, the second one. Kids. Right, kids. We must teach the calculator to bone. I'm agreeing with sex ed to That's a uh, oh, tied. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, stream chat. Let the chat vote. Let's the Let chat, the chat vote. All chat right, one or two chat. Decide. One or two. Decide. Oh, yeah, I know we're putting the responsibility <laughs> of choice on your shoulders. <laughs> no pressure. Just Oh, I don't like pressure. Well, <laughs> we need to teach how... that guy how to do a like... open bone. I mean, there's no pressure at all. I mean, the other thing I could do is I could roll a d4 and go evens or odds. True. <laughs> I mean, I have a coin. All right, yeah, we'll just. Oh, yeah, Penny's next to me. Oh, no, we have an option. It's two. Two. Two has been chosen. What is? Oh, no, wait, <laughs> now the chat's split now. Again. Oh, I didn't get to use my coin. Flip the coin. coin. No, no, flip the coin. Uh, tails for row boning. So, tails for the top one. Tails for sex. Tails for sex. Um, <laughs> tails. Tails for sex. Okay. Do you know how to bone? Come for a sex. Yeah, it's a sweat. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh dear. More of was correct. I ruined it. It's all my fault. It's fine. <laughs> I'm probably not happy about this. Luckily, robot monster reproduction is one of your primary areas of fanfic writing. I mean, expertise. <laughs> We're no Zoe. You give a detailed talk with lots of diagrams. Blah, and blah, blah. when you're finished. However, Calculuster fails to have experienced the expected revelation. You can tell because the light bulb he was holding over his head just doesn't light up. I appreciate your enthusiasm and rigorous attention to detail embodiment of a bass drop, but your explanation has only made me more worried. Doodle what? is presently AFK, so if a part comes up for her, we need to step in. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, what is he talking about? The only way he should be worried now is if he'd actually had sex with one of them. Calculester and Polly are totally incompatible. And Scott... Oh no. Yes, it is true. Scott and I did perform sexual intercourse. It was a recent... It was at a recent <laughs> land party. You know, the one... Everyone at camp was invited to, except for you. You didn't know about it, no. But that kind of makes sense, considering. It was quite a wild time. Everyone was sharing USB sticks, and no one was using protection. No firewalls. In 
Yeah. In retrospect, it was quite irresponsible behavior. Uh, um. Uh... Would would firewalls be like robot birth control? Yes. No, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway, um, I agree. Quick question though, Cal. Uh, what's the difference between uh, definition of most every word you just said? Back to basics. No time to explain, Scott. We have a future to plan. I think Apollo's just still pissed this whole time. Also, there are 20 to 25 esports players who I should probably contact. We may have hot swat some peripherals. Woohoo! Oh, Ray, I was going to have a, I'm going to have a baby, and if it's a boy, I'll name him Sports. But and if it's a girl, I'll just name her Sports. Wait, Sports is a good boy's name too. Thanks, Scotty. Wow, Scott, way to save the prank after all. I mean, way to commit your, to commit your impending fatherhood like a totally real parent. Scott and Calculester begin discussing what color will paint baby sports' room. You're too dejected to interrupt. Why don't anyone invite you to that sexy land party? You lose minus two fun and minus one charm. She's back. Hello, welcome back to welcome the Welcome back to the celebrity. It's the last event round of the game. Oh, Keanu Lord. Reeves. Mr. Bean. Nicholas Cage. So we have Nicholas Cage, Mr. Bean, Keanu Reeves. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Because it has to be done. Player orders decided based on the likelihood that said celebrity is actually a time agent from the future here to prevent the world from an Okay, Keanu Reeves wins. <laughs> Whoa, this man does an age. Oh God, he's an easy. Vampires. Um, yeah, he's a vampire. Who's a vampire? If anything. Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah. And Nicolas Cage. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nick. So you're both fucked out. On I that fucked one. myself here because Mr. Bean would be doing the opposite. He'd be the one causing the end of the world. Exactly. I, no, no, he's, he's trying to fix it, which inadvertently causes more problems. Yes, yeah, classic Mr. Bean. Hey, I was yeah, so Mr. Place Bean. Failed. So I'd say Mr. Bean, Tom Holland, and then the other two can fight for it. Nah. Just randomize it, probably. All right, let's yeah. go. Oh, the laws. Oh, I got yeah. the... Yep, all right. Yay, there fourth. we go. Basically. Last of it, guys. Win. I can't win anyway. I I choose correctly. <laughs> but here's um... the thing, Michael. You could... You could go... If... You could go with... With, um... Oh, yeah, I can go with anybody, any of the people yeah, I sat can, with. Yeah, which was just Doodle. And I sat with Doodle and I sat with um, uh, Tit. Okay. Hmm? Good lesson. We got options. All right, where do you want to go? I want to go to the woods. You're going you're gonna to block Brian off, or Brian off of that. It's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get a bonus smart boost from something else at least try to. The only place I haven't been today. Yeah. Today, you decide to hike all the way across the woods. You want to see what's on the other side. It's a long, treacherous hike that ends up only taking an hour. I guess these woods aren't that big after all. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Anyway, it turns out there's a library on the other side of the woods. You can go in and read some books for something and gain plus two dignity. I love that. You spend the next couple hours having miserable luck helping Damien, Aravi, and Hex. And Calculester catch the ex Oh, it's the wildfire. Why? It's just the one second. It's so random, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a random one. It's wildfire. it's like a hint. But it's okay because these past few hours of staking out in the same spot have allowed you lots of free time to be near, talk with, and take secret sniffs of your sexy friends. <laughs> Nothing could possibly Wait ruin a minute. the Oh, no. Oh. No. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, come we on. Found it. We found it. Michael, why? Oh, I, I think I, I think I saw you go, when I watched you guys. Well, I, I think I watched Alina and someone else play this. Um, when did I last see you play as the camera? I am ages. satisfied. I swear I've seen this scene. I'm getting deja vu really badly. <laughs> Take a vote to just skip this scene because it's just that bad. Nope. Nope, I'm you doing it. Suffer. I, I, I'm, I'm doing not it. doing any voicing for this. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, guys, just 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 for for, for reference. Um, there's despite the fact we turned toilet humor off. Uh, everybody who is watching and is watching the vod. 
Uh, just just mute until you see like the you options might have to do that come anyway. up. Just 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 yeah, you know, just do that. Just just to save yourself some interesting writing. Okay, are we gonna be skipping okay? Who, who's gonna? Okay, hold on. Who's gonna? Who's gonna? Who's gonna vote to skip? Who's, who's voting to skip? I'm I'm voting to skip. Skip. I choose suffer. Because Michael. I'm evil. I don't know because it just seems funny to me. <laughs> but if nobody wants to deal with it, I'm fine with skipping. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. People, we're just gonna we're just gonna power through and click it because the scene is just bad. Okay, fine. If you won't accept this curse, I'll put something else cursed in the chat. Okay, I mean, fine. That's already... doable. All right, yeah. we're just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> it's really quick. This one. I've voiced this scene before. It's great. Yeah, uh, I know. I've done it once. I don't need to do it again. Yeah, uh, uh, um, uh, we're gonna go with the baby one again. Oh my god! Oh, damn it! Are we, are we it's not like we're gonna win. <sighs> nope. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Also, a fun food, bit of lore: demons give birth by vomiting an egg through their mouth. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, anyway. I guess we're just gonna skip that real quick. Alright, uh, let's moving on. Uh, you got to baby choice. Fuck off! Yep. I just want to chill. You uh, have now- you now have an odd amount of nipples. <laughs> Alright, Ryan, where are you going? They're just- They're just like all in a circle on your belly button. Ugh. Ugh. Ryan? Ryan, where are you at? Ryan! Anyway, enjoy that enjoy that curse thing I put in text chat in retaliation. Oh my god. And yes, that is a Splatoon. Oh gaff. Ryan's muted, that's why. Alright, we'll just give him a second. Just enjoy these lo-fi beats that hopefully won't get the episode taken down because of copyright reasons. <laughs> Do I still need to pee? Oh, pee you. Hey, you gotta pick. Yeah, big bro. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah. shit. Um, I don't think it makes too much of a difference because I'm still hoping for smart. So let's go. We haven't been to Scout HQ. Let's do Scout HQ. Look at Brian. Look at him. There's a guest speaker at the Monster Scouts HQ. She's a Were Eagle Monster Scout. Yeah, Were Eagle Monster Scout. Here to tell you all about advancing through the levels. Her speech is surprisingly interesting. She started out as at Camp Spooky, just like you, and worked super hard to earn every single badge. She also hints at some possible foul play, including her murdering a higher level scout and wearing her skin as a disguise in order to advance through the ranks. Sure is inspiring. Too bad you were busy flirting with your friends to dedicate to that kind of time to monster scouts. But still, her in speech her speech instills you with plus two creativity. Inspiring you to murder. Hey, look, God, everyone Michael. Hey, Michael, you're doing two voices again. I'm doing- oh, great. <laughs> Afterwards, you get yourself trapped in one of Coach's famous lectures about the dangers of wild animals. Oh! Alright, and this is- <clears throat> and this is the dangerous species continues to roam the world- the woods, abandoned to their dark masters, purposeless. They're a plague on the natural wildlife. Hmm. But I am confused, friend Coach. Do these- Creatures really deserve such torments. Mm -hmm. All they did was invent the former Google Plus platform. Surely that is not grounds for. Oh, how fucking fire. Google Plus? Is that what you've been talking about while I ignore everything and everyone in live stream? The psychopaths behind that global tragedy are here? I realize you are attempting to help. <clears throat> I did not understand how a social media platform could be synonymous with the word tragedy. Oh, so, because so, Google made it. So Calculester's never been on Tumblr. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> Calculester, darling, you are too innocent and naive to understand. Google Plus is was a festering boil on the smooth perfection skin of social media. <laughs> it was completely unusable, yet it's everywhere. YouTube, Google accounts, in your backyard, knocking on your windows, asking when you'd finally post the status. And now, it's... And now, <laughs> it's former developers 
have been loosened into our woods instead of being per per properly rehomed in other failing companies. That's not a very scout thing to do. They've, <laughs> they've completely disrupted local ecosystems, littering their electric scooters everywhere, and offering a crowdsourced alternative to birds. <gasps> Poor birds. Is but that voice bird... active? Hmm? Is that voice active for, um, uh, what's his name on the right? Is that who I think it is? Coach? I think it might. Yeah. Ow. I'm on. I don't know. I don't know who's coach's voice actor. Uh, but birds already exist. Why would anyone crowdfund a product to fill a hole in the market that doesn't exist? <gasps> no. Don't you get it? This is Google Plus we're talking about. They made their careers on filling in holes in markets that don't exist. <sighs> this epidemic, <clears throat> epidemic is going, must be quelled and the Google Plus developers captured. Otherwise... <laughs> They might start Google Plus again. I can't go back to those dark days. Youth is a gift. <clears throat> that's w <clears throat> that's why four got us four got to capture him. Oh man, with our combined with your combined efforts and my brilliant leadership, we we should have this problem fixed, and the fat lady can scream for help. <laughs> Number four. Now let's see. All we need to do is slide into their DMs. That stands for Dirt Mansions. Which is where they've been living. Mm -hmm. That actually isn't what that stands for. Always believe in yourself. And then we photobomb them until they're too weak to fight back. And then we relocate them to our thirst trap. We can find lots of those on, Ch on Channing Tatum's Instagram. Alright, Maddie. Sorry, I was eating. Oh, okay, I'm done then. Yeah, I know, banana bread. Mmm, banana bread. Okay, clearly Coach is worse than useless in this situation. Do you have any ideas on how to round up the invasive species before they roll out another convoluted like system? Stand under the huge net and shout, does anyone have an idea for an app? The perfect lure. Open a new uh, Asian fusion restaurant, but the floor is just a bunch of leaves over a pit of spikes. <laughs> Hey, uh, Michael, to answer your question, it's Takahata101 voicing him. Oh. Mm. Ah, I thought it was. Okay. All right, Ryan. Uh, shout out oh, to a what? huge net or restaurant. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay, open an Asian restaurant. Bunch of homes. Hikes. Mm. Okay, I feel like I'm going to go bottom one. Bottom one? Yeah. Bikes. Bikes. No, I was creative. The other one must have been charm. Jesus that, Christ. That's so unlucky. <laughs> that seems illogical, friend. Endless ecstasy. It will be impossible to serve food over a pit full of spikes. How can one open a restaurant without food? You need to develop some taste. Oh, you poor uncultured thing. Everyone knows restaurants aren't about the Food, they're about experiences. <sighs> if you serve food at your restaurant, you're just part of the herd. But by God, I swear that our restaurant will be hip, trendy, and regrammable. I mean, you're the narrator. <laughs> I know, I was expecting y'all to talk more. Sorry, more food in my mouth. Nope, you gotta talk the most. God damn it. You, this is what happens when you did. I... But you know. did say you wanted to be the narrator. You said it two I days ago. <laughs> I know. Alright. Open. Milo makes good on this promise by carefully selecting the decor and creating a menu of authentic street food that no one from the street could ever dream of affording. Calculaster helps out by running some simulations and hacking Yelp to give your place glowing reviews. Go so Calculaster. Soon, you're ready to open. Before you can even cut the tape, a bunch of forest animals rush over, over to you guys waving picket signs. You can't do this to our neighborhood, screams a squirrel. You're going to run us all out of the house and home with your overpriced rice bowls and trendy beanbag chairs. <laughs> now, hold on. Everyone's getting all riled up for nothing. Endless ecstasy isn't trying to gentrify the area. If anything, he wants to reduce the population. <gasps> yes, we only want to get rid of the Google Plus invasive species. 
that's eating all of our organic nuts and berries and stealing your young away to participate in focus groups. Oh, God. Oh, don't give me that crap, says a sparrow. It's not just the restaurant. We know you're also building luxury condos and a bed bath and beyond. <laughs> Who do you expect to be able to afford to shop there? Certainly not us. We're working for a chicken feed. Literally. Wait, we don't need we didn't know about that. Endless Ecstasy said he was clearing out that large swath of forest land and rehoming its inhabitants to build a lovely botanical garden. I am disappointed. Although, I can see now that a botanical garden in the middle of a forest might be very... wouldn't be useful. That's not trending. Ugh, how unwoke of you, Endless Ecstasy. Don't you know that everybody always performatively sides with the underdog in tense woodland political situations? True to everyone that you're building the condos so that the Asian fusion restaurant employees have a place to live, but they don't buy it. Even, even the Google Plus devs, once they finally arrive, jump on the woke anti-gentrification bandwagon. Everyone makes you out to be a dick for your social insensitivity. I was surprised Google jumping on something a month late. Right. Now Milo won't talk to you because you're bad for press, and Calculester is busy demolishing the forest strip uh, strip mall restaurant you helped create. You lose no, minus two charm I'm and minus taking one the charm. man's smartness. Uh, this to be fair, smoothly. I wound up where I started. <laughs> All right, Tick, where are you going? Ryan confirmed him both. Fun. You want a lake? Yeah. I don't disagree. You don't disagree. Well, <laughs> Look at them, they're just so cute! I know, sweet baby. We stand, Sawyer. While, lo mm -hmm. While looking around the lake for a private place to take a pee, you find a treasure map buried in the sand. It leads to an X in the center of the lake. You gather a crew of trusted friends on your eye patch and sail out there to find the booty. When you arrive, you find a tiny island with a single palm tree. You dig up a box that says, open in case of very boring day. You open the box and find, plus two fun. Arr. Wow, he's in every scene. He's been yeah. in every scene. <laughs> my plan is dark now to stay warm, I guess. Fuck it. Fucking working it out. The sad part was that I couldn't do Coach's voice anymore because I fucked up the first time, so my voice hurts. Oh no. You spot Calculester, sitting contentedly nearby, a little cactus by his side, leafing through uh, college brochures. You ask him if he's figuring out what to do after high school. Hmm. What? Oh. Oh, heavens, no. I have already planned out my own future for the next 4,000 years. <laughs> I am pursuing the pamphlets because I am concerned, or perusing, because I am concerned about the future of Little Katie Prickly Pear Beer. That's oh, that's right. Katie Prickly Perry. Hmm? Love that. Katie, yeah. <laughs> it takes you a second to realize he's referring to his little cactus friend. That's sweet, but you gently remind him that cacti can't go to college or hold jobs. Well, not that attitude. That, that is certainly what everyone says, but just because something has never been done before does not mean that it will never happen. Success! I am confident that Katie will be the first in her genus to finally break through the glass ceiling of the greenhouse and achieve a fulfilling career. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The only true obstacle is figuring out what career she is best suited for. I must confess, I am a a bit of a loss. Well, if Cal is really committed to this, you can play along. He suggests that little Katie might make a good civic engineer. Hmm. I considered that, but she simply isn't very good at math. What about a politician, you suggest? You don't have to know much to be a politician. Ain't that right? <laughs> right. 
I'd never let my little plant be surrounded by so many unethical people. Good. Good. <laughs> Good plan, Dad. Fine, you relent. What about a surgeon? No good. Surgeons need thumbs. <laughs> wow. This really is trickier than you thought it would be. Mostly because you can't believe Calculester is taking this so seriously. Still, you didn't get where you are today by not having an infinite supply of dumb ideas. Surely one of these two will work. A cactus would make a great Pinterest model for chick interior design photos. With the right education, this cactus might someday become a highly accomplished beverage. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, which one? I, I think. I think the, the bottom Pinterest one's dark. one would be easier. You gonna go Pinterest? Yeah. Critical levels of awesome hey. detected. Oh. What an ambitious prospect. I have often admired the plants in those glamorous photographs. I don't know why I said that word so Photographs! <laughs> I was going to say photography and got caught halfway. But show business is such a rarefied career. Do you really think little Katie has what it takes? Are you kidding? It's clear just by looking at her that Katie's got star power written all over her. No, I wait. <laughs> Those are just scores of painful spines. But still. Very well. I am convinced. But how will we get her started in the competitive world of interior design modeling? Just the guy. You unlock your phone and call up Max Greenfrond, a forest fairy who's left, the, who's left the woods and moved to Los Angeles to become number one agent for plants. And Keanu Reeves. Oh man, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Max books Katie an audition with a popular Pinterest influencer, and the rest, as they say, is history. Mm -hmm. I should have said popular, but whatever. Ha. Oh, oh my circuits! Look at those rave reviews our little Katie is getting. The living room looked all right, but that cactus! Wow, what charisma! With all the sass and panache packed in those spiny green body, it's a wonder there's even room for the cool. Uh, what was it chlorophyll? Fuck couches. Fuck tasteful arrangements of bespoke shelving. Give me more cactus. Soon, Katie has progressed beyond mere Pinterest modeling. Before you know it, she's making forays into the world of film. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 my vagina! No. Produced oh. by Jesse Cox, of course it was. Oh. Place a love interest in an art house romance film about a housewife who falls out of love with her boorish husband and in love with a mysterious house cactus. Doodle no! Doodle no! It's called Ow, my vagina. Oh dear. I mean, that's fair. But Katie never forgets where she came from. In an interview with People magazine, when asked what her fondest memory is, she says nothing. Because she's a fucking cactus, and no amount of fame will ever change that. I'm proud of you, my sweet succulent. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad that even with all this notoriety, my little Katie has remained true to her roots. I feel such pride. We're proud too. Normally your schemes don't go nearly this well. Plus two charm and plus one creativity. Where am I nice. go? All right, right doodle. Do. I do. Oh, Are you at you, partner? Okay. Um. I could use some more charm. <laughs> That day at the camp zone, you play a game of tug of war. You see, tug of war is a harder is a harder game than it seems. It involves a lot of strategy. And there's a secret technique not everyone knows. It's you need to be strong. True. You mastered this technique years ago, and so you win. The audience is cheering and roaring in joy while you salute them, victorious. They throw roses at you. They throw their underwear. Some throw, someone throws you plus two charm, which you happily take. Nice. Yes, I will take the charm and the underwear. Yeah, you completely just, Rick, you just like, nah, Mila, go away. 
I know the pizza sends us. They're tingling. And they lead you straight to the haunted manor. Once you get inside, though, all you see is an old-timey TV from the 1990s. <laughs> Order pizza right now for your fresh and fast pizza today. Delivery in seven days or you're dead. <laughs> Our value. It's actually really creepy hearing it with the lo-fi beats. Yep. Our valued employees are working hard right this very instant to deliver pizza right to your home. Look, here she comes now. Call Pozo's Pizza today. Uh, who had the pepperoni? So I've got to stop screaming. I'm just going to wash over me. <laughs> oh, that's all that's just like hey, stop screaming. Please stop. <laughs> like she's so, she's so used to it. Just like, like guys, screaming. just stop. It's just me. Love that. Love her. <laughs> she's just like so jaded. Go right. on ahead. It's murder time. Time to die, teens. Who's ready for it? Holy shit! Why is one of you in the TV? Oh, great. The pizza commercial damn near gives you a heart attack, and now Jerry, the slash, the, the alleged murderer, has arrived to kill the vibe, and also probably everyone here. Yeah. Very quick cock blocking me. No. Uh, is there Rebecca here or not? I can't leave your screen until you get the. Until I've got your money. Mm. <laughs> Would this Rebecca have any tall, blonde, voluptuous teenage girl with a less than average IQ and a, a penchant for having premarital sex in haunted houses? Um. Dude, I don't know. I just deliver pizza. <laughs> Fuck if I care. I'm not paid enough for this. Right, uh, yeah, um, let me, uh, go check on something. Uh. Jeez, does that guy always wear a hockey mask or is he a. Is he a. Um, brain fart. Goalie. That's a really <laughs> stupid way to spell goalie. Okay, I'm back, and I have a follow-up question. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that this hypothetical Rebecca was hypothetically murdered. Hypothetically. Now, would the guy who hypothetically murdered her with a hypothetical knife be a recipient for her not-so-hypothetical pizza? No. Yeah, come on! Damn it! Okay, give me a sec, I'll be right back. Oh, we're gonna get a weekend at Jerry's. <laughs> oh my god, is there gonna be new art of Jerry? <laughs> Alright, Jerry disappears for another moment. When he returns, he's wearing a cheap blonde wig and has lipstick smeared all over the mouth of his mask. He is a disaster. Oh, oh god. Ooh la la, oh. my pizza is here. Jerry says in a scratchy, high-pitched, girly voice. Hold on. I can't you believe can the husky upstanding citizen with the knife said I could have it for free. No refunds. I know it's you, weirdo. Can you just get the real Rebecca out here so she can pay for the pizza? Corbett said that inappropriate murder. Inopportune. Inopportune murder is an excuse to get a free meal. I think that happens often enough they had to make up rules. It's kind of bad. Okay, what if I use her actual face, though? Jesus. <laughs> don't know. Don't know about her face. I suck at this. Ugh, what's a broke slasher gotta do to get a free pizza these days? If I'd known the economy would be this tough, I wouldn't have gotten into murdering. No. That's no capitalism gets you, though. Everybody wants you to monetize your hobby and turn it into your passion. Or whatever new career. Nobody wants to pay me for murder. My former therapist suggested I get into childcare teaching or something. Since I'm so passionate about abstinence. And I tried, but teams are just so easy to murder. Oh. And so I had to hell with it. I'll get being a pro slasher a shot. Hannibal and Bunny both got TV shows eventually, so hopefully my form gets better and I'll gain some notoriety. Maybe an agent and... Whatever, man. Hey, dude, I intensely do not give a flying fuck about your life story. <laughs> Either find Rebecca or find her wallet, because otherwise I can't go anywhere. Cat boy. Bitman. Thank you. Cat has moved. Well, 
that seems like it'll be pretty hard considering Rebecca is assuredly more in more slices than this large pepperoni pizza. Dark. But there must be a way to get her to pay the pizza girl from beyond the grave, right? Oh god. <laughs> oh, I should probably read these. Travel to the very depths of the underworld in an epic quest to deliver Re Rebecca her pizza. Rebecca may not be in a state to pay with money anymore, but she can still pay with her sweet, sweet organ. Jesus. Organs are underworld, doodle. Um, a board. So, underworld sounds bold. Organ sounds smart. Well, your smart is 14. By yours, I mean Ryan's. I would go with option two. two. Let's two. go for organs. <laughs> Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me. We're running a special right now. <laughs> oh, it would have to be a sexy mass murder as each free discount, would it? <sighs> nope. But this week, the pizza takes 30 minutes or more. It's free. Wait, it took way longer than 30 minutes then. It took me at least 45 to get my knife through Rebecca's and practically bountiful cleavage to stab her through the heart. The pizza should be free! <laughs> You didn't let me finish, motherfucker. The second half of the deal is that the client dies for the pizza delivery. Pozo's Pizza has sole ownership of their organs. Wait, Jesse. Really? Juicy organs. What does Pozo's want with organs? Oh. Pepperoni. Goes in the pizza. It <laughs> literally does. Goes into the pizza. I'm just gonna say it. It's, I don't want to read that. <laughs> Some of Grant ground up in a sausage. I've seen my manager rubbing spleens on his face in the back room when he thinks yeah, no one's looking. Come on. That's so cursed. But that's what I was gonna do with Rebecca's spleen. God, what is this capitalism coming to? The corporation stealing hard-earned organs from us indie murderers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Apparently. Your all in face is to remove Rebecca's spleen, large intestine, and lungs to pay for the pizza. That's what happens when your innocent dies long ago. Just like Rebecca. But with the situation solved and Rebecca's innards happily tucked away in your TV screen, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. It's the end, guys! We made it! I know. Well, I know. <laughs> all right. Remember when you said it would take three hours? Yeah, no, it took five. <laughs> uh, I know. Mean, uh, I will choose myself. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, okay. Ryan, yeah. Ryan, be Ryan. Uh, you go for Milo. Yep. Why yeah. not? Wait, is that even an option? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's them right there. Yeah, you go. Uh, yep. Yep. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, thanks. tick. Uh, I'll go by myself. Nobody. Who? Me? Yeah. Ooh, let's go. Doodle. I pick no one. Everybody knows <laughs> extra everything. Damn. Yeah. All right. Yay. And ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. <sighs> the two of us, the summer fling. My apologies, <laughs> darling, but I'm indebted to my fan base. I owe it to them to date only the trendiest, most fashionable role models for them. I can't be seen yeah, with I you. I mean, I didn't see that happening. <laughs> I don't want the world to. I think I promote whatever it is you've got going on, no offense. Well, here's the thing, you would've got it if your smarts didn't tank. Yep, Sorry. we have learned not to drink the purple drink. Camp Swamp, <laughs> Camp Cramp, I just got two achievements. Thanks, guys. Hey, yeah. <laughs> By your stomach Your Chaos life rings. is totally over. You spend the rest of your life trying to pass a law to abolish summer. Wow, it's not that serious. <laughs> this is funny, absurd, and deeply disturbing. Maybe it is that serious. No one even <laughs> tries to get close to you, the grumpy, deranged old person who wants to ban a season. Okay, so we're we're <laughs> get over it. An old guy now. <laughs> oh, you don't ask anyone to be your summer honey. You're a strong, independent monster who don't need no significant other. And of course, that can be true. But did you forget that this was a dating sim? Shooting your shot with someone is like the whole point of the game. If you didn't want to date in the video game, why didn't you play Flight Simulator or going alone to see a meteor shower simulator? <laughs> okay,
saying that? No. Uh, self-rejection! <laughs> you couldn't even enjoy the beautiful night. All you could think about is how you threw away your one shot at love. So you had a shot with someone. I see. Well, it wasn't your only shot, I guess. I guess. You can always replay the game and try again. <laughs> True. It's a shame about this run, though. Now you gotta start <laughs> all over. I guess I could have shot for Robbie, but whatever. See you on the See camp you on the bus. camp bus, loser. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Despite the fact that this is a dating sim, you decided not to ask anyone to be your summer honey. Look at you, defying conventional genre expectations. <laughs> you must be a strong, independent gamer who don't need no traditional ending. Gotta admit, I respect it. <sighs> Aww. This, this nice. Love yourself! You your shower by yourself, and you had a lovely time. That's weak. Why did I get fucked for that? <laughs> that Maybe you didn't rough. sit with somebody enough. Sometimes the perfect date can be one person, a warm patch of grass, and a sky full of shooting stars. Your friends might have searched tirelessly for love, but you're happy to report that in the end, the only company you truly needed was your own. Sweet! Yeah. You ask no one in the meter shower because the only thing you want to ask for is a pizza. Yeah, pizza ending. Oh. <laughs> We're right now for your fresh and fast romantic partner today. Deliver in seven days or you're dead. <laughs> I value employees of working hard right this very instant uh, to deliver your summer love right to your home. But here she comes now. Oh, Coco Pizza today. Oh, pizza hey. delivery. It's not Pozos anymore. It's her name, isn't it? No. Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I have no fucking idea. Pizza delivery. My one true love, pizza. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh... You're always around when there's pizza, huh? You laugh awkwardly. I think we're all laughing awkwardly. Oh, she Pretty bless much. you. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> She's what smiling? Yes, yeah. yeah. Question Took mark? Happy face. <laughs> is that good or bad? I don't know <laughs> if that's good or bad. Both? Both. We're going to go with both. Yes. Yes. Both, both, both is, is good. good. Yeah, there we go. Um, apparently, it's more entertaining with me around. Okay. I'm not paid enough for this. I'm not paid enough for this. I don't I think you're getting for paid for this. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, work can get hella exhausting. I can sympathize with that. It's going to be so intense with all their backstories and stuff. Like, why can't people just keep it simple and short? I'm a delivery girl, not a therapist. Oh. So it was actually nice tagging along. Follow her advice of keeping it simple and short. You ask her if she'd be free to watch the meteor shower with you tonight. What? No. Aww. Scary, but dope. <laughs> what the hairdo, though? This My is organs are perfect. Aww, yeah. look at that! That's so Aww. And you got pizza! You have a great time with Pizza Delivery Girl. You don't talk much, since you can sense she's not super into talking a lot. But sharing a slice can be nice, too. Silence. Silent. Can't spell Water. silence without slice, though! What? Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> Both of them are relevant. You're always craving backstories and lore and everything, but sometimes it can get a bit intense. You can accept that some people just have no interest in sharing their depth. It ends up being quite simple, yet charming date. So by the end of the night, you exchange phone numbers so it could be the start of something. And hey, for what it's worth in terms of war, now you know that her name is Sadie. Yep, her name is Sadie. Yep. Aw. Pizza rocks. So how long does the pizza curse last? I, no, you, 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 forever. One new secret ending, a bunch of new events, how many points did I get? Yes, all the drinks. <laughs> Hooray! Exactly. We've contributed it's, to another playthrough. Is Woo! 500 good for a single run? Hmm? Shall we? Is 500 points good for a run? Yeah, that's good. 
Would you like me to take finish us. this out? Yes, let's take us out with the narration, and then we will talk over the credits. Alright, before we knew it, <laughs> those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like an entire lifetime. That night, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it. How those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries. Wild nights became epics treasured forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find when gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. Did I have uh, streamer mode on? I don't remember. I was going to ask. Did you put did streamer mode on? Did I put streamer mode on? <laughs> We're going to find out in like oh, two no. seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, do I have streamer mode on? Hold on. Hold on. Find out. Hold on. Find out we got to find out in a few seconds. Hold on. It wouldn't surprise me if you didn't put it on. I just, just picked this one for this specific reason. Nope. Nope. We got to escape. Nope. <laughs> Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, oh. cool. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, hold on. And I oh, never turned it on. The Oops. one thing we didn't do was put streamer mode on. I, oh man, <laughs> I'm so mad. Hold on. I, I get Oh my I'm god. <laughs> I'm so mad. What's instinct mode? Uh, it doesn't tell you if you've succeeded or failed. Oh. oh. Oh, that one's, that's good. Yep. All right. So that's the end of a much longer stream than we anticipated. It uh, was longer this, than we anticipated. It always never does. Stay short, I... Never stay short stream. It's the worst thing you can say when streaming. It will turn into a long one. Yeah. I promise you. I, 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 I did eight hours. It's inevitable. Yeah. Okay. You so. Uh, I am more than familiar with a 12-hour with a 12 hour <laughs> short stream. Yeah. All right, so before we all say goodbye, would anybody like to plug anything? My, oh, no, my lovely okay, friend. No, I'm fine. No, you're, you're I fine. Think... No, yeah, I don't have anything to plug. That's all I'm yeah, going to say. Fun. Yeah, thanks. I like doing these. All yeah, right. thanks for having me. Yep, so I'm everyone... Always... <laughs> subscribe, to, subscribe to Stabby's Twitch account. Yeah, no, not mine. This one. This one. Well, don't, on. don't sub to but... mine. <laughs> But Shout out if you want to have me again for other stuff, just let me know. Yep. So I'm I'm glad you guys were all here on this lovely Valentine's Day, and we hope that everybody out there uh, is having and had for those you you vod people had a lovely Valentine's Day. Uh, all all the love is important. And love yourselves, love each other. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no follow up to that. That's yep. it. Yep. Nope. That's it. Yeah. So. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like the stream, hit follow. If you want to help support us so that we can do more streams more often, because capitalism is a bitch, as Jerry told us, yep. uh, subscribe. It is free with Twitch Prime. And if you're watching the VOD five minutes or managed to watch this whole thing, we appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good <laughs> night, guys.